do 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 I'm just waiting on Spyro. I'm excited for that. Did you did you hear about by the way? Uh, Rags actually showed me the the tweet about it, but apparently that would thrust like one of his new videos. Oh, whichever video he like ripped off the script. It's from like August or something. Apparently from like. Wait, ripped some, off the script from what? Some like, I don't even know. I guess like a guy who wrote an article or something. I didn't look too far into it. The, um, it um, was. Let me. I I've actually got it right here. That it was August seventh. Um, the the video, uh, this video by the channel Downward Thrust ripped entire paragraphs from my book on Final Fantasy VII. They eventually cited me after I complained. I guess the writer thought nobody had read the book. He's mm. not far from the mark, but one of my twelve fans alerted me. Oh, <laughs> and he says it was mostly verbatim copying. Wow. See, and this is what, I mean, I, I can't remember how long ago or what podcast it was on, but I'm pretty sure me and Wolf talked about um, Downward Thrust's whole thing, is he looks and threads and articles and he finds what it is, what, what you're supposed to say about the topic, what's, what's the current leading perspective on it, and then you'll just say that. Because uh, he just doesn't have his own fucking feelings about stuff, obviously he's a bit of a robot, as we've also gone over, but today is not about Downward Thrust, unfortunately. Um, hello everyone! How how do you do? I see a couple people have already flown right in. How wonderful. Um, mm -hmm. we're, 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 well, I guess we should, we'll, we'll, we'll mention first that as of the, the last podcast with Cinema Sin Sins, um, a couple people were, were frustrated with the fact that we in any way discuss politics, being that of the latest controversy with, um, I don't even know. Is it is it Senator Kavanaugh or Brett Kavanaugh? Um, judge so, Kavanaugh. What? Yeah. Now Judge Kavanaugh. The well, I guess he was a judge before, but now he's a bigger judge. Um, so the, the old is, judge. This really shouldn't even be a partisan issue. Yeah. The, so I wanted to clarify. I didn't know it was partisan. I thought we were just discussing a concept being. Well, it shouldn't be a partisan. <laughs> yeah. issue. That's the thing. The concept is it revolves around the idea of. You're not guilty until someone can prove you're guilty, and that um, you need to have evidence, or you have, need to have corroboration with your testimony, in order to you know give your accusation some weight. Especially if you wait 36 years and can't remember when it happened, where it happened, or how you got there, or how you got back, or anything like this. Um, and I, yeah, I would think yeah. that both Republican, Democrat libertarian everything. anyone with a brain yeah would be like oh yeah the presumption of innocence as a concept is very important and we can't let random accusations ruin people's lives but apparently that was less partisan than we thought and it's yeah, certainly we... not an apology it's just uh just an observation i have made and yes yeah, so to clarify uh i'm not sure if we ever said it but um i can't promise the podcast will be 100 percent politics free because it's not i don't even think that's possible like whenever you cover anything, you'll randomly m might slip in a thought or an idea that to some people will come across as um, of a particular party and against another. So, you know, as much as I appreciate people, there's some people out there who are watching this podcast to be specifically like, I want no politics, and I like that this podcast does not do that. It's like we can't I cannot promise that. I was talking to Wolf earlier about how like my goal with my videos is to prevent any politics from getting in, but even then, uh, some some get in here and there, and there's there's people. Who got annoyed at me for saying that um, the Last Jedi was clearly left leaning? They were like, "It's it may be left leaning, but it's terrible. So why even bring that up?" And I was just like, "But it, I don't know. It is." <laughs> it like, and, 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 you know, you, you realize like there's uh, not much you can do about it. But as as for this circumstance, I, I read into more of the um, the people who are against his. I don't know, or, or believe or believe the fact that he's a horrible person, and they were like, "There's a lot of." stories that weren't read or, or in the investigation certain sources weren't listened to and thus uh, guilty elements of it were ignored so that's their perspective and um, as far as I was concerned was it was that there was nowhere near enough evidence and that's all I knew about it, it wasn't even a left or right thing um, yeah and keep in mind it doesn't matter yeah and keep in mind the only reason this was brought up is because I was explaining why I was banned from Twitter that's the other thing it wasn't because we wanted to tell all of you how it should go down. It was literally just explaining that Wolf got booted off Twitter in relation to discussing that topic. Yeah, 
I literally Kavanaugh would not have even come up probably if it wasn't for the fact that I got banned and people were wondering about it. And if Kavanaugh was a was a was a Democrat, uh, a total regressive lefty liberal type, then I would say the exact same thing. Absolutely. Mm. Doesn't has nothing to do with what is because I, I disagree with a lot of the things that he, he thinks. Um, he's definitely not my ideal guy, but yeah, it doesn't matter. It has absolutely nothing. His political leaning has absolutely nothing to do with. Oh, yeah. I mean, like just the fact that he's right wing means that he probably uh, has a lot of stances that I would personally disagree with. I don't know much about him. I never heard of him before this situation, um, but I still defended him uh, no matter what party because she had no evidence to back up any of her claims. And that's bullshit. I don't think we should be destroying people's lives based off Boy. of shitty evidence or lack of evidence in general. I saw a tweet, and uh, this is definitely paraphrasing, and I'm not going to say, you know what, just for the sake of it, this could be totally made up because I can't remember it exactly, but I believe Billy the Fridge tweeted out that um, he would rather a world where people are accused of something when they're innocent instead of letting guilty people get away with things. And it's like, uh... that, I don't think that was the issue, really. It's more about ruining someone's life, as you kind of just went over there. But again, and, this uh, is, um, I would agree that it's actually getting into the sort of the dissemination of politics at that point, instead of uh, commenting on a political angle of the media that we're covering. Is, yeah, is kind of It's really not even politics that's in question. It's the social aspect of, you know, guilt and innocence. I mean, the... the Political leanings either way don't really have anything to do with it. As as V put it rather well, um, it was social justice versus justice. Yeah, and, uh, and again, we didn't necessarily even see the fact that this was a left versus right thing, and I think it's going to come up uh, in future. There's going to be things that me, Wolf, or Rags will say, and you guys will be like, what the fuck? That's totally a politics thing. And then we'll be like, oh, it was? Okay. Um, and that's just about perspective. So all the point of us talking about this is to uh, say there is not going to be zero politics on, on the podcast. And I'm not sure that any podcast can basically get away with that even. Especially ones that are really long and off the cuff and cover basically everybody on the political spectrum. It's going to come up. Um, and hopefully that's okay. Because uh, ultimately, who cares about politics, right? We just want to talk about media. Which, um, yeah. speaking of which... Uh, we did mention last time, but Wolf, Wolf's Twitter got banned, and one of the last things he got to say on there, extremely controversially, was that he decided that out of killing, marrying, and would you, do you want to do you want to tell this story, Wolf? <laughs> yeah. Um. Well, first off, uh, I saw a couple of people mention in the chat that my mic was loud. I turned it down a bit. Is it spiking on your end, or uh, it looks okay for me? But I can turn you down to match rags, or whatever. I just want it to be okay. Yeah, actually, keep talking a second. I'll just change it as you talk. Okay, I'm talking about things. I'm going to read off the chat. Long as I can listen while I draw, this works for me. Can't imagine Henry Cavill okay, with white hair. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay. Okay. Um, so, yeah, Jared, good old Jared, he made a video because Sweet he thinks... Jared. He thinks that me and Rags hate him for I some don't, reason. I don't. I don't hate Jared. I could never hate Jared. That I am be, in love with Jared. Right. It wouldn't be exactly. right. Someone no, should it, clip this possible. little bit to let Jared know that everything is fine and that he yes. doesn't need yeah. to be upset. Jared, Jared, I love you. There you go. No homo. Kind of homo, but not not totally. So anyway, <laughs> he he made a. There was a point in the video that I laughed my ass off at. He um he said that he was really hurt by something that I said on Twitter because someone asked me on Twitter, "Fuck Mary Kill, Er Tommy Wiseau, Jared Genesis." Now, obviously, this is a this is a partisan issue beyond all. <laughs> so, why, are you um, why are you why are you being political? Well, I, I'm sorry. I, if you marry I one of them, you endorse their politics. Exactly, which is why I married Er because I'm an alt right Nazi, of course. And uh, I chose to fuck Tommy because Tommy's kind of like he's kind of like Yahweh. I mean, if you you can't pass up fucking Yahweh and. G Jared's like Jesus. He's just too, too precious and pure. Yeah, I mean, if you kill Jesus, he's going to come back anyway. So I figured, you know, same thing with Jared. Mm -hmm. So he's had a, Jared, Jesus has had experience dying anyway. Oh yeah, exactly. That's why I chose Jared because I firmly believe that after three days, 
he will rise from the grave and <laughs> transcend <laughs> transcend all alphas <laughs> and become a higher form of life. Exactly. So, Jared, no, we don't dislike you. It's we like all you a lot. Good. You're always fun. So, yeah. Um, and yeah, and so today's th a lot of people are concerned. They think we're we're responding from 42 minutes onwards. No, we we just put it here so that you have something to look at that's not just like a singular color. So don't worry, we'll we'll start from the beginning because there's a whole bunch to go through. This could be the longest EFAP in history. Uh, yeah, you get to. We'll... We just wanted to make sure that you got to spend a long time looking at Quentin's incredibly punchable face, <laughs> so that your anger could bubble and rise throughout. Is that, the course is that of a cult stream. of violence, Wolf? Was that a cult of violence? Maybe I don't know. So I hope I'm not violent against myself. The history and this stretches back so fucking far. Like this is yeah. This, this is was crazy. like at the beginning of the year, kind of like April or May. So I released yeah. the critiques on Star Wars. Then literally when I released the second one, an hour after that, because I always remember because I got a huge influx of comments just saying I hate everything's made a video. What the fuck? I hate it. Just loads of comments about I hate everything, and, and I was like, okay. I watched his video, and as many of you may know, I Hate Everything's video on Star Wars is, like, dreadful, The Last Jedi. It's a video that just has no through line. It makes no sense. He's he's trying to say that everybody's being too angry, which is just, like, at certain points, but then he's also defending the film and arguing that it's better than people are saying it is. And then he goes back to saying, like, you see, people have arguments like it lacks the Wilhelm scream or, or has it, and it's just like, what the fuck are you doing? And so the video's really bad. And me and Rags had met at that point, and I, I don't know if Rags got sent it by me or someone else, or he found it on his own, but he decided to make a response to it. And it was, uh, I, I thought it was really good. And, um... I thought it was alright. In, in the response, he links my video, which was very kind of you, by the way, because I got a big sub boost from that. It was, it was, it was very, very friendly, and... Right. It seems we may have ruffled feathers all that long ago, and the connections are that TRO, the right opinion, as he's called, Actually proofread, um, <laughs> I, I hit everything's video, which to this day, me and Wolf still can't laugh at, like, not laugh at, because it's just, <laughs> I think we addressed that with him in the actual conversation, and TRO corrected it. Like, you do it. realize. Yeah, well, let's, let's start, the, let's mention that you guys had a conversation with him and I Well, that's, everything. that is in the timeline, we're not quite there yet, because, um, that comes after okay. TRO's video. He, um... Uh, yeah, okay, I'll save it for that conversation then, because, like, the, he makes his video, and it's like, an, well, you can see it's two hours long, and, um, I remember watching some of it, and just, like, the initial feeling was, uh, he's, like, go going extreme, uh, going to extreme lengths to try and prove that Rags was being too cruel to I Hate Everything. That's, like, the perspective I got, like, the leave I Hate Everything alone, he's just sharing his opinions. But obviously, I don't, I don't. Yeah, I mean, I I think that the idea that you can stretch it to where I hate, I hate everything is is that's oof. I don't hate. I hate everything. I basically don't know anything about him other than he's a huge hypocrite when he reviews things. Oh yes, extremely inconsistent, especially when it came to the Last Jedi. Yeah, I, I mean the last. I mean Star Wars is clearly his. Um, it, it's it's very much or at least the Last Jedi more specifically is kind of in his blind spot. It's it's his special pleading case. And that's mm -hmm. not like I'm I'm not saying that that's some sort of a mark on his character that he's a bad person. It's just that his video on the last Jedi was really shitty. Yeah, and then uh we Like Simpson sins video on you is really shitty. <laughs> but that doesn't mean he's a bad person. No, I'd say he's a good guy. He seems very friendly and uh I was I was glad to have nice conversations with him, which did happen with I hate everything. So there was a lot of controversial shit in the comment section, and I threw uh, what you could call, I guess you could call it a mean comment that I hate everything, but the fact is it started with I hate everything saying that anybody who thinks that like you can objectively analyze is childish, condescending, and um, something else. And obviously I was just like, wow, you're obviously just referring to me then. Because like, that's, I was in the, the crux of the video throughout that, and, and rags, obviously. Um, and I responded that like I used to actually like I Hate Everything a lot, and I would actually consider him a sort of inspiration. And I was just like, well, so much for that. Some and... of his videos have been really good. That's the, that's the thing. You know, like his Destiny Two video was amazing. Yeah, it was really well researched. You went you went really far with it. It was very passionate. Um, 
And so he sent me a PM on Twitter saying like, fine, you know, if you're so sure that objective objectivity exists in art, and the uh, the Last Jedi is objectively bad, prove it. And I remember Wolf just happened to be available that night, I believe, and he just yeah, jumped I in. Yeah, I just got off work and you were, you said something to the effect of, want to talk to I Hate Everything with me? And I was like, yes. <laughs> I, was, I was out. I was out at the time because I remember getting your Discord message for it. Yeah, because uh, th I, I was like, this is, this is a pretty important conversation. It's going to be the proof of whether or not I hate everything accepts objectivity in art, uh, definitively. Yeah, I had my phone, and I was checking notifications at the table, but I was out and about. But I remember that, yeah. So... You guys had it for... Jeez. It was five hours, I believe, the entire... At least from the moment me and Tiaro started talking to the end of the whole conversation, I think it was five hours until... Um, and it went r ridiculously well. Like, me and Wolf were surprised by how easy it was. We used very few references and a few logical loopholes to just make I had everything come across to the idea that objectivity obviously exists in art. Like, that was the first thing. And then he said, okay, but it's case by case. And then we were like, well, obviously it's case by case. And then we were like, so, uh, The Last Jedi. And, um... It got we we did example after example after example. We kept going through the plot and picking all of the biggest things. The only thing we didn't get him on was Luke. He wouldn't agree that Luke was uh, badly handled. Um, we brought up contradictions, but he kept like saying that um, you know like like, like it, the typical arguments you hear in response, right? Like uh, Luke threw his lightsaber in the other film too. Luke has always been tempted by the dark side, and that's why he does blah blah blah. So, uh, that didn't work out too well, but we got him on loads of other topics, like the, the hyperdrive, or Yoda's lightning, or whatever else. Like, all the different things that contradict law or, or other films. And he, we eventually, it was almost a surprise, I believe, Wolf. He sort of just went, oh, fuck, I, okay, fine, The Last Jedi is pretty shit. <laughs> we were just like, oh? Okay. Like, it sort of came out of nowhere. We were just like, fine, uh, now what? Sort of, sort of thing. We won? Yeah, and then, um, correct me if I'm wrong, because I haven't listened to it since it was recorded, so I've got very vague memories, but I believe he said that he wished he'd never made his video on The Last Jedi. Yeah, he, said, he did say something to that effect, yeah. And he also He's said that, um, uh, that he kind of, he would have liked to have talked to us before, because he hadn't heard any good arguments against the film. Uh-huh. Sure. And that was fine. And then, I think it was like three days later, he went on Sardonicast and said that he's still not heard a single argument against uh, The Last Jedi. Now, to be honest, if it was, if it was that close, maybe he, uh, he recorded it before he spoke to us, but I sent him a PM to confirm and he was like, yeah, my mind's been changed because... Uh, he well he he watched a video from someone else about the last jedi i think it was was what he said to me and i was like we should talk about it sometime I, and he was like no i don't want to talk about star wars anymore and i was like <laughs> yeah i'd be really surprised how you could talk with him for 5 hours get him to admit the movie was pretty shit and then all of a sudden he flips and then is there a reason why this conversation isn't public yeah, oh, obviously, yeah, so uh, Wolf was going to make it public, but then I had everything said he'd prefer him not to, and... Um... Yeah, I, I asked if, uh... Because I think you brought up, like, him, you know, making a tweet about it or something, like, trying to admit publicly that it happened, and of course he didn't. And I was like, well, I had it recording anyway, so I can just release the full stream and people can see it, and he was like, no, I don't want you to do that. And so there's, like, throughout all of this, there's loads of moments where it's like could respond to this video, or could see if we could sort it out first in some way, shape, or form. And um, it just sort of never happened. And then there was going to be, like, we were going to, you know, potential to, to respond to this in a full video, but then it's, it's, it's kind of ridiculously long, so it's, it's, it would be like a full series, and it's like, it makes more sense doing a stream. And then uh, by the time we organized when we would do it, uh, Rags' streaming abilities basically got nuked for reasons yes, we still I... haven't figured out. I currently, for reasons I do not know, and YouTube has been in, unable to help me with at the moment, I can't stream. Uh, this isn't because my channel's been restricted or because it's been struck um, or I've broken the rules in any way. My channel's in perfect standing in all regards. This seems to be an issue with YouTube and how it interacts with my computer specifically, I believe. But 
I will I will try new things as I am able to, and hopefully I'll be able to get streaming back up and running. But that's the reason why we're not streaming this on my channel right now, and why you haven't seen a stream in a while. Yeah, like I can't. it seems ridiculous, but there are reasons why it's taken this long to respond to this video. It's like a series of loads of different things going on. In fact, yeah, we tried to do this like a month ago. And yeah, and. Uh, I have been speaking to TRO as well, and I would go as far as saying he's a friend of mine. Uh, but the problem is, I don't know, he he's a bit indecisive about this whole thing. He's I've made him aware that we're responding to this today, so he's going to get uh, messages about it. And that we, we, I have no intention of uh, holding back punches in response to punches, because the fact is he made this before he knew me. So... And it's still up. So obviously he's, uh, he's going to have to own it at this point. And... Um, it's going to take several shots at rags from from what i remember too um but he i have to, i spoke to him for a while and he was open to the idea of uh, chopping out lots of this video that's inaccurate but um he's decided that that would give the impression that he's walking back on his perspective as a whole and so he would rather not do that and instead leave the whole thing up and so we respond to potentially the whole thing and then it's it's you know potentially done the, the fact is like after this is done, there's a good chance, you know, maybe, who knows what'll happen, that TRO could come on to the next podcast, and maybe we could uh, sort out bad blood if there is some. Um, and I think it's the Quentin aspect really lends itself a lot. To yeah, that. I can say now, Quentin's in trouble with me. Like, I've, I've told TRO <laughs> this, I was like, I've offered so many fucking times to uh, build a bridge with Quentin, and he just keeps refusing and then keeps uh, sniping, and he, he really uh, pissed me off in this video, like... I already, I've seen main sections. I've already written out my response to him for my uh, the end of my TFA critique, but obviously here today we'll be able to do a full response, which I'll probably link when I eventually do that series as well, which is on its way, I swear. So anyway, that is the history. We're caught right up, and as you guys know, it takes us off on like an hour to get through 10 minutes of content on YouTube, so we're going to so try we our best. Be here until we just are fucking bored... <laughs> I've already, I already mentioned it to Mahler. I ordered pizza and timed it for two hours from now. So, yeah, <laughs> or no, actually, it's going to be an hour from now. That's what I, I before we got on. I told Mahler I'm going to eat like a big ass lunch because <laughs> we're going to be here for a while. Oh, and of course, oh, a long, long while. For anyone who's like, this is stupid. Like this is old. This blah blah. Like like seriously, just there'll be a there'll be an EFAP next week. It'll be back to normal. You could just give this one a skip if it's not your thing. Obviously, and also if it's I don't know when you ask people what's old on the internet. Some people will say a week is old. Some people say a month is old, three months, a year. If it's still up and you still believe it, then it doesn't matter when it came out, honestly. Absolutely. Um, Maybe if you go back years and years and years, yeah, sure, but this ain't, this ain't like that. Um, unfortunately, I need to take a quick rest uh, and take a quick, quick pee. Go for it. Uh, Wolf, if there's anything you want to do, go for it. I'll read out some super chats and then we'll pretty much just go. Free. Yeah, I, um, I'll just stick right here. But women don't lie about rape ever, right, guys? I mean, that's the thing. Uh, there's actual proven stories about uh, women who've actually... Haven't they gone... Some of them have gone to jail for um, falsely accusing... I believe this... I read some articles about that. Like, that's actually happened, so precedent exists, I suppose, of that sort of thing. Yeah, it's, I can't um, think of any case, but... I, You know, I would expect that to wasn't happen. The, wasn't there the one with the Rolling Stone magazine that ran a story that ended up being false from a lady uh, plain, cl cl claiming that, I believe. Uh, it doesn't matter. I'm not really familiar with that story. Uh, nice to see the fairies abducting the skull again. Shame I can't catch this live more often. It's alright, they'll all be, uh, what do you call it, archived. Guys, Netflix, uh, Netflix Witcher casting thoughts. I don't even know what the casting is beyond a few things that Wolf has said. What, what are your comments, Wolf? Uh, don't like Henry Cavill as Geralt. Oh, uh, yeah. I haven't really been paying much attention after they were like, let's just hire anyone that is not white for this character that is white. And I was like, okay, well, I don't care about the Witcher show anymore then. I mean, you're still probably going to watch it though, right? Uh, I'm, I might just like, I don't know. I don't know if I will. It. And the, um, and then they had the whole thing with, uh, the refugee thing. 
The what? The what? Like <laughs> refugees aren't illegal or something like that. All the writers had that picture on Twitter that they posted. Oh, I remember that. Oh, yeah. that one. Yeah. yeah. Like people aren't illegal or some shit like that. Uh, big fan, Maul. Keep doing doing fans of Wolf and Rags as well. Although Wolf does sound like he's on the verge of dying in all of his videos. <laughs> <laughs> I um, am. Thank you. Uh, you guys might want to check out the Jared Genesis wiki. Somebody added a new segment you guys find may find interesting, especially Rags and Wolf. I wonder if it's like something to do with the video he made. I don't know. I hope <laughs> not. I hope it's nice. I hope he's nice and he. I hope all is well. I love every time you guys use a drunken peasants meme. Thanks for the awesome streams. This is the thing. Me and Wolf used to watch uh, a lot of drunken peasants. I never watched drunken peasants, so any memes you get from me will be uh, purely coincidental. Mm -hmm. It's funny because uh, Mahler, we were talking about like uh, that we were there stream. We were both watching <laughs> yeah. that live, but we didn't know each other then. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's crazy to think about. <laughs> there was some fucking epic moments on uh, Drunken Peasants in the in the heyday or prime. I don't know. Oh what you'd call yes, it. back when they were still a thing. Uh, this is where the fun begins. Have you heard of Doomcock? His channel is called Overlord DVD. He's a fan of Muller and Dishonored Wolf, and wants to do a podcast with the two of you. I have good news. I am currently in DMs with him to sort out him coming on this podcast. So we are. <laughs> you'll you'll be seeing him, and apparently he wants me on his channel as well. So there you go. <laughs> Dude, I looked up the Jared Genesis wiki, and all I had to do was type in Jared Gen, and it auto uh, filled <laughs> in Genesis wiki. Good. Uh, Let's see. I want to see what this new entry is. Also, can't stand people like Just Right saying movies aren't bad if they like them. That makes every movie good. Then that's his logic, pretty much. He said that, like, yeah, it's it's so strange that somebody who's supposed to be uh, analyzing what good writing is and praising good writing is like, oh yeah, if it makes you feel good, it's you know, any, anything's fine. Fuck it. Ev everything's great. It's all magical. Mm-hmm. Uh, take my shackles now, release the hide everything debate. People are gonna keep saying it. Uh, the, the, there, there are some people who are like, you keep referencing it. It's like, it's like mean to hide everything. It's like, if it's in the context, we need to explain it, to, to explain a question or, or a history. Hopefully, after this, it's just done. I mean, we won't even need to reference it ever again. Yeah, um, but, but it, that's the thing. It's like one of those things you keep in your back pocket, depending on how someone behaves. I mean, you, you know? could you could definitely look at it as like a it's a safety. It's like yeah, it's like if some if they go out and say something that just isn't true, then you have the proof. And uh, I didn't know it was recorded myself, but I'm absolutely okay with it being released. I don't know, I don't know if there's any law we should be concerned with with it because it's a combination of three different countries at the same time. So um, again, it's, it's it's a complicated thing, but again, we, we, we don't mean to bring it up to keep shitting on I Hate Everything. I still actually think the guy is... He's a nice guy from, from the conversation I had with him. He's just a little bit... I don't know, easy to change his mind? It seems like that's the only thing I could get from it. If me and Wolf were surprised by how quickly he changed his mind, only to change it back again. It's just like, okay. Um, yeah. But he seemed friendly, you know. I'd be interested to see the uh, the argument that apparently changed his mind back. That would be interesting. I can't remember what video it was, but we could cover it on uh, EFAP sometime if I could. Yeah, if figure you have out. it, yeah, absolutely. If, if I check my DM watch. history with him, I should be able to find it. So uh, maybe we'll set that up for next time. Yeah, because um, everyone we've looked at is awful. How is it the wolf gets banned from Twitter, but Ben Shapiro still has his account? He pisses off way more people daily. Yeah, but hate speech or something. Wolf said. Hate because speech. Wolf used the R word, didn't you? Yeah, Wolf. The, uh, you didn't? Well, I did. Oh, he did. Out of you. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. When I make tweets now, I know, like, don't say retard. Don't say certain words. Because they'll just, yeah, those things will get picked up. And, that, yeah, and then that's you, lose, you lose your right to uh, interact on Twitter, which, you know, that's the way it is, I suppose. Which is lame. Which is lame. Uh, love you, Wolf, Maul, and Rags. And there we go. Are you folks ready to start this epic? Abortion, yeah. yes. I'll I say haven't... as well, have you guys watched TRO videos at all? No. So uh, I watched a couple of them, but I think I told you, like, it was... The first the, time. Uh, the editing kind of got to the point where it was overbearing and I... It's sporadic just... and inconsistent because he hires different editors like sometimes up to like... He hires editors? Jeez. Um, well, hires... Is, I, don't even, I don't know if he pays them. I can't remember if he pays them, but there'll be like five editors on one video. Slave labor? <laughs> it's, it's, I think it's like a friend deal. I, I think he said in one of his videos recently that he plans to basically promote them all once he's popular and that'll be... 
you know, uh-huh. sort of. Pe- but obviously, they're not forced to. It's it's their choice. And he's he's good okay. friends with them all. But the thing is, it does right. make his videos a little uh, jarring. Movie Bobby. Oh, he does. This is the thing about you know. This is clearly a style choice for TRO. But man, does he talk too fast? And the verbiage is a bit. Um, how should I put this? What's the opposite of a layman? <laughs> Um, pretentious. Oh, right. He's already already throwing punches, eh? I know. You just asked for a word. I just I was throwing the word out. I don't know. Very well. I appreciate it. I just some of his videos I've genuinely watched, finished, and thought, you know what? I've actually learned a lot about that subject, and I think that was well constructed. Like he did one recently on the animation story time community thing, and like I had no idea what was going on with that, and then I watched it. And I was like, shit, man, that was a great breakdown. But then there are some videos I, where I I struggle to grasp what the point of the video was overall. The first time I ever heard of him was at the end of the I Hate Everything video. When it was like, this was proofread by this guy. <laughs> and I'm like, someone proofread this? He did. Oh, so that's something that I mentioned. See, he clarified with me a wolf. He didn't proofread it in that he didn't make sure the arguments were solid. He proofread it in that the made the grammar correct, I believe is what he said. Oh. So it's like, okay. It's still a bit funny oh, to have like the, the right opinion part, to proofread right. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, yeah it's... Anyway, I had, I have. That's the thing. I had nothing against uh, the right opinion. I just thought it was kind of funny that you got a guy named I hate our um, uh, the right opinion to proofread for you. I just thought that was kind of like, eh. but maybe he took it personally. Yeah. Um. Just two more. I'll get two super chats out of the way just in case. Uh... They're going to pile up while we try and respond to this, but you guys familiar with the Lawful Masses channel? He just did a video about a high schooler who is suing a group of girls who destroyed his life with false claims of sexual assault. Never heard good. of it. Good. Good, yeah. Uh, if, yeah, good. Um, stuff shouldn't be tolerated. I know that's a partisan issue, apparently. Well, that's, yeah, that's the interesting thing. It's like, of course, that sounds like justice trying attempting to be served there, but there are some people who might, I don't know, feel frustrated at, at that comment, so <laughs> who knows? We'll find be, out in the comment being... section. Mail is political. Well, these um, are the people who say that everything is political. So I, I know it would it. probably never happen, but what would an EFAP Sardonicast crossover look like? I don't. Know, I don't even know that you can have a coherent podcast with six people at once. One of them are welcome to come whenever they wish to EFAP. Absolutely. We'll. I would love to have YMS or anybody come on. That'd be great. We'll, we'll see. We'll have we'll a gay old time. Yeah. Especially because YMS was in the chat and everything when we were going over the video by um Patrick Williams. It was. Him. It was Patrick. Yeah, the plot hole one. I think. Um. The and yeah. And, and any three of us would probably, I imagine, happily go on on their podcast. But again, I can't really see a six person podcast working. Yeah, it's a lot. Uh, Rags Wolf's thoughts on Mauler's Sona being a fox skeleton. I've seen all the movies. Y'all have famously not seen, but all seen the fifth element? I have no... I love the fifth element. Fox skeleton? Oh, that's the, the fan art they're talking about. I don't even know if you guys have seen that. <laughs> the fox skeleton? No. I think I that's what they're talking that, about, no. actually. I'm, I'm not you gotta pick sure. Your, uh, pick your spirit animal. But I have seen fifth element. Have you guys seen that? Yes. Very good movie. Love I have it. not seen it, no. Oh, man, it is so good. We'll watch it later. <laughs> I was, I was waiting for Rags to be like, how could you not see it? I was like, Rags, don't. <laughs> don't, don't no, no, no. That, <laughs> that would have been strange. I'm surprised, but, oh, it'll be great. You'll love I, it. It's so good. You know, I, I saw a comment in the chat. Mauler, I showed you, like, a bunch of the comments this guy made on the last EFAP where he was like, Su- he really, really does not like me. He's convinced I'm racist. Okay. He, he, he's in the chat. And he yeah. made a comment, uh, uh, Wolf makes a video in support of the racists at Charlottesville, but he claims he's not a racist. I think you need <laughs> well, to re- I got called a racist I, because I, I don't think that people... It's like, you go on Twitter and you say, I don't think that people left or right should be oppressed for their opinions, and I get called like, you're not... <laughs> it's like, I, I, I just think it's funny because he... He clearly did not listen to that video because I at no point said, oh yeah, these racists are great guys. It's like no, I don't think you watched that video. <laughs> but it's just funny. All it's funny to us, see like how much he really, really hates me. Like genuinely, all three of us. You'll see it in the videos because the chat's going to be in in all the videos. There's people who really hate either Rags Wolf or me singularly, and they'll come to these streams just to. I'm not going to say just to hate, but just to try and leave comments where they're like, "That'll sting. That'll yeah." Get him. So it's like it yeah. brings me joy. It brings me joy. <laughs> Oh, fuck it out. Out day, you know, everyone rats. all over the damn planet claims Wolf is racist. This is like a fine whatever. It's like, okay, it, I'm just gonna say it. If you think I'm racist, you're fucking retarded. 
you don't know what yeah. racism is. It's kind yeah, of embarrassing, isn't it? You know how they do guilt yeah. by association? You'd be like, wait, yes. Wolf voted for Bernie Sanders. Does that mean racists support Bernie Sanders now? No, it means that Wolf doesn't think white people know what it's like to be poor. Oof. Which See, racist, drifted but... into politics thanks to the chat now. It's not even our fault. You brought you brought up Bernie Sanders. That's true, but it was supposed to be in defense of uh, of uh, Wolf. Oh, that racist? Yeah. That racist? Yeah. So anyway, we're doing good for I'm a record, so by racist. the way. 35 minutes and we've not started the video. <laughs> <laughs> we've laid the foundation for great, well, yeah, great stuff. Yeah, we gotta, you know, we gotta start it up because uh, we're gonna be here all day. All right, all right, here we go, here we go. Hi. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to The Right Opinion, the home of a twat yeah. with too much free time and it's been a while yes i've been busy understandably so so you got this segment edited by kaleo is cooled so that's why it'll like each section is going to be a bit different from the next sort of thing okay this video was quite the undertaking but i wanted to give it some sort of weight and i hope i do a while back i hate everything made a video on star wars i won't say much more because we're going to be addressing a lot of that very soon it was one of his more controversial releases for many reasons and ready to dispute it was a youtube by the name of rax now hey! rax appears to be a creator <laughs> who talks about a mix of media and politics particularly with the leaning into the entertainment industry which is an interesting genre without a doubt going on a show i like dogs and i like dildos so we're practically best mates at this point hey. all joking aside i'd only heard of Rags once before the video we'll be speaking about today. I'm a bit more out of the loop of the political community than I let on, but it was when he had a Twitter account and some artists refused to do work for him because of a couple of people he was associated with. Although it's perfectly reasonable to say that it's the artist's prerogative of who they want to do the work for, it's still very personal and indicative of the state of the political community, that we really have that much passionate distaste for someone we'd rather not serve them because of their friends or opinions. I'm I think uh, video's solid so far. That sounds about right. I'm glad he didn't go the whole route of because so, some people took that tweet of uh, that I said they weren't allowed to do art for me when I was like, no, I was just pointing out how fucking ridiculous it was and petty. Mm -hmm. So I'm I'm glad he got the the right opinion there. <laughs> <laughs> About to criticize rags, maybe pretty harshly. I would still offer him the time of day because to me, content does not define the person. But and that's why the right opinion is actually a friend, if you will. And uh, him and rags may very well get to have a conversation someday. But obviously, this is the kind of thing where. My He's, DMs have always been open. Like, TRO doesn't have any connection to me or Rags before making this video, so he... Uh, you could argue that the, some mistakes may not have been made had that uh, been the case, so it's, it's, a, it's a small reprieve, but it's just still gonna have to deal with what he says. As I said, that was my only experience with him, so I went into the video with a fairly fresh mind on rags. Obviously, I had my opinions on the film, I thought it was okay, I'm probably someone who fell in the middle of the consensus, I liked some elements and hated others, I felt it was a prospectively great film that fucked up too much. Impressive, but frustrating. So it understandably provoked strong feelings in a lot of viewers, particularly ones who fell on either side, because it definitely took risks, but I don't consider it bad by any means, especially like considering my- in the back. Huh? I don't like this music in the back. <laughs> I am. Uh, you know the idea is like a, a film takes notice. risks. I've always just been like, what does that even mean? It's like film takes risks. Would it I be mean, the, would it, is Force Awakens considered safe? Is that the difference? Like either it takes risks or it's safe. I guess the thing is that, oh man, yeah, the Force Awakens is safe. The Last Jedi. I don't even think it was risk because I think it was. It's almost like saying that it took a risk was one of those post hoc sorts of things. I mean, like oh, it was taking risks. My perspective on this I'm whole thing is sure. like, if it was a movie about a poop that got farted out, whatever pooped out, would that be a risky film? Would you be able to say, hey man, it took risks? It's like, to basically gets to the uh, point where it's like, what does taking risks really matter if, if, that's, if that's what gets you into that, you know, category? Yeah, I mean, I, I, can com I, I can, in a way, I can sympathize with the sincerity of being original. Yeah. But, I don't know. Well, I mean, a risk like to me is more like, um... Will people sit through a film that is three scientists in in a room working on something, and that's the entire film? I'd be like, hmm, like mm, what do they depends. do? What are they, yeah, you yeah. know what I mean. It's like are that the, does do they seem have characters. What are they doing? What's the uh... like? You could you, maybe you, you could say that's risky because audiences won't really respond to something like that typically. Like I could see that conversation, but I don't know. Last Jedi is a risk. The I think suppose. that like the thing that kind of bothers me about like the whole risk argument is like they come at it whenever they bring up like, oh, it took risks, they always say that as though that's inherently a good thing. Like it's a defense of the it film is, in some way. 
yeah, it's like, I don't care if it took risks. If the risks it took were like shitty and led to the movie being terrible, then the risks don't mean anything. That does that's not a point of endearment if you're Yeah, you could you can say that we ruined Luke Skywalker as a character. That was a risk we decided <laughs> that was to a take. risk. Well, that that doesn't that doesn't exactly that, that's not an excuse uh, to cushion the criticism risk, yeah. to say, oh if because we, it was a risk. If all we gotta do is say yes it did take risks then fine. It doesn't it's not a point of quality at all for me though. But yeah, I mean, I Disney just... took the risk of giving The Last Jedi over <laughs> to a really inexperienced writer and filmmaker who's yeah, made, like, one kind of decent movie, and that's I, all that he has to his name. Contra- don't confuse controversy with just risk-taking. I mean, you know, Jackass, as a series, they're all taking risks. you, you got to accept that, even if it is, like, yeah. drinking horse semen is risky. Yeah, I mean, and there are risks that were good, like, um... Uh, the Lord of the Rings, uh, Peter Jackson was known for like little crazy horror movies with zombies and shit. And he was given the rights to make the movie, to adapt the, what is one of the best books ever written. And you don't find people saying, you know why Lord of the Rings is good? Because it was a risk. It's like, no, you just talk about how good it is. (laughs) You don't need to say that it's a risk. Yeah, they took a risk, and he made a great movie, and we appreciate the movie because it's so great. Yeah. We don't appreciate it because Peter Jackson was the one that got the reins. Yeah, it may- maybe it has to do something with somebody going into something knowing that what they're going to do could be controversial, but doing it anyway without yeah, like, really having a clear understanding of how it will be received. Instead of choosing something they know would make money, they choose something that could potentially damage their own career for, for the Also, just, just making... Um, just making something original does not count as a risk. Yeah, it's a complicated thing. I don't even consider The Last Jedi that risky. I don't think... You can't really make... As long as it just has some of the things that people can connect to, it's going to make money, because it's the sequel to Force Awakens. It has the word Star Wars on it. I mean, yeah, like, there was a... Remember, there was a point in time where you could put Star Wars on something, and people didn't go, <laughs> I mean, That it, was <laughs> a year ago. Thank you, Solo. <laughs> you helped that environment so much. Uh, and the anime, that Star Wars Rebel show or whatever it is. Oh Star god, Wars, yeah, a lot of people have been very upset one. with Resistance, isn't uh, it? it? looks, it look, yeah, it looks fucking awful. Yeah, the it's a the kid art. show that plays at 10 p.m. on Sunday. Yeah, boy, this is such a strange. <laughs> uh, I don't even know what you call it. Like the it's it's time kids. slot. It's, yeah. Anyway, uh, it's like, <laughs> we should probably head back to Tarot. for the Amish. Is it gonna go? standards of cinema. In I Hate Everything's video, as IHE testified, I'd conducted a comb through for any syntactic issues, and made some amendments with regards to structure. I don't touch the points he actually makes, but the content didn't jump out to me as particularly provocative, and it didn't when I watched the video either. My only feedback to him at the time was that the delivery was a bit subdued, apart from the rather over-the-top segment at the end. Nonetheless, I thought it was mostly fine, not my favourite, but it didn't irritate me. Others clearly felt otherwise, Rags being one of them. From now, I will be responding to Rags' points and trying to make sense of how such points have arisen. I will disagree with Rags at multiple times throughout this video, as you will see soon, and as I actually had no plans to respond himself, I thought I'd have a crack. So without further ado, let's get to it. You made a bad video, Rags. Piece of shit. Do you know that? Opinions, voice. It should be. It exists. I'm pretty sure my fingers are falling off one of the editor's computer personal claims. So we all have a strong disdain for Rags' voice. Oh. Um, well, there we go. So there shouldn't be, I don't know if there should be an apostrophe S after me, uh, but there should be one. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure with opinions. how English yeah, works. Right opinion, po- you know, right opinion apostrophe S. Since, you know, since syntactic errors are. Hey, man, TRO can't catch all of them. He's only, it's fine. He's only it's fine. so good. He opens announcing that I hate everything made a really bad video and I'm going to respond to it because it's a really bad video. However, before this, he precurses it with the fact that he doesn't watch much I hate everything at all, but he does introduce Destiny 2, which he will not be showing any clips from, but will bring the general topic up to make a similar point a fair yeah. few times throughout this mm-hmm. video. After a few lighthearted jokes and what I assume is the intro, he gets into the argument. Yeah, there, there was a reason I did that with um, the um I'm the pretty sure title. he's going to get to it. Okay. Nice. Rags initiates by calling IHEA Star Wars apologist. Oh, is that what you call yourself? You call yourself a Star Wars fan? No, no, no. 
You're not what I'd call a Star Wars fan. I'd call you a Star Wars apologist. Now this is bathed in the sardonic tone pertained by a lot of these commentators, and look, the Avatar is pulling his glasses down, so it's not to be taken too seriously. Is the whole video like this? <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Well, this is the like, thing. Like, I'm serious. Is this is this gonna be the whole fucking video? This is I've the problem. I've watched the whole video, and yeah, the, the Avatar pulls down gets, his glasses and say, oh, it, Jesus. "It get it gets much worse when um, what's his fucking stupid ass name? Um, Quentin, is it? Quentin. Yeah, it gets much worse when he comes in. Awesome. So, so, the, so uh, just just you know, relish this moment of. Somewhat uh, sanity because he understands that a, an apologist is like a fan plus is like a Christian apologist is a fan of Christianity. It's just being more specific about the way that they carry themselves and the arguments that they make. Well, I, I think yeah, that's the thing. We all know what an apologist is, and it's like oh, you called him that without him agreeing to that label. Just like yeah, but he's like I don't need him to. <laughs> the, the, yeah, okay. but I was gonna say the reason this for me the whole video doesn't work properly is um. When I responded to H Bomber guy, he made a video essay in that he structured it into segments. He had evidence and he had references, so I could do that back to him. I can take his references and just you know disseminate how exactly they were constructed and figure out what parts he's left out. Blah blah blah. What's happened here is I had everything rambled onto a Microsoft Word document, and then he put visuals to it because there's no way he spent more than I want to say two scripts on that thing because I, I had everything admitted flowy. the video itself doesn't really have a, like you just said a flow it's it's not it's very confused it's it's him sharing his feelings on Star Wars so then Rags responds with his feelings on I had everything's feelings and now we've got someone who's taking a, an extremely analytical approach to feelings about feelings. Yeah, that's one of the reasons that I like doing responses to people is because it kind of comes with a pre-built structure. Even if what you're responding to isn't really structured in and of itself, it's you have a base to work off of and you pretty much just respond to whatever is happening on that other video. The other video could be about 10 different random topics with no segues, no good connections, but you can still do a response to it because that is still for you the structure of what the video is you're making. And but it's, it's not for the original. It's not that we can't take what Rags says and uh, find out if it's truly accurate in, in whatever context, but you're going to get stuff like this, where he's like, you have claimed that he's an apologist, when in the initial statement he said he was a fan, and now, so he's probably going to go on, because I'm, I'm pretty, I did see the opening half an hour, so, but that was like half a year ago, so I'm pretty sure he goes on like, does he say like what defines a fan and then what defines an apologist? And it's just like, it was a bit of a throwaway comment. And you've already agreed that uh, Rags is using um, a form of his avatar that implies you're you're being coy almost. So it's not like you're making a declarative statement in a courtroom. Yeah, I mean, I think what he needs to understand is that an apologist is somebody who just basically offers arguments in defense of something. I mean, that's that's just what it is. It's really not that much of a. It, I mean, the word can carry baggage depending on how it's applied. Yeah. But all it is is a person who offers arguments in defense of something. And that's that's it. So it's really like I'm an apologist for PC gaming. I'm an apologist for liberal values. Is apologist does it like the actual definition of it? Because I've never actually looked. Is it like here, let me look. Is it negative connotations? Is, it can because um there's like apologetics for religion and things like that. A person but who offers an argument in defense of something controversial. Yeah, that's not even a bad word then. Like, if yeah, I would count myself as an apologist, an apologist for many things. Yeah, we're all apologists for things. Now, uh, apologetics is, it kind of has a negative connotation because of a lot of, like, Christian or Muslim or a lot of, basically, religious apologetics. Because um, I was just going to say, but, like, um, I'm an apologist for The Last Jedi being awful and rag... Uh, I hate everything is the other side of the aisle. Yeah, this just seems like a strange point to get. Str a strange point. start, yeah. However, this sets a precedent for a particular narrative throughout the rest of this video. So, to respond to this point quickly, Aichi did not enjoy the prequels, so to imply that he is simply in love with everything Star Wars feels inaccurate. After some back and forth... Um, the, I, I guess that's arguably fair, but I, I suppose do you need Rags to clarify that he's an apologist for... New Star yeah, Wars. The last Jedi. Yeah, the last. I didn't even think about like the prequels when I said that. The last prequel came I out in no two thousand five. 
I believe. Yeah, I I have no idea what I hate everything feels about any other Star Wars film other than The Last Jedi, really. And honestly, that doesn't matter because when he was defending The Last Jedi, he was being an apologist for Star Wars. If you want me to be more specific, it's Star Wars The Last Jedi, but whatever. Well, he's got you there, Rags. Or between yeah, the time stamp where specific. Yeah. But Rags and IG do not say anything particularly of value, other than Rags sarcastically implanting the expectation that IG must have really hated The Last Jedi. I really adore the original trilogy, warts and all. Oh. So if you really like the original trilogy, then you must have really hated The Last Jedi, right? <laughs> we get this very curious comment. Your films like, I don't know, 2001 A Space Odyssey and The Deer Hunter are excellent, well-made movies. But to me at least, they're not the kind of thing that I'd throw on on a cold Sunday afternoon for a bit of fun, light-hearted entertainment. Is that what you see The Last Jedi as? Fun, light-hearted entertainment? That's fine if you do, there's nothing wrong with you considering it that. It just strikes me as odd that you would open this video by praising the original trilogy, when one of the huge reasons that people hate The Last Jedi so much is how disrespectfully it treats and tries to emulate the original trilogy. When IG is yeah. talking about the- Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm, I'm following along so far. Everything's fine. Yeah, I don't, um, yeah, I think what I said was pretty reasonable. Like, I, I still said, like the I music in the background. Right yeah, the music's not only too loud, but seems a little bit inappropriate, but hey, that's just me. Yeah, I mean, I even say pretty blank, pretty upfront that it's fine if you feel that way about the movie. He tries to emulate the original trilogy. When IG is talking about the old Star Wars movies he throw on a Sunday afternoon, Rag suddenly translates this to a comment about The Last Jedi and cuts in with numerous arguments. Yeah, the, the connection is if you enjoy and un un unlike the originals, it's it's interesting to consider that because the new ones actively kind contradict. Of shit on them a bit, yeah. So, yeah, it's not because of the prequels that we hate Episode Eight. Yeah, it's because of the originals that we hate Episode Eight. Yeah, yeah, it's very strange. I think that yeah, I think the connections between the Last Jedi and how it relates to the original should be pretty clear. I know and explain that later on certainly. He's like, why do you have to bring in the Last Jedi when he's talking about the originals? That seems like unnecessary. And it's like, well, I mean, this this the video he's responding to is about loving the last or defending the Last Jedi. And he's yeah, opening with, I love the originals. So it's like, I think it's relevant, isn't it? Yeah, it seems really relevant. I don't know what his issue is, actually. Hey, I mean, I, just, to, just to say it, uh, yeah. this is the fastest we've ever gotten through four minutes <laughs> and 21 seconds. I think you were yeah, right, well, Wolf. The fact that he's going to well, play, play clips for me and Rags, it'll make it much easier. Because we could just be like, yep, yeah, okay. <laughs> this is like reasonable. <laughs> an immediate response first time, I may understand why someone would do that, because we don't know if Aichi is going to talk about The Last Jedi in respect to the old movies again in the video. However, in this instance, Aichi does. And I assume Rags has watched this before because he opens it up declaring it as a bad video. He states that he would be surprised if Aichi would like it as fun, light-hearted. So to clarify, he's saying that if you'd watched the whole video, you would know that I hate everything liking the originals is like, I can't remember what he just said. Is it relevant or not relevant to the conversation? That should have changed whether or not you just said what you said. So I just want to catch that again. What is his evidence? I and mean, one of the huge reasons that people hate The Last Jedi so much is how disrespectfully it treats and tries to emulate the original trilogy. When IG is talking about the old Star Wars movies he throw on a Sunday afternoon, Rag suddenly translates this to a comment about The Last Jedi and cuts in with numerous arguments. Now when someone's doing an immediate response first time... Yeah, yeah, because this video is about The Last Jedi. Wait. He's 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 halfway through. He's about to explain why I mean, it is that you shouldn't have said. The original trilogy. Um, when IG is talking about the old Star Wars movies, he throw on a Sunday video, and that's the part that I'm interested. The afternoon, in. Rag suddenly translates this to a comment about the Last Jedi and cuts in with numerous arguments. Now, when someone's doing an immediate response first time, I may understand why someone would do that because we don't know if IG is going to talk about the Last Jedi in respect to the old movies again in the video. However, in this instance, IG does, and I assume Rags has. I if I hear anything does, then what Rags said was relevant. Yeah, I don't, I don't see exactly. I'm not following. What the point is, yeah, watch this I'm before not, because I'm not he following either. Opens it up, declaring it as a bad video. He states that he would be surprised if I actually would like it as fun, light-hearted entertainment, given a lot of the fan response, and then references the audience score on Rotten Tomatoes and draws an inductive. No, he references the fact that audiences were. That's evidence that audiences did not like it more so than any other Star Wars film, and then yeah, the reasoning the Rags provided bad, was spitting on the originals. Yeah, you get an audience score for 184,000 ratings, and it's at a 48%. That's a pretty divisive movie. And like, you know, it's it's not it's not a it's Rags not an argument for the the film being terrible. It's an argument for the film being divisive. 
Yeah, and and well, you 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 qualified what you said. You you that's proof people didn't like it, and then you provided a reasoning, which was spitting on the originals, which is relevant to I hate everything saying he loves the originals, and yet he loves the new one. That's that's your question. Or him. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I'm pretty much just saying it's curious. All of that follows to me. <laughs> like, this is, makes I'm, sense to me. Yeah, I'm confused exactly what the point is. Conclusion for why people didn't enjoy it. It just strikes me as odd that you would open this video by praising the original trilogy, when one of the huge reasons that people hate The Last Jedi so much is how disrespectfully it treats- Well, the fact that you've, you've covered your ass as well, you said it strikes me as odd. You didn't say- Yeah, I think that is odd. And that's the thing you haven't said, this is definitively incorrect, I hate everything. You've literally said, I find, I find it odd. Yeah, I mean, fine. don't- <laughs> It's I mean, a feeling, Don't that, you it? find it odd, TRO? Like, wouldn't that- wouldn't someone who says, like, I really love Terminator 2, also, I really love Terminator Genesis. It wouldn't I even matter like, if he didn't, because you've, you've, let, you've let him know with that language that this is something you feel. This is how yeah, it comes it, across to you. Yeah. And what's he gonna do? Prove that you don't feel it? It's like, no. I guess. ...and tries to emulate the original trilogy. Or just straight up copy it. I'll address this point okay. in the near future. He then does the exact same thing again, because at this point Aichi is talking about Star Wars as a premise, and Rags is assigning this as Aichi's opinion on The Last Jedi before he's even stated his opinion. Aichi refers to Star Wars as a general concept, not as specific movies, because- But he just admitted that if Rags has seen the whole video, then he would be able to respond to it as such. You and know, you just established strange. that Rags has seen the whole video, therefore, any statement I hate everything makes at the beginning, Rags can comment in relation to yeah, the conclusion, which is I hate everything likes The Last Jedi. Yeah. No, a... I can't remember what my order was. Generally for videos, I can't remember whether each specific video was made after I've watched the whole thing, or I've watched a certain amount, and there's mm. enough to go by with just what I've watched. Generally, a lot of times, videos are made over a period of days and days, but... I don't know. I don't know. I don't exactly know what his point is. He then does the exact same thing again because at this point Aichi is talking about Star Wars as a premise and Rags is assigning this as Aichi's opinion on The Last Jedi before he's even stated his opinion. Aichi refers to Star Wars as a general concept, not as specific movies because as stated earlier he hates the prequels so this run of responses just seems like a waste of time. And yes, he does go on to say that he likes The Last Jedi but- I wouldn't oh, criticize okay, Rags for wasting time. I don't yeah. think we should be in that position. <laughs> yeah. To a viewer who's never watched the source material, they would not understand this. And because you show all the source material, I assume you're trying to make this appeal to all audiences, whether they watch the IHG video or not. Rags then points out- No, I'm, I'm not- when I make videos, I don't try to appeal to a particular audience. I just- I just get in front of a microphone and say stuff that I feel and then the audience comes afterwards. Crazy, right? I don't, I don't that think, you, you know, play the I, whole video. Crazy, crazy idea that is. I, was, I don't, I'm, I mean, some people do that and it's fine to like target a specific demographic, but I don't do that. No. I just, the audience that comes is the audience that comes. I think it's part of the reason why me and you get along really well is we both sort of approach it that way. We like to sort of keep the entire context and, and respond to it piece by piece in a way. And a lot of people will be like, you take the one point that you have and respond to it. That's how you make a video. And it's like, that's not how I make a video. Yeah. But uh, I just want to clarify what he said there, because it didn't sound right to me. Star Wars as a general concept, not as specific movies, because as stated earlier, he hates the prequels. So this run of responses just seems like a waste of time. And yes, he does go on to say that he likes The Last Jedi, but to a viewer who's never watched the source material, they would not understand this. And because I think most people knew that uh, the, I had everything. People who are watching Rags' video, the majority of them are going to have seen I Hate Everything's video, because that's why they would have been watching it. Uh, Rags' yeah. audience were very aware of the Star Wars stuff anyway. And uh, as you stated earlier, Rags has already started treating this analysis as if he knows that he likes The Last Jedi. Because he does know. It's very strange. Because that's I Hate Everything's video, so yeah, it's a bit... Kind of, I guess kind he's of both. that it's, it's my bad for not clarifying what the other person's position is beforehand? I guess he wants you to treat it as though we haven't discovered whether or not I Hate Everything likes the film yet, even though we all know that, and that's part of the reason why you wanted to respond to the video, was that he took liking it into defending it as good. Okay. But, yeah, I don't know, it's a bit weird. Because you show all the source material, I assume you're trying to make this appeal to all audiences, whether they watch the Aichi video or not. I mean, I wouldn't even no, make I... it appeal to all no. audiences anyway. No, yeah, I mean, I, I just want to... I just want to show everything so it's there and the link to the originals there so that I mean it just I just respond to the whole video I just keep going I mean I think a lot of the times when people 
make videos and they have people edit this and they right because I don't this this video wasn't scripted. I don't script. No, you videos. don't. No, I just, I'm just like I just respond to something that happens. And I think a lot of the times maybe people I'm not saying this is what Tiro is doing, but it's a possibility that when people do have a very structured uh, way of going about videos, they assume other people do, too. Like I like they assume that I've watched the whole video and that I've scripted it out and that I've proofread it and that I've gone over it again and I've looked at these points. But no, it's I mean, all this stuff is pretty much just off the cuff. That's kind of what I was getting at. I like he's pictures. breaking you down very analytically when you've I don't know. I'm not sure if he's maybe he's unaware that you did this off the cuff. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, you do it's, it's you possible. do well off the cuff, right? It's just, maybe that's a part of your curse. People will assume maybe. that you scripted it and researched it. Well, people do. Um, people all the time ask me about scripting, and I tell them I don't script, and they're kind of shocked. But no, I don't, I don't really script. Mm. No, never for stuff like this. Rags then points out, rightfully, Aichi's comment about the death threats is unsubstantiated. So why is it that I'm still getting death threats and hate comments? Oh, fuck Oh, I hate it when people ever yeah. use it. It's so annoying. Yeah. Me, Rags, and Wolf I'm get death threats. Just if anybody Everyone was wondering. Everyone on the internet gets death threats. Everybody on the internet gets mean comments. Everybody on the internet who's a big name, who has a lot of, who has a big audience, who has opinions, they get, they ruffle feathers. That's just the nature of it. And it has been that way since the beginning of perpetuity itself. And yeah. if you, I, that's, 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 he's probably going to go into it in a second. But the whole reason that I bring this up is because I'm like, I hate everything. You are a huge channel and you've been on the internet for long enough to know that this is how the internet is. So don't give me that boo hoo bullshit. Yeah. Sorry, Mr. Sarkeesian. But yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to hang on to your little pity party here. About well, he, death threats. He's oh, like God, upset comments. that people want him to die because he likes The Force Awakens. It's like, people get upset if you uh, say you should die if you didn't like The Force Awakens. What does it matter? Yeah, I mean, Jesus. I mean, I was... It's just You gotta show a bit of tough skin here. It's just, you're talking about a movie, and obviously anonymous people on the internet are going to say mean things about you. It's like, so what? Be an adult. Jeez. But I'm, I'm pretty sure you, you respond this way, so let's see how he responds to your response, and then we'll respond to his response to your response to I hate everything to, to the movie. That, it'll completely make sense. Tell us in I the comments how you feel. Force Awakens. Yeah, I remember my first week on the internet. Really sorry to hear about those totally credible death threats that you got sent, Anita. Although it's likely that you get a few when you pull that many views, but that is assumed anyway, and IG should have elaborated more on this. It's oh, understood, not anything exceptional. But then, Regs refers to IG as Anita. This is obviously talking about serial victim Anita yes. Sarkeesian, and this is an important point that we shall hold yes, on to, although it just seems throwaway at this moment. He then attacks okay. IG as pulling the boohoo, yes. woe is me card. I was gonna throw my hat into the ravenous, never-ending black hole that is opinions on the last Jedi long before this, but for too long I just felt too beat down and disappointed to say- I'm sorry, I can't listen to that and not go, yeah. yeah, that's that's him going boo-hoo. Absolutely it is. IHE's going, oh, people are gonna not, uh, not like even sure what the purpose say. of him saying it is. I guess he's just trying to explain yeah, why he was so late to the party. Yeah, but that, yeah, absolutely he is. Absolutely he is. Say anything. Gosh, we're pulling the boo hoo woe is me card pretty quick, don't you think? Especially for a channel called I Hate Everything. When really I just felt that Aichi was expressing his own problems and why he hadn't reviewed it sooner. If that's how he felt, that's how he felt. He's not asking for your sympathy. Not everyone said- And we're not asking for your approval of our feelings on his feelings. Yeah. Sorry, but you can't play that card for I Hate Everything and not Rags. That's, yeah, that's another it, problem it, with this it video. Works both ways. It works both ways. Rags gets to and say what when, he thinks about that. <laughs> yeah, you know, and when you're IHE and you say, some of you are gonna love me and some of you are gonna hate me, it's like, C fuck off, grow up. <laughs> I know. It's like, Jesus. come on. Get on with it. It's just like, yes, yeah, you can literally say that water is a drink and there's gonna be someone out there like, that's fucking stupid. No, it's a fluid. It takes the shape of exactly. it. Exactly. It's just like, yeah, you can't. This And Star Wars, of course, is gonna be maybe a more corrosive subject because of the fact that it's a huge fan base with completely shifting ideas all the time. But again, this doesn't not happen in Star Trek or fucking Lord of the Rings, especially with the new series that's going to come out. Um, it, I'm just, I was going to say, like, this pretty much applies to just every franchise that's big. Yeah. It's just inevitable. People, people fight over this stuff because <laughs> that's, that's what happens. I mean this is the thing is like I it's I don't know much about IHE's content but the feeling that I get from it is that he doesn't often 
he spends a lot of time going after easy targets. So when he goes after something that's really divisive, like he's really bracing himself See, for something. Some that people he's might not think you're being unfair to say that, but like, rem that's I, the impression I, I get. He he's he went after Big Mouth, which is typically looked at as terrible. He went after Love Island, which is one of the like most shitty TV shows that are like reality TV shows in Britain. I was even surprised he took that on. Then we got he's um, got the um the Destiny two the Destiny Destiny two thing. And Destiny two was getting um, shat on significantly. Oh yeah. Well, even the first one was getting a huge amount of flack. I mean, they both were. I mean, those were pretty easy targets to make. And then but, I mean, and this is without looking I, at his you channel. You think I made this video thinking that I wouldn't get a lot of flack for it? Of course, I knew I would. Oh, yeah. I know he's made a video on um what's that depression show um. Oh, 13, uh, 13, 13 reasons, reasons why. why. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and that's generally by most people looked at as a good show. It's it's not a good show, and he goes through all the reasons why it's a shit show. I think he has yeah, 13 reasons just, why, doesn't he? It's yeah. like the way that I ate everything went into this video, and the stuff that he said and the way that he said it absolutely gave me the impression that he was trying to temper what would all what he already knew was coming and that he almost was ready. He almost had a foot out of the door already. Like, it's just my opinion, and that means da 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 and some of you are going to hate me. It's like, ugh. I, um, I was going to say, e Evil Loch Ness is like my favorite uh, commenter. He's, he's like the heckler of... Uh, he, he called you racist a bit ago, Rags, but uh, he just me? came in with, we take 30 minutes to talk about five minutes of video, and yet we say get mm -hmm. on with it to people. Yes, um, I, I, I guess I should explain. We're doing a podcast... And uh, this is a video from someone who is scripted, and it's an analysis. We're doing a podcast. Video, pre-scripted, and, and we're the pot. We talk about stuff as friends, right? It's a different, it's a little bit different, but I can understand the confusion, it's okay. That's when it's in I'm not a racist, but I do need to fill up this water bottle. So <laughs> continue to defend my non-racistness uh, well, while I go do that. I like laughed randomly earlier, and it was because I just read a comment where he was like, I don't watch, I haven't seen this video because I, Rags is a racist. And I was just like, what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's such a brand, and it's like, you know, I get it for, for Rags and Wolf all the time. Uh, it still happens for me because I criticize Black Panther, but it's just so, it's so indicative of the internet. Like yeah, I mean, come anything. on, we're we're friends with Fringy. He's green. Yeah, that, that that is true. And we and we talked to Appa Bend. Appa Bend yeah. promised us that things would be different after he came on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he he gave us his brown seal of approval. Exactly his own problems and why he hadn't reviewed it sooner. If that's how he felt, that's how he felt. He's not asking for your sympathy. Not everyone saying that they've been feeling down is immediately doing that, especially when it's embedded within reasonable context. And the context in this is why he hasn't made a video sooner. Aichi is a YouTuber who wears his heart in his sleep. It's not unusual of him to admit that he's emotionally vulnerable. I don't think anything Rag says contradicts what you just said. Rags yeah. is simply saying, the pointing it out, this is, hang on a second, he's not, it's not like I hate everything said I've been anxious about this and I've got personal things to deal with and that's why I couldn't release the video. He literally said that like, ugh, it's just so, I mean we could go back to the clip, but I'm pretty sure he basically goes over how Star Wars is an environment where there's, it's just like, you don't want to get into that sort of thing. Like it's just like, oh man, I, I, I was gonna do it, but man, that is a, that is a toxic environment. And this is a little bit of inference that Rags wouldn't even be able to have reference for, because Rags has admitted that he doesn't actually watch I Hate Everything's channel. He's responding to this video. So to be like, you see, he's made a video on anxiety, so you should realize that he's talking in reference to that. It's like, well then, he probably should have mentioned that? Like, if I Had yeah. Everything said I suffer from anxiety and that's been pulling me away from being able to make this video because I don't want to deal with what comes next? would be like, that would be... And the thing is, I made a video that kind of had the, that had the similar, so similar tone to a Boogie. And uh, it's unlisted right now. Uh, yeah, didn't you uh, for, for stream special with reasons? him for a while? Huh? Didn't you stream with Boogie and like yeah, talk with it, him? Yeah, it what? was actually on the, the scroll bar at the beginning of the, the video when he was going through my videos. But yeah, I did. Uh, but yeah, I had a really good stream with him and talks with him. And I like to think that we're on good terms. Uh, but yeah, uh, there's a way to go about that. And I, I mean, I stand by what I said in that video. Mm -hmm. uh, at the time, especially, but it's unlisted right now for some special reasons. But there's a way to go about that. Uh, I hate everything is.
His what? <laughs> It's it. He's done this before in his depression video, for example. My body literally cannot take it anymore. And I feel that making a video essay explaining how anxiety affects me will not only help. Why are you. Rags, there's okay. no reference for this. And okay. it's not referenced in the actual video. This is. I, I was like, I'm not going to give. I'm not going to listen. Whenever I respond to somebody, I'm not going to go into their psychological issues or their anxiety issues. I'm not going to give them a fucking physical. This is just, a, if, if they say things, then I don't. If they say a thing in a video, I don't care what their physical ailment is. I will respond to the thing that they said in their video. Yeah, and I'm not even sure what he's trying to say here. It's like you see, he suffers from anxiety. That means talking about how he doesn't want to get involved with Star Wars makes sense. And it's like, well, that could be reason. If anything that proves my point, it's just for a reason I wasn't aware of, but it still means I'm right. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I'm just not following this. And, and again, like no reference, as you already know. Rags does not know about this, so why even bring it up? Me cope and deal with it, but it may even help other people out there come to terms or relate or empathize on just what it can do to a person. Now we begin a section that I probably disliked the most out of Rags' okay. video. Here I think go. the reaction and response to The Last Jedi is quite frankly embarrassing. And I think the reaction and the response to Destiny 2 is quite f Oh, this is like one of my favorite bits from your video. Oh, really? I thought this was like the most watertight part that I've got. Yeah, obviously because, implying yeah. that I hate everything's reaction to Destiny 2 is precisely I hate everything's problem with people reacting to The Last Jedi. Yeah. Um, other than the death threat stuff, but even then, there's going to be people in the in the Destiny 2 community that have been throwing death threats at the fucking devs because people are crazy, and that's something yeah, that absolutely. happens. Frankly, rather embarrassing. There are a lot of people who should be ashamed for the things they've said because of a Star Wars movie. There's a lot of people who should be ashamed for the things they said about a video game. Mm -hmm. What kind of world are we living in where it's normal for people to send a director hate messages because they didn't like the movie they made? This is our world. <laughs> that's that's yeah, what happens that's, all the time. That's the world we live in, yeah. I don't remember why this is such a just discovered the internet. Yeah, that's the thing. Is like I know this. I don't remember my first week on the internet, but I mean, come on, man. You're just gonna, especially someone as big as I hate everything. Is like that's how that's how random people on the internet are. That's how that's how the internet is. Then there's nothing you can do to change that. Yeah, like even that's the most like people. innocent and smooth movies that have like nothing controversial happening in it. People will be like, fuck you for making that. <laughs> you just be like, okay, uh, fine. Really? Is this your first week on the internet? You know this happens for basically everything that has a fan base, right? I think it's strange that you've attached yourself to Star Wars in this way, that you treat it like it's some sort of a special example, when really these kinds of things are everyday, commonplace trivialities. He yep. makes this narrative equivalence towards yes. Aichi's response to Destiny during Aichi's report on how he viewed The Last Jedi response. Yes. Not only is this accompanied by no clips whatsoever from the De <laughs> Destiny video- You doesn't need clips. It, fucking self. And besides, it's a response to I Ate Everything. I Ate Everything knows what's in that video. Yeah. He knows what he made. And, like, I do understand that it could benefit with clips. You could, like, have direct oh, yeah. I contradictions. Could be more, I could, you could always be more specific. But, yeah, but, like, but, you know... It's, yeah, it's there. It's, it, it, the, it's more in concept, if anything else, the fact that... I mean, look at the fucking title, I Hate at Destiny 2. I know that that's a part of his channel memes, but he really does rip into that game. And yeah, I think that, I mean I love this uh, this I hate Destiny Two video was really good. Even and his I, new Destiny I, Two video was good. Yeah, it's like I really like that video. That's why his The Last Jedi video just was like a shocker to me because I'm like, this is are you the same person? And yeah, and I, I'm I believe it's a slam dunk when he says that um it's so interesting that people are so you know angry and evil about a show a a, 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 a fiction that is about finding the light or whatever. It's like how is this not the same as Destiny? Exactly, that's the whole point that I brought up. Yeah, so I look forward to him responding to that bit. Yeah. Video, but just an image of this video within a large description. If you watched Aichi's video on Destiny, which Rags claims at the end of the video he has, you'll know that in spite of his criticisms, he's perfectly respectful. Okay. He's perfectly respectful? That's subjective. Yeah. You could say it's incredibly disrespectful if he ever says anything about the design. If he, For example, if he I says have, that um, yeah. the story makes no fucking sense. There's a guy who wrote that. So you've clearly disrespected him. Yeah, you just said his story was nonsensical. And to clarify, I'm not saying you should never disrespect somebody, because ultimately Ryan Johnson disrespected the OT, so of course I could disrespect him. But um, to imply that I hate everything is nothing but respectful to Bungie in his analysis of DS Destiny 2, that's ridiculous.
and he sure as hell's like respectful to star a lot of people the people in like star wars in this movie Rags assumes that Aichi is talking about any negative response rather than the brand of negative response that- Oh yeah, Ra Rags has obviously misunderstood I Hate Everything. I Hate Everything was only referring to psychopaths saying that you need to die if you made The Last Jedi. It's like, come on man, why even make that video at that point? Why would, why would I Hate Everything say, you know, anybody who's saying they're gonna kill people over a film, they're not good people. I Hate, I hate Everything is lumping far more than just people who are saying the film isn't, uh, <laughs> the film isn't good, they full kill. Yeah, that's why I said that this, that I hate, I hate everything's video. Basically, he's talking to people like me and Mahler and Wolf. He's talking about us. He's not just talking about, um, he's, he separates them, but he talks about both. He talks about the crazy ones. He talks about pretty much everybody. If you didn't like this film, it's because X, Y, Z. And we'll get into those reasons later, I assume. Mm. But yeah, the I felt like one of the reasons I, I wanted to do a response to this video is because he was talking to people like me. And, and, I, and I think that fundamentally, all Rags is doing is mirroring I Hit Everything's argument onto uh thing he's not necessarily I don't think Rags is outwardly claiming that I Hit Everything is one hundred percent hypocritical here. It's it's almost just like think about this. Think about the fact that I Hit Everything's saying all of this despite the fact that he did this. And when we brought that to um uh, just right, if you remember, in the in the debate, he was like, yeah, you know, I kind of regret that now. You know, like, making videos that are negative. And uh, if you remember, in I Hate Everything's video here, uh, towards the end, he says that he's sad that he's contributed to negative criticism. Okay. And so, do you understand how that proves Rags right? I Hate Everything's saying, I'm a part of the problem. Rags references a video from I Hate Everything. Do you, do you get it? The the connection there? I hate everything himself is admitting that he is part of the people he's criticizing in this video. Yeah, I don't, I really don't get, I thought this was like one of those really kind of obvious things, but I guess maybe I'll try to specify more because there are people like the right opinion who don't get it. Well, I mean, he, the, the, this is the problem of this shit, man, because it, it'll go from I hate everything saying you didn't quite get what he was saying to uh, you saying TRO didn't quite get what you were saying, to TRO get us saying that we didn't quite get what he was saying, you know? And then we might respond oh, to him, no, you didn't get what we were saying. <laughs> it's just like, being explicit is helpful, I suppose. Immediately after, and this is what confuses me, because IHE qualifies these two statements in the sentence with the third, completing his narrative tripling by stating yeah, oh, it's also interesting that he plays this clip as he's saying that, because the clip that he's talking about in the lore, in the wiki, in the grimoires, right? is mm -hmm. the exact same defense of Destiny 2's lore and the lack thereof as is given for a lot of the problems with The Last Jedi. Well, in these books, well, it's explained elsewhere. Yeah. Or in this wiki, it's it's like, why? You're proving my point. Also, do you hear him say that I Hate Everything completes his narrative tripling? It's like T.R.O. knows that he's learnt about this in whatever course, and he's like, there's no way- Narrative it, tripling? There's no way a layman would understand what I just said, but it doesn't matter because it sounds intelligent. And again, yeah. I'm friends with TRO, but I would say this to his face, why the fuck did you just say that I had everything completed a narrative tripling? What the fuck does that even mean? <laughs> Wait, let's say narrative- Well, let, it, let me play it again so you just you get it for definite. Respectful. Rags assumes that IHE is talking about any negative response rather than the brand of negative response that IHE is referring to, which is clarified immediately after. And this is what confuses me, because IHE qualifies these two statements in the sentence with the third, completing his narrative tripling by stating that- <laughs> What's um, a narrative tripling? So, uh... uh... I, I, I'm, I've googled narrative tripling, and I... I'm getting like rule of threes. Um, this, but I'm I'm almost certain there's this precedent for it because oh yeah, um, he's, he's like complete a course in literature or something, and I'm certain that's where it comes from. But the fact it's not on the first. Um, but YouTube is a platform for for everyone, so like, why would you use language that like ninety percent of the audience is going to be like, what? I'm a, I'm on I'm on page three, and narrative tripling hasn't popped up yet. <laughs> Um, but the, th I mean, maybe he's talking, maybe that's like a, an allusion to, uh, the rule of threes. Uh, yeah, that's, it's a writing that's what principle that suggests that things that come in threes are inherently funnier, more satisfying, or more effective than other numbers or things. 
I doubt he's going to qualify it, but let's see. ...response that IHE is referring to, which is clarified immediately after. And this is what confuses me, because IHE qualifies these two statements in the sentence with the third, completing his narrative tripling by stating that these people are the sorts of individuals that send the director hate messages, not anything that would be endorsed by the Destiny Review. Now, although Rags' point about anything with a fan base being subject to hate messages is true on principle, there's still definitely been an exceptional vitriol to do with The Last Jedi, it's literally tied to just how many people are in the fan base, and you can extrapolate that into how many hate messages there'll be. Yeah, like especially when the creators of the Last Jedi have been so vitriolic in response. Like the Predator fan base was vitriolic about the new film, but they're so small by comparison to Star Wars that you really would have heard about it. Yes, that's just how it works. Let me get my fridge here; it's being loud that many fans can empathize with when Aichi expresses this. Although Aichi should have worded his point better at this moment to emphasize the magnitude of the response over the existence, I don't think there's much debate over the point that those involved with The Last Jedi have probably received significantly more hatred than most films with a fan base. I don't think... Yeah, because Star Wars is a, it has a huge audience. You didn't disagree with that, though. You didn't yeah. say that, no, Star Wars isn't getting slightly more, or uh, let's just say in ratio more. You're saying everyone gets it, so why are we bringing it up? And it's like, because Star Wars gets more. And you're like, okay. okay. And it's explained dramatically by compare a Star Wars fan base to literally every other fan base. <laughs> it's like, you'll find yeah, something interesting just, out. It's, it's very interesting. Like, this is a point of contention. Like, he invents the idea, I just, I don't know. And I think people understood the brand of individuals he was referring to here. Now, in light of this, Rags follows this by making a similar point. Grow up, you pathetic children. I just think it's kind of sad that such rampant negativity can be spawned from a franchise that is all about Ugh. never allowing the darkness to win, Ugh. holding on to hope at all costs. I mean, that look, is I so cringeworthy to listen to. It's so, I, it, how did uh, he make that point? Like, what are you doing? Yeah. I hate everything. Point that those involved with The Last Jedi have probably received significantly more hatred than most films with a fan base, and I think people understood the brand of individuals he was referring to here. Now, in light of this, Rags follows this by making a similar point. Grow up, you pathetic point. children. I just think it's kind of sad that such rampant negativity can be spawned from a franchise that is all about never allowing the darkness to win and holding on to. It's sad that negativity comes from a story about le never letting the darkness yeah. win. What it's nonsense is to, that? And the and the thing that makes it so good, we'll let it play just a little bit further because it'll, it'll hope at all up. costs. I mean, look, I just think it's kind of sad that such rampant negativity can be spawned from a series that's supposed to be about protecting the light and holding <laughs> on to hope at all costs. You see what I'm doing here? And it's very simple. Yeah. That's a, that's a clean not only counter. That, and not only that, it's doubly good because the, the space magic that you use in Destiny 2 is called the light, and the bad guy, or like the ultimate badness in the Destiny 2 game is called... The darkness. And the, it, his video is called "I Hate Destiny 2, I'm Done." Like, is anybody gonna just, just just that's a bit negative? Would you say? Would you say that? Yeah, it seems a bit and negative. The video to me. was good because it was very negative. Absolutely, it had a lot of criticisms about it. I but can't. I was like, how could you be? The point: how could you be negative about Destiny 2 when it should be when it's about holding on to the light? And fighting against the darkness at all costs. How could you? How could you hate Destiny Two? <sighs> Although IHE's point was definitely overly sentimental, there's no crossover between that and his video on. There is absolutely You're crossover. You're so fucking wrong. It is absolutely a direct parallel between the two. Well, 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 what that's what I wrong. Mean? You're flat out wrong on this. They're the exact same thing. You said it was overly even... sentimental. <laughs> like, as what? Well, that's not even a defense. It's like if I make a statement that's just wrong, and then I go, yeah, but it was sentimental. It was prompted by my feelings. I don't, I don't like, know if he's defending it, saying it's sentimental. It's it's almost like Tiara's rolling his eyes a little at how sentimental it said, but it's just wrong. <laughs> this is what it is. It's just wrong. wrong. <laughs> it doesn't, it's silly. It's a silly, silly statement, and you need it to the, sort of slip yeah. past, because you're just like, wait, what did he just say? The it's, exact same thing applies to both of them equally. And th that's the funny thing. <laughs> Destiny 2 is a brilliant example because it's pretty much the same thing. But, like, take any fiction and you could probably skew it. You'd be like, Lord of the Rings, to be negative about a story that's all about trying to prevent the darkness from taking yeah. over. Persevering and holding on to hope 
and doing what's right in the face of immense you know difficulty how could you be negative about a story like that and the unbelievable irony that you're hearing this from i hate everything <laughs> it's like what I mean, what, what? Uh, uh, this is oh man oof if this is his biggest problem with my video, and this is like the strongest, most concrete, salient point that I'm making, oof, that's rough. I yeah. expect, honestly, I've, I've expected better. I expect well, it's gonna. We know it gets worse once Quinton comes in. Destiny 2, oh, and I even if Frank's points about Destiny 2 were as a general critique of fan response, I actually would not endorse that mentality either. Even though I would argue that fan response is the last Jedi had. Of course, but he's propagated saying? that same behavior he's condemning. Yeah, that's the whole thing. He even admits it at the end of the video. And that's precisely what Rags is pointing out. <laughs> He's oh, a hypocrite. Man. Has been significantly more volatile than that. a little fat that. to be a stormtrooper. <laughs> hey man, that is a stretchy, a stretchy hoodie. It's an anorak. It's of Destiny 2. Yeah, I thought it sucked and I want everyone involved to die horribly. He then tries to deconstruct IHE's title on Destiny. What do you mean you're done with Destiny 2? Whatever happened to holding on to hope at all costs? <laughs> Whatever happened to protecting <laughs> so the good. light? Which I assume is meant to- <laughs> It's so good, it's I haven't good. heard that in a long- I haven't watched, such a I haven't clean watched counter. my video since I made it. It's so good. Why can't you hold on to hope? Why do you have to say you're <laughs> done? Rags no. is deconstructing the title. I was like, I'm just reading the words I'm done and taking them <laughs> literally it's like I'm this is what I mean it's like do we need to actually put out there the saying I hate everything I hate destiny 2 I'm done that these things are negative or are we supposed to His take that as sentimentality is, done. <laughs> to be humorous because of all the equivalences that aren't taken into account the difference in fan base the difference in response the difference in history matter you, yeah this is the thing rags could be saying that to I hate everything all Rags has done, this is the thing, Rags doesn't actually agree that you should not hate on things if they're about positivity. He's saying, I hate everything doesn't make any sense making this comment. That's it. Yes, the, the idea that you should like things because you should hold on to the idea that you should would, hold on to light at all costs and everything like that and be, you know, to have perseverance with, you know, your positivity, I guess is what he's saying. Yeah. Like, you can apply that to anything like this is it not just amazes me how this flies right over his head and he doesn't see that these are the he uh rags is making the same exact analogy just changing titles to clarify and it works. if uh the new lord of the rings tv show comes out and then wolf and me watch episode one and then wolf's like man that was shit and then i go well, I, you know, do you need to do that? This this is a fiction about the positives of life, yeah, dude. Yeah, you don't like it, the orcs win. Like, uh, Wolf and Rise would be like, Mola, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> I'd be like, oh shit, yeah, that doesn't make any sense considering my entire history. Yeah. If somebody said that The Predator was a great movie because you have to hold on to autism at all costs, <laughs> I'd be like, that's, that's, not a, that's not a defense. That is pure emotion. That has nothing to do with the film itself. Get out of here with that. That is, that's like a meme answer. That's, like the something, that's something that people say ironically, but he said it unironically here, yeah. which was sad. Aren't taken into account the difference in fan base, the difference in response, the difference in history, the difference in narrative ensued by the Sorry. products. There is a unique no. sentimentality about the old Star Wars films in particular, around no, hope and such, that have not been portrayed in the Destiny <laughs> games. And one what? Now he's making the point. <laughs> he's making the same fucking point. He's doing the same fucking what thing. What are you? Is he actually right saying thing, Destiny, unlike Star right Wars, video, isn't really about you hope as much? Something from me. I you shouldn't have made the same mistake that I hate everything did. You should have learned something by my video. Gotta, gotta see that again. By the products, oh, there man. is a unique sentimentality about the old Star Wars films in particular, around hope and such, that have not been portrayed in the Destiny games. And once again, he's not- What are you talking about? That's insane. What are you talking about? Have you ever played Destiny? Of that course is, the theme That's the thing, isn't. I haven't played it, but I know that Destiny has strong <laughs> themes about, like, overcoming the, the oh, stress and the, the spread of humanity to, to remain hopeful. Like, what are you talking about? Destiny's got a big audience and it's the second game. The game has a history. It has the theme of hope. Oh my god. Oh, you dropped the ball just like IHE did. I expect better. I, I don't even understand. He's like, this is, you, you shouldn't be making this point because I and everything's clearly talking about blah blah blah. But anyway, also he's right. <laughs> You're like, wait, what? No, he's not. I guess. Talking about The Last Jedi as a film right now, he's talking about what he perceives as the rancor within the tone of certain criticism. And we're commenting on it being completely hypocritical. We understand what he's saying. It was very simple. 
you shouldn't be so negative about something that's all about being anti-negative, which isn't even true, by the way. Like, uh, Star Wars is the constant fight between, uh, you know, good and bad, good people refraining from doing bad things. You can't have one without the other. If everything was good, then nothing would be good, would it? It's like, if I was going to make a video on why something was bad or why something was good, I wouldn't scour the internet to find the the post with no upvotes or two upvotes after two hours and that, that are self-censored and ridiculous and try to prop those up as examples of things. It's, it's ridiculous. You ignore you that shit. You shouldn't be so negative about a movie as incredible as The Room for I how know. happy it makes everyone when they watch it. Really, it's about family. <laughs> <laughs> within the response to it, not in a the minute, idea bitch. of response alone. But hey, I mean, we can't have consistency. I mean, Star Wars is a- Oh, and look, Rags makes his point very clear. It's all about how I hate everything is inconsistent, and that's it. It doesn't need to go any further than that. But there we are. Special brand. You could say it about Destiny, but you, you can't say it about Star Wars. It's totally different, guys. And once again, I do not think that IHG is excusing the brand, but there has been a response to The Last Jedi, and- Yeah, he's just doubled down on the same point, the- the last yeah, Jedi gets actually. more hate, which I would happily agree with, but I don't think... Should it be said that 100 hate messages is more important to discuss than your average 90 hate messages? I don't know, it just... I, I don't even think about things like that. It's just this, one this of those... Thing, it's irrelevant to us in terms of things, but even a content creator with 100 subscribers will get a death threat, more than likely. Yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm sure, and... It's one of those things like why are we even really talking about it? All I was doing was pointing out he there is a there's apparently like this is either this is in his blind spot or he's not he's not being I didn't even say it. He's not being consistent. He's not being consistent TRO? between well, but I hate everything isn't being consistent between what he said about the last Jedi and hey his defense of the last Jedi specifically with the point of holding on to hope at all costs, hmm. right? And Destiny even if too there are reasonable responses too. No one's saying that they don't exist. It's just as IHE implied earlier, the vocal minority seems a lot more vocal this time round. Yeah, but by talking about the vocal minority, you give them a voice. Not only that, but there's that's, a vocal minority. That's th how they are vocal, because a guy with 1.6 million subs clips them and puts them on the front of his YouTube video. That's how they become vocal, because they get broadcasted out like that. It's it's so and to, to me I'm just like are you really gonna die on this hill that it should be talked about with the last Jedi because it's it's more so than the average thing when I, I don't even think that's necessarily true like what was the look at Ghostbusters 2016 I believe that was uh, I believe Paul Feig got more hate than Ryan Johnson probably did like genuinely I because it was so. political or more so political than it was uh, just about I ruining was, the um, franchise I think there there was less defense of Ghostbusters yeah Ooh, pizza. <laughs> uh, so it's been two hours already. There's no way. It's an hour and a half. Oh, they were early. Yeah. But there, there. Yeah, when it comes to Ghostbusters, there, there were way less defenders for Ghostbusters to the point where I don't remember seeing any review of it that was in defense. I'm sure and they we know did. for a fact. If I had everything that covered that film, he would have shot on it. Yeah, but I would have just asked, why aren't you holding on to hope at all costs? The theme is about <laughs> defeating. Otherworldly evil. evil. Saving what you love. Why are you being so negative and giving in to that? See, that's the thing. It could be about any movie. But, nice, then but unfortunately, I, I need to use the loo again. Go for it. Because I'm just um, like a fucking... It's like a turnstile of water and piss. I'll read out some super chats. Hate will only make them stronger. So true. Yo, guys, I'd like to recommend an anime to Rags and Wolf called Gundam Iron-Blooded Orphans, the full series, sub and dub free on YouTube by the studio who owns it. The channel is Gundam Info. I will keep, I'll copy the name and I will put it in my in my notes for this video. I will drop it right there so I can uh, let them know. Uh, probably once we finish the stream or whatever, see, see about it. Um, originally, you probably mean completely copied ending from Escape from LA. Oh, I did see that, yeah. Uh, King Slayer, Damocles. I saw the video comparing it. It was quite interesting. So glad I made it to a stream. Love you guys. Appreciate it, man. Uh, Will Rag make e cum sickles once he's done e fapping? There, you know, there's no real specific rule on that, so I can't say it's a yes or a no. Uh, not releasing I Hate Everything debate is a crime against humanity. I mean, hopefully we can just. I want to set up a conversation with him live. Just, just that. That would be nice. You know, that would, 
That would, that, that would work. <laughs> woof woof. Uh, unless everything is cyclical and it never ends. I just wanted to say thanks more for speaking in a clear, analytical manner about art and articulating what it mean, uh, makes a good script. I've learned to appreciate good movies much more. Thank you. Uh, that genuinely is very encouraging to hear from anybody. Um, you, you get a lot of the reverse stuff, which we'll actually get to in this video, where um, I'm a blight on film criticism rather than helping. Uh, I think we are four levels deep in commentary here. I have anything to rag Satiro to us. There's some Inception level shit. How much deeper could we go? Maybe Tiaro will respond to this video. Who knows? It'll be difficult, considering it's probably going to be like 10 hours long, but hey. Uh, Rags is only a canine supremacist, and just looked up half sheep, half corgi, it's so cute. Absolutely. Uh, thank you all for the donations. Um, I'm, uh, uh, is uh, uh, either of you here right now? I got my pizza. I'm happy now. Wolf's got his pizza. Rags is peeing. And we're 10 <laughs> minutes and 48 seconds in. I think we've done pretty well so far, considering our uh, track record. Yep, just another hour and 46 minutes left, which means another 10 hours of stream. <laughs> Woohoo! It's, that's, that's take it all bets, isn't it? Will we finish the video? It's like, hmm. <laughs> we might not finish the video. We'll definitely get to, uh, you know, fuckface, but... I wouldn't call Mauler a blight on cinema, just a bigoted right-winger. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, Mauler can't even get into right narrative tripleting. You ever heard of that shit, uh, Wolf? I've never heard of that term in my life. It's it, like to just to me. I just wonder if he's just a little bit out of touch. Writing that down, you must be like, how many people do you think are going to understand what you're saying when you say that? Ah, uh, yeah, I can't even imagine anyone actually understanding that very... narrative tripling. That doesn't even make sense at all. It's very confusing to me. Also, my hand is better, by the way. I injured oh. it, and it feels like. I need like two days before I can get on with some strong editing again. Oh, I need to do a Sweet. Patreon post today. I should have done that before the stream because now I'm going to be over midnight. But I will do it after the stream to give updates on uh, the good old TFA critique that's still coming along. Uh, cool. Love all you guys' work. As Star Wars fans, I wanted to recommend the KOTOR Aperion project for you guys to check out. Fair enough. Oh, yeah, another thing that was recommended if you're both here, was uh, Gundam Iron-Blooded Orphans on YouTube. Someone sent in a super chat saying they would like, uh, they think you should check it out, basically. Both of you. Iron-Blooded Orphans? I believe that's what it was. Iron-Blooded Orphans? Yeah. I think we need an orphan holocaust, personally. <gasps> what are you, Killmonger? Who was correct, I'm told, by <laughs> Piker? <laughs> <laughs> Who was correct? <laughs> He's gonna throw that in. Um, anyway, let's continue. Harry's IT's point saying that he doesn't care if you liked or disliked The Last Jedi by saying that this whole video is him whinging at people who disliked it. Wait, you, you understand this video is you whinging, yeah. right? That, that's what this yeah. video is. It's yeah, pretty much. Whinging. And then saying that this wasn't even his biggest problem, it was more his tone and that he should have covered The Last Jedi as a film rather than what he viewed as the irrelevant shit. To be we've, we've pretty much gone over, we used that word already. We've gone over why it's irrelevant. It fucking think, happens yeah, all over the have, place. Yeah. It would be like me complaining about, oh man, I opened the door today and I got a gust of wind. What's that about? It's like, does that usually happen whenever you go outside? Like, no? Okay. No, it's particularly yeah. windy today. And you're like, oh. Okay. So anyway, get on with your point? <laughs> Question yeah. mark. What's the point? Yeah. Fair though, that's not even really my big contention with I Hate Everything's video about The Last Jedi, is that it takes the absolute worst possible way to defend something, and it makes him come across as a huge hypocrite. Maybe if you spent more time and effort actually defending the film in your video instead of lashing out against people because they had criticisms of it, ignoring the big glaring problems that- Yeah, which by the way, for the record, me and Wolf didn't really believe when I, I hear everything was like, I've never heard these arguments before. It was like- There's no way. Every I just, video- I don't I don't the, believe it. The shits on the film, most if most if not all, cover Holdo being retarded. Like that's that's Look, one of the most typical complaints. Yeah. The day after I went and saw this with my father, I it was late, so I slept. And then I got up and I started watching people's videos of it. Like the next day, I was like, Yeah, that's a, yeah, okay, yeah, that's a problem, that's a problem. And then the lit the list just kept going as people thought more and more about it. The idea that you had all the time to make this video 
to edit it all together, that you watched it, as he said, like three times he watched it, and you never heard of a criticism against it? Like, come on, dude. I don't believe you. Yeah, and that's and the thing, he he went back to saying it after speaking to me and Wolf, so it's just like, oh, so you just ignore them then. Like, that's pretty much the way you do this, okay. Yeah, and that makes me think so little of IHE when you can sit down with him for that long and tell him all the problems, and he can agree the movie's bad, and then completely flip and say he's never heard any good arguments against it. Well, it yeah, makes you wonder, doesn't it? There's a lot of respect for him, especially yeah. since, you know, me and Mahler were the ones that were talking to him for five fucking hours. I'm telling you, IHE, that was really a scummy thing you did, man. That's something I... <laughs> I, I doubt, just, I doubt you'll saying, ever see man. this. But, fair enough. I, oof, that was... Oof. People did have with the film, and instead, spotlighting the tiny, irrelevant shit that no one cares about? This is something that confuses me. Rags takes issue with the fact that I Ate Everything has not made this Star Wars video how Rags would like him no. to make it. I don't think... <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so, no? let me clarify. That is what was not the... even close to correct. What that was is the name so of I Hate Everything's video on The Last Jedi, by the way? Um, is it literally just Star Wars The Last Jedi dash I-H-E? Okay. Um, yeah, it, it, correct me. If, well, you know what? You go first, right? Because this is he's criticizing you. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, just, that's just not what I'm saying. If that's what you took from it, man. Oh, I don't know. I think I'm pretty clear about, you know, the, the way that I criticize what he's saying. Because I never, I never say you should have done this so much as I'm saying it's interesting that in your defense of this film, which he actually gets into later, you spend so much time on what pretty much any normal, everyday internet user in these spheres would be like, yeah, that doesn't matter. This is pointless. Why are you doing this? Yeah, like, I would actually have the same reaction to literally any fucking subject if it opened with, you know, this is getting a lot of hate from people who are saying you should just go die. And that's bad. It's like, like yeah. Okay. That... Yeah, okay, okay. And you, you, you see it as a preamble. You're like, so you're gonna make a point, right? Because <laughs> like this, it's like, just so standard at this point, and that's I why it's so strange coming from I hate everything. So much. Like he's he's been on the internet longer than me, Rags and Wolf, I think. Probably, yeah. At least making videos longer than all of us. So it's just like, how do you not know about this? Is essentially him criticizing Aichi from an idealistic standpoint. He made a video more focused on bad fan response than the no, other video. No, focus is no. And no Rags I would, asked why I wouldn't talk. at all say that Aichi's video was focused. Also, ideological differences. I don't think I'd I don't even know like what IHE's ideology is. I, I, I know. I let me go this way. I have no idea what IHE's political leanings are. As I say this, if I knew in the past, then I have forgotten between then and the moment that I'm saying this. I have no idea if he is more liberal or conservative. I have no idea what party he supports or who he voted for. I have no idea. As I say this. And if I knew in the past, I have forgotten. I have no idea what his well, ideology is. I, I, you know, for me, my political ideology is uh, if you put pineapple on pizza, I don't believe you deserve to live. That's pretty solid. I to thought you were going to say, I don't believe you're real. I don't know. <laughs> I know how far you go with it. Well, you know, I know they're real. I don't want to accept it, but I know it. But at least we have the option of gas chambers for those people. So, you know, there we go. I'm just waiting for the, the response where they're like, Wolf said that, and he sounded like he may have been sarcastic, but I'm pretty sure he was threatening to kill a very large portion of humanity. Yeah, pre he's racist. press P for, uh, pineapple. <laughs> for pineapple gas pineapple chambers. Pineapple genocide. Yeah, pineapple genocide. Press P for it, everyone. The specifics more. Well, that's Aichi's prerogative. He can talk about what he bloody well wants to. Yeah, and Rags can Are talk about what he bloody well wants to. Yeah, yeah, asshole. I can talk about like, whatever I want to. You're Rags... not entitled to me making the video that you wanted to make. Yeah, how'd you like them fucking apples? You may be I had everything's British friend, but Rags has one of those too, and I can say bloody well too. <laughs> yeah. It's not hard. Never did I ever say that he had to make the video that I wanted him to make. Yeah, and it's like yeah, it's almost like you're policing rags and saying rags should be uh, making a specific video according to you. Yeah, why are, why are you criticizing my video? What why are I should why do you feel entitled to a video that you wanted? Why can't you let me make the content I want? I want. Yeah. Yeah, very yeah. very unclear point there. I, I would just go as far as saying I think what he was going for was he took a quote that doesn't exist, rags saying 
I hate everything. You should say what I wish for you to say. And then he was like, that's not how it works, Rags. Like, but that's not what happened, so... Sorry. Yeah, it's very strange. Waiting anything, he's just going off what he has seen and experienced. Rag slots in this painting criticisms with broad strokes point. Painting with far too broad a stroke, people who didn't like something that you like for mm -hmm. no other reason than it's and, Star yeah, Wars and, and it's And that will be, it was true when I said it in the video, and it will become even more true as the video plays on. Yeah. You. He has provided no substantiation onto anywhere in this video where I actually paints people with such. In fact, Will, why haven't you, uh, have you watched the whole video? Yeah, a, TRO. I your criticism. Yeah, I, I believe one of your <laughs> your comments was about whether or not I had watched the whole video, and uh, clearly at this point you haven't watched my entire video because it is explicitly elaborated upon later. Very strange. I, I sense a little projection. Very unusual. IG attempts to separate these comments throughout the video. At this point, it just seems like an attempt to position himself where he can make IG look like an unpleasant person. Almost, how could Rags not say the exact same about you? Yeah. <laughs> like, he had to about substantiating to evidence. So we can rain down the Rags Hellfire that he probably goes out with the other less tolerant people I assume he criticizes on his channel. He then equivocates backlash with criticism. It's perfectly within your right to feel however you want. But do you not think that the backlash is kind backlash of- Backlash is yeah, but Hang on, yeah. Let me just check, because I'm curious. Uh... What does backlash actually mean? A strong negative reaction by a large number of people, especially social or political. Strong negative reaction. What I made in my video could absolutely be considered backlash. Yeah, the backlash against Last Jedi is absolutely people being critical of, without a doubt. No, I mean, Rags I, didn't read into strange. that. That's what that word means. It's not like he just. Wow. You, you see what I mean? Like, TRO is supposed to be to the core analytical, and it's just like. I didn't even confirm I honestly, before I looked up the word, because I was like, from what I know, backlash is just literally negative response, but I could be wrong. And it's like, no, it means a strong negative reaction. That's it's right there. Um, wow, like this is, like, is this it? And it gets worse from here? God, yeah. Man, Massively over-exaggerated and unnecessary. Massively over-exaggerated and unnecessary. It's like... Do you think that's what I Hate Everything is describing death threats as? He's, of course... Look what he's... He's he's dead to rights. Look at these look at these screenshots. You got um so deeply disappointed right now. I clearly wanted to love. I can't see ideally him on my wanted screen. Oh um, wait, I'll let it play for a bit. Uh no. Oh wait, hang on. Yeah, go go to because it it kind of paused it on a different Think frame. Think that the for backlash us. is kind of massively over exaggerated and unnecessary. So okay. when when saying backlash, he shows a comment that says so deeply disappointed right now. I dearly wanted to love this movie. I remember emerging from the theater stunned, saddened. The reasons are so are well documented by many here. I never imagined signing up to Rotten Tomatoes, but such was my disappointment at this film. I felt compelled to have my little rant. Backlash. That uh, so sorry TRO, but that person is precisely who Rags is trying to defend by saying that you're doing a broad stroke. Yeah. Especially with what IHE says later on. I mean, this is Whoever this, Mike A is, he'd said nothing unreasonable. I believe it's in my DS2 response video, but I say like it's like the first rule of YouTube where whenever you're looking at like an analytical video, they will often prove themselves wrong in in their actual like you know, like TRO is like he's not saying that about them and then plays a clip that proves himself wrong. And it's just like okay. It is strange. It's like people don't pay enough attention to the background footage. <laughs> and you you, you clean know, with that I, with I an avatar. This... Maybe they should do the same thing. I've, I've pointed out in the past this happening before. Like there was a there was a guy who said that I was like racist and stuff, and so he he played a bunch he he had a bunch of tweets of mine in the background that show how egalitarian I am, and it's just one of those strange sort of you're saying one thing, but what you're showing defeats your point. <laughs> so you Mike A is the Russian things ball. Existing. Well, look, Paul A is obviously much more reasonable than Mike A. I can't even see his comment. Can you see it? No, I just see Paul A. <laughs> I don't, I only, yeah, I just uh, see no. Paul A. Oh, it cuts, okay. It cuts. But both of them are Russian bots, we know that. Oh, yeah. The Last Jedi was garbage. As are we. deserves every ounce of criticism. I am clearly a Russian And once bot. again, that's just rather nonsensical. Now, backlash includes much more broader fields than just criticism. Whoa, you, you can't just fling Why? the definition across the screen like that. No one can fucking read that. What's the point? Fuck, it's like wait. you have to time that Possibly and you have to clip that. it. Or you have is to that put it in your shit, video, match it to the video it aspect, and then you have to 
get the time right. I, I know what it takes to make a thing slide across the screen like that. Why bother if nobody can read it? That Aichi has emotionally attached himself. I, I, can't, I couldn't, I can't remember where I come from. I don't know if I skipped over too much or something there. Hang on. This point with a point about mischaracterization. No, I've gone too far. I could have sworn it was something 55, so I'm assuming it was 1455. Aichi then makes a joke, believe it or not, through a voice. No, I guess I'm too far ahead again. Regressive would say, but Aichi is no regressive and he would. Oh, uh, God, yeah, go regressive? How does that come into it? We have to go further. Brand. Did it not occur to you that maybe it would be far more. Must be 1355. I guess. Says that if people went into this movie expecting to hate it, then. Oh, 1255, someone just said. Okay. My bad. Just rather nonsensical. Now, backlash we includes getting out of here early. I'm, I'm, by the way, I'm going to try and pause on that definition. Broader field. Oh. Yeah, so this is the definition I read off, and it counted yeah, TRO, word. so I'm interested to see what he's going to say about this. Just yeah, rather nonsensical. Right. Now, backlash Jesus includes Christ. much more broader fields than just criticism. Then there's the use of the always oh, exam. Wait, who? Okay. So his argument is. Rags, it's not just about people criticizing the film. I hate everything is involving people who are doing death threats. Well, Rags' whole point was, it's not just people who are death threats that are involved in the backlash, and you're broad, uh, painting too broad of a stroke. He's... Like, I don't know how to explain this the easiest way possible, but... Uh, I hate everything makes a statement saying, you know, in the world there is only a planet, and then Rags is like, well, there's a lot more than a planet. And then uh, TRO comes back with, uh, it's not just everything but the planet, Rags. Yeah, I... Like, that does not make know. sense. <laughs> the, the definition of backlash supports me. Absolutely. Why would you go through the trouble? Like, this is, this is unprecedented levels of pedantry, right? This is the kind of shit that I'm built for because I go this far with some of this stuff, but this is even surprising me. I hate everything says, the backlash is completely ridiculous. Rag says, no, it's not. Like, a lot of it is deserved. Then Tiro is like, he's talking about the people trying to kill everyone, Rags. It's like, no, he's not, though. That's not what backlash means. Simple as that. Like, this is ridiculous. Oh, boy. All, all this work to fucking shoot yourself in the foot. <laughs> Don't Jeez. hear about it just because it has the word Star Wars slapped on the cover of it. IG then says, comes across as if a large majority Oh, look how negative Paul A is. Oh, the, the last, last Star Wars <laughs> movie that I'll ever see. Kind of oh, oh, reminds me of. Jar reminds me of. <laughs> Destiny 2, I'm done. Yeah. Yeah. What is Paul A done with Destiny? Why isn't Paul A <laughs> holding on to the light at all costs? <laughs> Fuck you, Paul A, you Russian I, 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 The look, darkness I totally, wins, Paul. I totally take it back. Paul A is not reasonable. Mike A is a way better guy. What about Conrad M? Is, that's, that's almost Comrade, so gotta be... Gotta be yeah, Russian. Comrade's oh, propaganda Muslim. ever. There you waste go. of time. Feminist propaganda, yeah. <laughs> definitely the Russian form of waste. Oh yeah. It's Con... <laughs> it's Comrade Moskvich. Waste of time. Moskvich. Like, 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 waste of time is like a... It's like a, a section of the body. <laughs> a waste <laughs> of time. <laughs> I am a hero, and this is my waste of time! <laughs> <laughs> into these movies with the sole intention of hating them. How- Oh, did you- do you see that last bit? I love this, it's just proving it wrong completely. Just because the, um, it has the word Star Wars the, slapped the on the comment that just said, uh, then says, comes across as if I want to try and pause it, but it's kind of out of sync for us. Into these movies I'll just try the and, Like, there. Okay, so everything enough. that was built up in the previous movie is just- da, 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 The character of Luke is just ignored. The character of Luke is a completely different person than what we have seen. The main character is Painting. not believable at all in terms of what she can do. Hint to movie creators, flawless character something. Yeah, yeah. So that's included into the ridiculous backlash. It's like, come on, TRO. It was yeah, a bad like, video that he made. It didn't make yeah, sense. That's the thing. When you make a video, it takes a level of... Um, it, you, you have to make a conscious effort to put in background footage. Right. Mm. And so when you select things specifically, as you are talking over it and saying things specifically, the things that you say in the back, if they contradict what you are saying, that's a problem. Very much so. And I just don't, I don't understand how for it's a waste of time. It's on screen for, for TRO. And yet he extrapolates. See, he's talking about all the people who are talking about murdering the director. You're like, it's, it's, like, it's on the not. screen, man. Surely you saw that when you were editing this movie. I saw it when in my video. 
I mean, is, why didn't you see it when you were editing yours? Was this? I hope this was a part of the video that you actually did. How could you pop? Oh, that's the thing. It might not be. Because TRO does the audio, he sends it to editors, and then they edit up the footage, so... He Maybe. has to approve I, it, but this yeah, could explain why there's such a disjointed element to his videos in which, like, the visuals don't always... You know, match Maybe, up, I suppose? Yeah. Maybe that's a thing you should stop doing, then. Well... You know, he proof proof watches these videos, I assume, so he should be able to I catch assume, stuff like that. I mean, ultimately, it's on him, it's in the video, and he's the one who uploaded it, but it's just very strange that he would contradict himself so blatantly. Hmm. Possibly know that. Or is that shit you're just making up as an excuse to avoid actual criticisms that people make? But he doesn't know is that. It? I'm asking. IT... I'm asking. Yeah, that was a question. Yeah, that's a question that I'm asking. So... His statement was premised with the fact that he doesn't know it. We're taking it too seriously, or we're nitpicking, or we just went in wanting to hate it. How something comes across is not knowledge, it is perception. And and he really, really likes wow. Mike A. Pauly and Conrad Moscovin. <laughs> Conrad Moscovich. Uh, he just he just explained what Rags did, and it, he's trying to sell it as a contradiction, but it's not. All right. Yeah. Knowledge is uh, knowledge is facts, information, and skills acquired by a person through experience or education, the <laughs> theoretical or practical understanding of a subject. So yeah, it is knowledge. Not just that, but he was like, it's perception. And it's like, well, this whole video is Rags' perception, of course. It's. It's a awareness or familiarity gained by experience of a fact or situation. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't know why you'd go through all the trouble to be wrong. Damn, the dictionary is a lot of people's kryptonite I on YouTube, know. isn't it? Look, I just like, you just Google this shit. This is why I talk in pretty lay terms. Same, you know, same, just, same reason I do that. Talk to people, especially because you can you make don't... yourself look dumb. What I can say to Rags is there's a beginning, a middle, and an end. Or I could say to Rags... There is narrative tripling, you see. And you're like, what? So there's like <laughs> three narratives, or yeah. I'm like, time? Christ, didn't you take the literature course I recommended? And you're like, or no. is that like a style of music? Or... And what will follow is an explanation of why he perceives that to give him the vitriol. We then go back to the avoid criticism part, which bit of a jump, but all right, mate. And then there is this 40 second seg. But it was a, I could have sworn it was why a question. He said, bit of a jump. I'm a he. This coming from the guy who was like trying to jump all over the place when you were saying, like when you compared his statements about The Last Jedi to uh, Destiny 2, and then he jumped to, you're completely talking about a different thing. And yeah, and there's no real element of hope in Destiny, not like there is in Star Wars. <laughs> so that's such a bizarre statement to me still. Nation of why he perceives that. Do you know what, do you know what I think? I'm putting my tinfoil hat on for this one. I reckon yeah. this screenshot was taken by I Hate Everything as a search for, um, like, lowest reviews or something, because it's like, half star, half star, half star. Do you think he's trying to say that to give the film a half star is ridiculous? Maybe. I mean, he kind of, he does give that impression in his video. I forget if he explicitly states it, because it's been so long. But well, because like, yeah, he kind of said that, he kind of said it to me and Wolf, where he was, we, when we compared it to The Room, and he was like, but The Room is bad. It's like, this film is bad. He's like, no, though. <laughs> it's, like, it's not fair. You can't say that. It's, it definitely comes across as a sacred cow sort of thing. It's just weird. Like, yeah, I can, I can, every, any movie, I could go to Citizen Kane and filter by reviews, and there will be half star reviews of it, and I could screenshot oh, yeah. that. Absolutely. Like, and yeah, again, like I said, tinfoil hat. I have no, no reason to assume it left or right. I just, I just, it seems interesting to me. Like, that may be the message he was going for with this. Because mm -hmm. the top and bottom comments from Brian V and Mike A, the uh, Russian bots, they they both provided pretty strong arguments, or at least um, quick arguments, you know, like distilled ones from something you could turn into a video. And it's like, there's nothing yeah, hyperbolic about them. You could have that in reverse, someone going, you know, I'm so happy right now, I love this movie, I was so engaged. I mean, Mike A, Mike A here, that's basically just, he's just giving his feelings about it, and who are you to tell Mike that his feelings are wrong? Yeah given the vitriol. We then go back to the avoid criticism part, which, bit of a jump, but alright mate. And then there is this 40 second segment where they're clearly arguing different points. IHG says that if people went into this movie expecting to hate it, then it is exceptional. No, he didn't say if. He didn't say if people went in. He said that was the reason people went into this movie expecting to hate it or wanting to hate it. Which is why I hung on to it so much, because he's assuming people's intentions. He's assuming that the people who didn't like this were people who went into the theater 
expecting to hate it or who had already decided to hate it. You sound pretty definitive saying that. Like, obviously, to definitively prove it, we're going to have to hope he plays the clip because we can't dance between videos, but I'm going to assume that you're... Uh... You're I very definitive so. on that because you know that's what he said, but we'll see. But I mean, yeah, I, like I, I could be—I guess I could be mistaken. I guess we'll find out. Well, yeah, we'll see if he plays it. Actually, childish. Rags then says that Aichi has emotionally attached himself. Tro, you yourself said that he was being sentimental. Yeah, he has emotionally attached himself to the film. Yeah, he has. Even you, you fucking, said he said that, that to me in Wolf. Overly sentimental. He's like, why do I like this film so much? We were like, it's, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Subjectivity for you, I guess. It's a complicated thing, but emotions feels feelings. condescending to actually explain that you can be emotionally attached to something, and that will be a huge reason for why you can't look at it critically. But that that's like just normal. That happens. Yeah. Is induced from his previous arguments, but as I disagree with a few of his previous arguments, I don't see the final conclusion here. As particularly as I said, Aichi has been more than ready to criticize the prequels, which is a fair proportion of the. We we aren't talking about the prequels. Yeah, no. We're talking about the Last Jedi. Stop this whataboutism. Star Wars brand. Did it not occur to you that maybe it would be far more wise to not instantly assume that people went into this movie expecting to hate it, and that maybe they have some serious, legitimate criticisms that you should listen to and take to heart? Kind of like the ones he showed in that screenshot, but also yeah. referred to as... I, I, I'm, I don't wonder what I said that was unreasonable. I guess we'll find out. Mm. This is where the Anita thing comes back. I do not believe Rax is purposely being misleading here, but it seems he's so used to people actually behaving like that that he seems to have forgotten what I- Okay, so to clarify, Rags, do you believe that I Hate Everything believes that anyone who didn't like The Last Jedi went into the film wanting to hate it? Um... No, yeah, but that's what he put across. There's hardly anybody who would. But if he makes the statement, what's Rags gonna yes. do? Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna play off what I. What yeah, I'm not gonna try to dig into people's heads too much. But when you say something, I'm more likely to go by what you say than what I think you mean. Yeah. This is a, and like, Rags' hands were tied. Assuming that clip is what Rags said it was. Obviously, we can't play it because. I don't know why TRO didn't play it, considering it would have completely countered the argument if it was accurate. Especially when he told me that playing clips would have helped, but... Well. Yeah. Interesting stuff. It's he actually said, and the point has recreated itself in his head as some sort of thing that a regressive would say, but I actually is no yeah, regressive. Yeah, it is, yes, because that's what regressives do. Reg the thing that regressives do... I'm not saying you're necessarily regressive, I'm saying this is something that regressives do. They will label and dismiss. That is what well, they do. I was going to say, to say in... everyone is going, like, to say to go in hating it already, it's like, well, yeah, that's that's basically bigotry that they're accusing people of. Yes, you're accusing is... us of bigotry of uh, of a kind, yes. And it's like, well, it's because um, Star Wars, it's not the same. It's like, well, it could be about anything, it doesn't really matter. Like, they just went in wanting to hate the film. That is labeling and dismissing. And that is the, that is a key thing that regressives will do and he would never say anything like that. He then follows this point- Well, why don't you play the clip? <laughs> if he never said anything like it, just play the clip no, of what he actually said. No, playing clips is only something that I have to do. Yeah. ...with a point about mischaracterization, and we'll let the self-explanatory irony do the magic there. Nah, guys, haters gonna hate. That's it. They're just- they're all these haters. It's all they're doing. They're just hating. IG then makes a joke, believe it or not. I don't understand. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I was gonna pause and respond, but I was like, I don't know. I, um, I didn't catch what- the point was there. I think the point is that he... Uh, I don't know what his point is, actually. Well... <laughs> we can... Well, you can discuss it while I pee. Let's, let's, let's rewind and give it a shot. Aggressive would say, but Aichi is no regressive yeah, and I he would never... Back. Oh, well, there you go. ...say anything like that. He then follows this point with a point about mischaracterization, and we'll let the self-explanatory... Wait, have I miss rewind it. do the magic there. Nah, guys, haters no. gonna hate. That's it. They're just, they're all these haters. It's all they're doing. They're just hating. So that was mischaracterization, I'm assuming TRO is saying. How cruel of rags to say that uh, TRO, I hate everything is saying haters gonna hate when I hate everything said. People are going into this movie with the intention to hate it. Like, that doesn't sound like a mischaracterization to me, <sighs> but hey. Alright, what's it? What was his Not point? Really. What I got from it is that he says that you you perform a bit of mischaracterization and you take what he said and turn it into haters gonna hate when 
from... No, that's what I'm saying that he's saying. Well, that's I was going to say. It's like, if, if, he, if I had everything said, people are going into this film hoping to hate it. Like, so you're saying haters going to hate. Yeah, that yeah, that's pretty simple. Yeah, very logical. Pretty simple. IG then makes a joke, believe it or not, through a voice, juxtaposing the cute kid with the aggressive vitriol. I think the response to the Last Jedi has kind of left fans in a weird place. Yeah, I thought it sucked, and I want everyone involved to die horribly. And Rags then reflects IG's point of view by voicing him. I love the Last Jedi so much that I think it's a good idea to instantly paint the people who didn't like it as a bunch. Yeah, there are extremes on both sides. Yes. Excellent point, Rex. It's almost. And plus, uh, I wasn't. I wasn't actually mocking him. I think my voice was pretty good. Yeah, and uh, so Rags pastes a picture of "I hate everything" on himself, and he makes a silly voice. And you're saying, "Hey, Rags, stop taking I hate everything seriously when he's making a silly voice." And it's like, can't we just say that right back to you? That's the problem with this video. It's so beyond, un like, not yeah. self-aware. Because honestly, I got I got a lot of compliments on my IHE voice. <laughs> And and I and I thought it was all right considering I don't, I don't normally do voices, but mm. I thought it was pretty good. I thought it was all right. Bunch of haters, which I didn't care for at first, but this comes back later. There are then makes a, lot a fair of things point. I, I didn't care for it. <laughs> oh, okay. very okay. well. You didn't care. Never mind for the it. point of what I was getting at, but okay. Yeah. She's says that people hated The Last Jedi for some reason. It seems to me that the accepted opinion is now that this film is really bad and it ruins Star Wars. Wow, it's something See? with two upvotes. And and now we're, we're this is why I hate everything's video is retarded. It's like wait, so now he's talking about people saying that it's a bad film, rather than people saying directors need to be killed. Yeah, hey, he got Comrade Moskovitz coming together there. here. And and plus, he very prominently displays the last Star Wars movie that I'll ever see. I, okay, Destiny they didn't like two, the movie. They don't want to. See. Yeah, how is that <laughs> different than saying I'm done with Destiny? And yeah, Wolf was right. He's he's thrown in Comrade Moscovich in there. For some reason. And obviously, Raz correctly points out, Well, if that's the accepted opinion, then maybe you should explore why people have that opinion. Sounds pretty reasonable to me. <laughs> and you know. shouldn't say things like, for some reason, when the internet is full of videos and chalked with reviews of people explaining why they feel that way. Although, IHG does finish his sentence with, Even though Star Wars was already ruined three times prior. Implying that he's not suggesting no. whether... I, I don't even think that's a counter to what Rags said. Yeah, that's not that's not saying that, oh, you can't... Star Wars was ruined, what, 10 years, 20 years ago? Already? So, like, three bad Star Wars movies came out 20 years ago, so Star Wars as a brand was ruined? And it's too late. Exactly you can't have a bad movie point. now. Once there's a bad movie, it can't get bad. It's not like me and Wolf get progressively more depressed every time an alien film comes out. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, there were a lot of people who saw Rogue One and it, like, really revitalized how they felt about Star Wars. For yeah, and, and some people were like, felt. some people said Rogue One was the death of Star Wars, and then they'd be yeah. like, no, Last Jedi's revitalized it. Oh, Solo's the death. Solo I mean, revitalized it. It's all over the place. Is it is it that un is that is it that unreasonable to say that people's excitement for a series ebbs and flows? Yeah, I mean, you look at especially when you look at games. Ask people, you know, how they feel about games like Call of Duty or Assassin's Creed. These series that have high moments and low moments, and a lot of people like this game and hate this game. And ask ten different people, and you'll get ten different answers. Well, so this is the same way. Tro really not paying attention to I had everything's video. How could you say such negative things about a, a product that's all about positivity and then also Exactly, keeps, what do you mean? He keeps reestablishing that I hate everything shits on the prequels all the time. It's like, you realize that's a part of the exact same series. You know, the series about keeping the darkness away, keeping going for the, the light. Holding on to the light, <laughs> keeping away the darkness. That's so, the thing, man. That's what just, I mean. Oh, it all falls apart. Such a hypocritical video, but like, Tiara's doing his best to just try and ignore those bits, I guess. Star Wars Last Jedi is a good or bad movie, but he's emphasizing that the franchise will likely be fine as a whole, mostly independent from your opinions on The Last Jedi. Now, if I was in Rags... That's not what Rags responded to. Yeah. Geez, Why are you talking about yeah. stuff that wasn't at all to do with what Rags said? Does Jeez. <sighs> position, I would also respond that The Last Jedi is in a very different place from the prequels, and that the prequels being bad films couldn't really have too much implication on the established sequence that had already been set up by the original trilogy. What in the fuck did he just say? Um, you're gonna have to redo because I was about to pause and ask the same thing. <laughs> I don't have any idea what, what the point was there. People explaining why they feel that way. Although I to... does finish his sentence with, even though Star Wars was already ruined, three times prior, implying that he's not suggesting whether Star. 
Well, all that would say is that you can ruin it multiple times, so it's not really ruined. That was weird. My it's internet cut out for a sec. Oh, okay. Oh, well, Fucking nothing. Wolf. Nothing of substance was said. Uh, uh, was well, is it I didn't expect that. Well, wait, is, have you, is the video still up to date with you? Is it on fifteen forty-five? Uh, it is now. I was just going to say, like, you, like it cut out. If you haven't, yeah, like second. Second. if you haven't heard what he's about to say, and he's going to do the thing where he puts all the words on screen, which, by the way, I don't like to say this, you. right? I feel kind of mean saying it, but I don't know about you guys. Do you watch Colossal is Crazy at all? No, no, I do not. So I've been a big fan of Colossal is Crazy for a long time. I know TRO and Colossal is Crazy are friends, and Colossal is TRO feels like Colossal is Crazy light, as in. He does, he's very similar, uh, and that that little like words going boom, 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 boom on the screen, I could have sworn that it's, started with Colossal, but I'm just... It's bad. Putting it out videos, there. Don't do that. It feels Please a lot like TRO, because this is the thing, Colossal did, uh, he would cover specific people or like a topic, something that's relevant. He doesn't do it as much anymore, he just takes fucking ages to do anything. But like TRO seems to have sort of taken over, or he's trying to take over, and he also happens to have the pompous British accent. Which, by the way, I'm not saying it's a bad accent. Like, it, it's what Colossal has, and I love Colossal's accent. Um, but he, it's just there's a lot of little things where I'm like, ooh, it's not really your own thing there. But hey, and plus, on. when people can listen to what you're saying and understand you, don't confuse it by having the words flash up like that. Just, just and don't. It's extra work. Just don't do it. Well, I mean, I got my own issue with that. I think that's just lazy editing because you're like, what else am I going to do? I'll just flash the words on screen to make sure people aren't falling asleep. It's bizarre right, to here's me. Here's the worst way that I could do subtitles. But to clarify, I do actually... I'm okay with influence, right? Like, you can see a style of art and be like, I want to try and do that myself, and that's fine. I just... Uh, there's just so many little things like in Tiaro's things. videos that are like, I've seen this before. You know what? The one that keeps getting... Again, you guys have no reference for this, so I apologize, obviously, but there's... I don't know where they're getting it from, but there's a source where, you know, like it shows people you've never seen before in really clean environments, just walking around or doing a thing. I saw that a lot in I Hate Everything's videos. Then I saw it a lot in uh, Colossus Crazy videos, and now I'm seeing it in TRO videos. And they also do a thing where you show a guy who's on his iPad, and he's like sifting through things, and there's a green screen on the iPad that you can crop out with chroma key, and then you put the video you're talking about in it to make it look like this guy is watching that video. And like that props yeah. up more in TRO videos now as well. It, it's just interesting all these little connections again you can do it it's fine it's just um i don't know i prefer it when you 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 watch a video and you're like this is completely their own style it's cool i guess you can't really do that for tiaro anyway because he's got several editors so they all have different styles so maybe it's not even him maybe it's the people who are editing have gotten hey, uh, well whoever did edit it just don't, don't save yourself the time don't have it be there Oh yeah, well, here we go, Wolf. Do your best said. to understand what he's about to say. You ready for this? Yeah, I am so ready. Bad movie. Please emphasize that the franchise will likely be fine as a whole, mostly independent from your opinions on The Last Jedi. Now, if I was in Rags' position, I would also respond that The Last Jedi is in a very different place from the prequels, and that the prequels being bad films couldn't really have too much implication on the established sequence that had already been set up by the original trilogy. Therefore... So, what did he say? <sighs> A lot of bullshit. I don't understand. Like, I'm, I, I'm being genuine. We've I, done this before with Movie Bob. I'm not 100% sure of what that was. What do you say? Yeah, I'm. I'm going to give it I'm one more try to, and be yeah, let's give it genuinely as honest try. as I can trying to figure out what Last Jedi is a good or bad movie. Please emphasize that the franchise will likely be fine as a whole, mostly independent from your opinions on The Last Jedi. Now, if I was in Rags' position, I would also respond that The Last Jedi is in a very different place from the prequels, and that the prequels being bad films couldn't really have too much implication on the established sequence that had already been set up by the original trilogy. So, is he saying the prequels being bad doesn't really affect the OT, because that's totally not true. Um, For example, Darth Vader now has a full history, so whenever you watch the originals, you can see Anakin if you want. That's something that a lot of people complain about. Actually, that's something that I hate everything complained to us about. Remember, Wolf? Uh, he said that the prequels ruined Darth Vader and Yoda. Oh, yeah. So, so not even I hate everything agrees with you there. I was so young when the prequels came out, I, I can't really... I, I don't know what the general acceptance was of them. I, I don't know. Um, I know what the acceptance of them now is, but at the time, I don't know. 
but I, I still don't really understand what he's saying. Um, if, I would well, say some people in the chat are saying that we've, we've got it right in terms of what he's trying to say. And my only question is, why did you say it like that? Like, not only that fast, not only with the editing style, but the choice of sentence structure, like the, the words you chose to explain, it doesn't matter how bad the, sequ uh, the prequels are because they don't affect what moves on from the originals. Like, that's pretty much what he's I saying, I think. Yeah, as I think that's what he's saying, but then again, there's not as much... as I feel like there's... Looking back, I feel like there's more about The Last Jedi that singularly goes against the OT than all of the prequels. Oh, absolutely. I, uh, that's I actually agree. a debate that we had with um, I Had Everything. And like he said that seeing Yoda with a lightsaber is partially what ruins Yoda in the original trilogy. And I believe me and Wolf actually argued on the opposite of that. I'm, I'm not sure where you stand on that, Wolf, but for me, I don't see Yoda with a lightsaber ruining Yoda in the OT because... I mean, he's a I, Jedi, and Jedi have lightsabers, so I don't see how I that's a I, fucking problem. I would have preferred that his lightsaber was, like, there, but he never used it. But it doesn't ruin sure. anything for me. Well, a lot of people... I mean, the fact that it's present doesn't pose an issue. A lot of people yeah. highlight the fact that Yoda's very, like... You know, like, I, I can't remember what his statement is, but he's like, never use the Force to attack, and then they'll splice that with a, a scene of him going, like, brah, against Count Dooku. And my perspective on that is, like, yeah, but... That was before, so Yoda lost every one of his Jedi. He lost his temple. He lost everything. It's like he might that might change him a bit. He might have some interesting things to say about the Force and the Jedi after that. Not like, to mention, wasn't most of Yoda's use of the Force in Attack of the Clones uh, to keep Dooku from killing Anakin and Obi Wan? Who were yeah, you could definitely like, argue was in defense. Yeah, he uses it to defend people. That seems like a Jedi thing to do. So yeah, it's, and I'm not saying any definitive right now. It's an interesting conversation to have. I'm merely pointing out that um, I hate everything himself has declared that the prequels have a residue that's attacked the OT. So to say that it's they're, they're separate from each other just doesn't make sense really to me. Especially considering they're all sequels. It's all part of a, a, a through line. So they yeah, all affect each other. This this segment is he's saying what, I, what he would have said in my place. <laughs> and you wouldn't have said this, so. But the thing is, didn't he criticize me for making the video that... Oh, right. Yeah, well, this will just be another one to count on that TRO is saying how Rags should say his video, even though he said Rags shouldn't do that with I had everything's uh, video. It's, 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 yeah, it's all right. It's fine. It's fine. It, this this video feels like Christmas lights where you're just trying to untangle all of it. You're like, kind of, fuck, yeah. I don't know. This Legos Yeah, here. you just kind of want to shake it around. Hopefully that they're kind of loosening <laughs> yeah. each other up a little bit. Just shake it throw it around. Therefore, it's understandable that The Last Jedi may feel like it had more of an effect on the future Star Wars films as a whole. But that's just my two cents on But I don't know, but we don't know what the future films will be like. Well, we do now, but at the time, we didn't know what the effects would be. Well, you said we that's just my two cents. That means you can't criticize yeah. him. Yeah, I mean, I'm just, uh, what I'm saying is, <laughs> I have no idea what episode 9 will be like. And I have this morbid curiosity about what they'll do, you know? Oh, you know what? That just made me... Uh, someone just left in the comments as well. What I said could be extrapolated as a defense of Yoda, uh, as a defense of Luke, saying that what Yoda went through changed him. Um, I said it oh, in my no. videos, Luke could change to become the Luke in The Last Jedi, but we have to see the events that would have done it. We saw the events that would have... Like, do you remember the scene where Yoda reacts to all of his Jedi being murdered? Yeah, and even then, Yoda... And the way that Yoda treats Luke and the way that Luke treats Rey. Yeah, and and we get to see Yoda in the council, what, like eight times or something ridiculous? Yeah. We get to like see him planning in the war. That... We see him with the the, kid, the Wookiees. He fights Palpatine. Like We get loads of that, uh, uh, Yoda stuff for why he would have had a downfall. The first time Yoda sees Luke is he puts on the act as a way to test Luke. Yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot to work with there. There's, while yeah, there, Luke gets lot, but... gets one flashback three times, so you know. Yeah, but Canto, we got Canto bite. We got Canto bite. That's that's fair. On that, Rax then says it took years and years and years for people to turn on the prequels, and basically, yeah, I would cite Plinkett's video was the the big uh, culture shift for that one. I was one of many yeah. people who watched that and was like, "Oh yeah, the prequels aren't as great as I thought." Like that, genuinely, and I can't yeah. remember how old I was when that released. I think it was two thousand nine. Because it was the it was the blanket reviews for me too. 
and those have millions and millions and millions of views. And that and, and, it, and it, it is cited today. Uh, remember when um, the, the Last Jedi video, when Plinkett's Last Jedi video came out, there were articles written about it. And those articles about the, the Last Jedi video Plinkett did often referenced how impactful culturally the Plinkett reviews on the, uh, the Phantom Menace were. Yeah, and this is the thing. Uh, Rags is not saying that nobody hated the prequels when they came out, because every there's always someone who hates something. That's just obvious. That's a standard. What he's saying here, because I know that this is going to be twisted. What Rags is saying here is that like the hatred we're seeing for the Last Jedi was nowhere near what the prequels got until many years later. Yeah, but then remember, that actually turned into took, memes, which was nice. It took <laughs> days. It took week. I mean, it, it wasn't even months or weeks after the Last Jedi that people were like, "Ugh," and it just that's It kept getting worse. It started out bad, and it kept getting worse and worse and worse. Yeah. Turn them into memes, and although I would not agree, and I say many dislike the prequels on release as well as the fact the critic score never really changed, I would definitely agree they're more unpopular now than. They yeah, but what one thing that's important to note is that the professional critic review at the at the time, the internet wasn't like it is today. Um, the way to back then, the critic score was far more easy to acquire and put out, and relied upon. So yeah, and I mean, I mean if we're gonna go by the scores too, it's just like it's just it's objectively factual that it's got a lower audience score. Than Phantom Menace, than Attack of the Clones. It's historically, isn't it the lowest rated Star Wars film in history? That's what I remember it is, reading. Yes. It is, yeah. Um, and it didn't take long for that to happen. And it, I don't think it's gone up since. And it took, and it happened way quicker too. It got a lower score far, far quicker. Hmm they were then. Rags then, however, firstly uses Rotten Tomatoes once again to state objectively The Last Jedi is the most unpopular Star Wars film with audiences. That would be a truth then, wouldn't it? That, yeah, that seems to be, uh, yeah, it's a true statement. And this, metrics, you got to be yeah. so slow and careful with the words here, because some people like to twist it and be like, how could it be objective if it's based on people's feelings? And it's like, no, we're saying yeah. that a it has overall... The score, look. <laughs> the objective result of the overall mean uh, review is this number compared with this number. These are things that are undisputable because they're on the site. Like, that's... The two different things. Rags not. I'm glad he didn't say Rags is trying to say that the film is definitely bad because people said it was. You know, like nothing like that. Don't, don't, as long as he doesn't go that way. The Last Jedi, and by a considerable margin, is the worst rated by audience Star Wars film that has ever existed. It took the prequels many, many, many years for people to turn on them for the films that they really were. Despite the fact that Rotten Tomatoes in no way necessarily actually reflects universal audience. That's not what Rags said, though. Yeah, that's not what I said. I knew he was gonna do that. Like, I'm, I'm saying it's the lowest score, and I can, I fucking put out tweets and shit with screenshot. Just look at the numbers. Was what number? Some numbers are higher than other numbers, man. Sentiment on a film, particularly due to target demographics that are more likely to use the site. Yeah, there's a million influences that go into Rotten Tomatoes. So to say to compare two films on Rotten Tomatoes would be fair. Yeah, I'm using I'm using the same metrics for both. They're both besides, being looked at through the same lens. That's all you said is that it got the, the score worst result. Is lower. I'm saying the score is lower. I suppose some, one could argue that if The Phantom Menace was released today, then maybe it would have had the same response as that. But you're maybe. not disputing that. You literally just said, factually, this is the lowest rated Star Wars film on Rotten Tomatoes by audience score. And it is. Yeah, and it is. That's it. Sites. And you can find other sites such as IMDb that have The Last Jedi as more popular than two of the three. About IMDb. Yeah, he wasn't talking about IMDb. That's... I mean, I'm, I'm sure you're right, but I wasn't talking about IMDb, so... Now this point would be irrelevant if the logic he followed with was correct, but he then goes on to say When the prequels came out, people were at least lukewarm about them, or they thought higher of them. But this is The Last Jedi after two months. What do you think it will be like in two years looking back? What do you think it'll be like five months from now? Well, there are individual circumstances in which the strangely positive response. So you agree? The... So, just... so you agree? And all Rags did was ask questions. Yeah, I was like, so you agree. I'm saying, look at, I'm just saying, imagine. I'm like, I'm being like John yeah. Lennon here. Just imagine, right? <laughs> Prequels were cultivated. In particular, they were victims of their own hype and have dated horribly. Last yeah, Ra Rags could no. go into that if he wanted to, but he didn't. He literally just said, yeah. stop it. You're overanalyzing something that didn't even contradict what you're saying. That's, that's the big yes. issue here. He's trying to counter you and you haven't said anything that wouldn't necessarily follow with all of this too. I'm just saying, look at the scores. Imagine what it will be like in the future. 
Ray doesn't appear to have that, and therefore it's unlikely that it will follow the same route. He then says, That's kind of an odd defense of The Last Jedi saying, Oh yeah, but guys, wait, 15 years ago these other movies were bad. And to that I'll refer <laughs> you back to what I just said. Oh. Aichi's involvement of the prequels is actually justified, even if the context does not hold direct comparison. A lot of fun. Casual debates help challenge your viewpoint and only benefit the overall landscape. But a lot of the discussions around this movie are just straight up malicious and overly simplified. Frank's thing. The... Straight up malicious or overly simplified. I mean, they can be, I'm sure. Yeah, but this is, a lot such of the a... stuff that I've watched, I mean, no, they just didn't like the movie and they criticized the movie. It's like, why can't I, I just. It's just it, it, I don't think the only one you could possibly refer to is anyone saying, I'm going to murder the people who made it. It's like, beyond that, if you get someone like, for example, my video, my initial one ranting against the film, I wonder if he considers that malicious. Yeah, man, it's like, the, what is malicious to you? Also, it's weird, he's using that OG. Dog. Mm. But it's it's strange. What is malicious exactly? It's it's very what's malicious to some isn't to others. You know, can you can you be malicious to in, in criticism of a movie? Yeah, like can intent to do to harm. Movie? It's like that's it seems a bit hyperbolic, but fine. Let's see let's see where they go with it. And counters this by saying, really, you think so? Because I knew I was going to do this video for quite a while, and I watched a lot of Star Wars conversations about it. I even had my own stream, and on that stream was Mahler. He ended up creating three extremely comprehensive videos talking about criticisms regarding The Last Jedi. Now, Rags' point only worked if I is denying the existence of a lot of reasonable discussions. Yeah, but Rags said, really? I'm, huh, I'm, my experience I'm, yeah, is I'm this. Saying, yeah, I'm saying that I don't see the thing that you claim is around. I even start out by saying that's weird. Isn't that what I said? I was like, that's weird. Or like, that's odd. Yeah, and the only response TRO can have to this is like, well, he's sharing his experience and I had everything he shared his. Moving on. Like, yeah. That's it. I guess, yeah. Which he isn't. He was just stating that a lot of these discussions appear unreasonable. Why is this playing in the background? It's a part of I Hate Everything's video, so the person editing right now thought it would be... See, this is, this is a very fundamental of editing, right? So in my videos, if I reference one of them when I'm talking about them, and I show a clip in one of them that has a clip from a movie that I was referencing in that video at the time, it's very confusing for the viewer because they think I'm now referencing the movie, which is exactly what's happening here. What they should have shown was a picture of I Hate Everything's opinion disclaimer or his, um, his face, you know, doing something. Not literally a clip from the deer hunter because now we're like, wait, is it relevant to the deer hunter? <laughs> Have a lot of oh, sorry, I think this is the deer hunter. One and a lot of the other. They're not mutually exclusive. Rags asks him, You say a lot of the discussion about this movie is straight up malicious and overly simplified. Can you point those out? Listen, the mass is not. Yeah, that's fair. Why is I, that yeah, fair? I'm asking for some examples. I mean, I'm not saying they don't exist. Exclusive. I mean, for the, I would Rags say that for the most part, they don't. I would say that the vast majority of criticism isn't malicious in the way that he's trying to paint, especially with the beginning of I Hate Everything's video. It's such an but innocent, I don't think I'm asking for anything unreasonable here. This is an innocent response from Rags here, just being like, I didn't experience this. Can you show some of your examples? And then yeah, Tiara is just trying to like a, desperately so rip into many it. I Last Jedi response videos. I watched. Oh, I can't even remember how many. I can't, I couldn't, I could probably, I watched so many. I could probably re-watch some and not know that I've watched them the first time. It's just, you just soak it all up. And I was never like, man, these are malicious people. They're yeah. bad people. Awesome. You say a lot of the discussion about this movie is straight up malicious. And I think this was my video. Um, yeah, no, this is. Some reason it sucked. Critical thinking. Uh, ramp compilation. Uh, Let's try a horrible movie. Uh, just a lot of thoughts and vlogs and I mean I just it's like yeah there's a lot of it's an overly simplified can you point those out listen the mass is not hard to find YouTube videos are not the only media what do you mean rags literally just said he's finding it hard to find and then you're like it's not hard to find it's like if it's not so fucking hard to find why don't you show some examples Jesus Christ <laughs> this is not hard of the discussion. Let's pull up some of the examples that I gathered oh, oh, in around oh. 10 minutes. So, okay. Mystery. If these are examples, these need to be examples of, what was it? Malicious? Malicious. Is it malicious criticism? Like, just, just malicious in general. Let's see the malicious. <laughs> oh, it's a comment! It's not even a video, it's a comment that has no, a month old comment You're with no thumbs up. Oh. Seriously? 
Oh wow. It's going to be common. Yeah, there are you yeah, of, even you, though we've just you, been over that getting so death my, threats is so common on the internet that it's not even oh. there's no point in even referencing it. Okay. So, oh Jesus Christ. I guess my mistake was I went to the actual content. I went to videos of YouTubers with the tens of thousands of views and all the subs, and I got to all the people who were involved in the community, and I went to all of these videos when I should have been going to the dredges of the comment section. As people are pointing out as well, even though he's gone to the comment section to get evidence, saying you're an idiot and they've killed Star Wars, I hardly call that malicious or a threat. That's a pretty yeah. I should have known that Monk Insane with three subscribers a month ago posted before this video was made. He found yes. I'm certain that you can find <laughs> malicious comments if you go to the fucking YouTube comment section. I'm I was going to the stuff shit that matters. I'm sure you could go on a a video about uh creating an omelet, and there would be if it was a million views, you might find a comment that has the word interdimensional in it. Just I'm, because I'm sure. that's how crazy comments are. You'll just have everything in there. Oh my god. You're an idiot. The last Jedi sucked balls. They killed Star Wars. You're a hypocrite. Again, malicious These are malicious. Threats. I don't think he's malicious. Gee, your bar is so low, you snowflake. Critical idiot. Your opinion's sh- What? <laughs> he's laughing! That's XD harmless. means you're laughing! That's so harmless. What the fuck? Oh Fuck-ing my god. So screw you! Screw you! Do you know who- Oh god, screw you. This is like, I um... feel that this review is biased as malicious. <laughs> oh my god! Screw, screw you is malicious. Screw I love- I'm sorry, Jesus. TRO, you were so smug about this section. Like, this wow. took me seconds to find. It's like, this, this is not this evidence is at all. awful. You should feel bad. Bad TR. Like, like I heard that TRO made a tweet where he was considering taking this video down. You should have. But it's, it's a bit late now. Oh. <laughs> it's too late. Yeah, it's too late now. I, I oh, saved myself a copy. Um, I, I feel that this. I can't believe that's referenced as malicious. <laughs> that's insane. <laughs> also, I love all these uh, these Russian bot fucking profiles. Bug bug boost. <laughs> <laughs> That's Lord a fucking Russian if I ever see zero one. subs and no character <laughs> profile image. Review is biased. I want to smash your head against the wall. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's a malicious one. You got me. Oh, wow. I hope you can yeah. cast treat it just like this trilogy. Oh, so I'm on a different one to you guys. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Idiot. Terrible plot, thousands of plot holes, ruined all the main characters, social justice warrior, BS, terrible, terrible movie. <laughs> uh. One of my mods just said, uh, is Wolf's, uh, Wolf's bike dead? It's like, no, he's just, uh, <laughs> I guess he's just fucking observing me and Rags ripping into this. Well, um, uh, actually, um, yeah, he's having pizza. I, well, no. I'm pretty sure he finished yeah. that like an hour ago. <laughs> um, I'm actually gonna call it a day um yeah so seen a lot of people in the chat post about it and you know Mahler I've already talked to you a lot about it rags talked a little bit about it uh yeah I'm gonna be posting a video pretty soon I was planning tomorrow it might be tonight instead um you know a lot of shit that's been going on for the past three months uh a lot of accusations that are incorrect, outright bullshit. I guess Medicare got some comment on one of his streams about it. So it's kind of all over the place now. So don't really feel like I can really add much to the stream at this point. All right. I got you. So, right, um, yeah, I think, you know, it's going to be a while before I'm back on EFAP or back on YouTube in general, just because I need time to you know, fucking not deal with shit. So probably going to post the video later this afternoon or tonight at some point. But uh, yeah, it's just got to, I, I don't think I can really add much. You guys are more better with the critical analysis of this clusterfuck of a video <laughs> anyway. So. All right. Um, well, yeah. I mean, me and Rags can fucking. I think even just one of me and Rags would have been able to run this stream with how much we talk. But like, yeah. Um, so don't be confused, chat. 
you shouldn't know much about this if you don't know anything about it, but Wolf's going to release a video about some stuff that's been going on, um, and from there is probably going to take a break for a bit, uh, so he'll be, I imagine. There's, needless to say, there's a reason for, like, why I was so um, passionate about the Kavanaugh case, because it's really reflective of shit I've been dealing with for months, and... Yeah, it's it's kind of shitty when you see comments like it all the fucking time, every single day, day in, day out. And uh, yeah, I, I feel like I'm not really going to be able to add much to the stream. So I think oh, you guys man, can. Uh, I mean, you can always send us a message if you ever need anything. You know, absolutely. We'll be around. And I'm sure you'll yeah. be missed on EFAP as well. So yeah. make sure you yeah. don't take too long. Yeah, we don't know how you. long it'll be, but um Love you too. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, the video will go in depth in it because it's a pretty big fucking video. I've been working on it for a lot of weeks at this point. So I got you. Yeah. So the video will explain itself. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to call it a day. It was uh, fun how it lasted. I hope you guys survive the next hour and a half. Oh, I'm sure we'll be fine. Plenty of material yeah. to destroy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, well um, just be well, but take the break you need to. Yeah. And yeah. We'll be around. We always are. Yeah. Well, um, you know, I'll uh, see you guys later. Yeah. Right, see you, man. And yeah, uh, we'll pro I'll probably just like, when we get to the end of the stream, I'll, I'll say something again about what is sort of going on there, but it, it is more for Wolf to talk about. And there are people who, I don't know if they're doing it as a joke or if they're doing it because uh, they think that there's there's like a strong case. Me, th there's podcasts, especially the chat or, or my Discord or even my, my YouTube videos, not really a place where I like to have um, discussion on those sorts of extremely personal topics. So th th if you find comments being removed, deleted or, or whatever, it's, it's literally just because um, it's it's against rules or, or terms of service, as you put it. We've, we've got our own rules set up in... Um, our Discord, I'm sure Rags is the same. This um, proliferation of, of what is essentially pretty harmful content is, is the ideas of, uh, as he said, it's is, is come up recently in the political arena. So you'll get all the context you need. Uh, I don't know if Wolf said it was tonight or tomorrow, but he'll be releasing a video for it. In the meantime, me and, uh, me and Rags are going to continue with TRO's absolute slam dunk that there, of course, exists negative, uh, malicious videos out there by referencing, what was oh, that? No, like, not even videos. Five, no, well, I was going to say, by comments. referencing five comments that weren't even malicious and two that kind of were. Uh, is, like, like uh, uh, you know, I'll go as far as saying, no, they absolutely were. But, um, again, you could... <laughs> you know what's really funny about this, Rags? You could have yep. told me these comments were on any video and I'd believe you. Oh, yeah. That's just... you. Oh yeah, well there's not I I went to the YouTube comment section and found some mean comments. It's like, yeah, no shit. Anyway, did you find did you find anything that matters? No, that's yeah, that's I the guess. thing. If he showed a video of some guy like in a vlog saying, "I'm going to fucking kill Ryan Johnson." It'd be like, "Oh wow." Like that that does seem like a little bit more credible than just, you know, a selection of words in a comment on a random video that everyone yeah, but... gets on everything. Very strange. As the plot holes ruined all the main characters. Social justice warrior bullshit. I mean, the the in the the voices that go for. Well, it's to make them look even less reasonable, ranks. It's a very clever yeah. idea. I see. Terrible, terrible movie. You can try to sound intelligent with your uh big words, but you're fucking dumb if you think the last Jedi was good with its plot holes, blatant. So what about that? Was malicious? Is it is it malicious to call someone dumb? Um, f king dumb. <laughs> if you call someone dumb, it's okay, but fucking dumb, that's too far. Oof. The pushing, and it's Mary Sue. Honestly, 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 you can just fuck off. Wow, you're either being paid by Kathleen Kennedy or you're virtue signaling. This was a horrible movie. Only came here was to see more trashing of The Last Jedi. So, so this section proves that there are people who did not like The Last Jedi, I suppose. Yeah. Thanks for this. You got me. Needed this. I, I, there are people out there who didn't like it. Yeah, that's that's what I was saying. 
Yeah. Some piss is ruined, but you come off more of an Antifa member with talking. <laughs> an Antifa member. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why they need to go there, but sure. That makes no sense. Uh, it is, this plot was garbage unless your IQ is 17 and you're just a moron. Hope you drop a shit tone of subs. You're an idiot if you can't criticize The Last Jedi like that and say it's a good film. Why are people enjoying things that I don't like? Oh, so is that the point of this section? I... I guess we... Could have sworn it was to counter your point and prove that there are malicious people making videos. But whatever. Yeah, I was I was kind of going for the shit that matters, but I guess he found so he found some mean comments on the on the YouTube comment section. Mm -hmm. So yeah, all right. Die. <laughs> Die. <laughs> Come on, Jeez. Come on! It's on like every video. Wow. Come the whole movie is SJW propaganda. There are plenty of Asian cast in Hollywood. You're out. What the fuck? Yeah, I agree. I'm not even sure what that comment's saying. Yeah, I don't Come know. Come the whole movie is SJW propaganda. There are plenty of Asians casted in Hollywood. You are out of line. I don't. Okay. All right, I'm not. I'm just not going to read that whole fuck. You're offended by the political message being noticed by people who are smart enough not to be indoctrinated by hypocrite Woods' agenda, because you're already a sheeple shill. But you just don't know it. When you say take away all the story, pacing, character, tone, physics, lore, etc. problems, then you have nothing left. Not a movie, just the most expensive toy commercial ever made. And it didn't sell any toys. At Xmas time, all that was on the toy shelves were Star Wars toys. Epic fail, as this video is, pal. As is this video. That's not that, that bad. Yeah. Like, I, I get it, it's a little bit, like, you don't need the political bit, but even, even with it, it's like, not that bad. It's weird though, because when I was saying I wasn't finding this stuff, I noticed I showed like videos that people made. But he went like, "Oh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do the thing that he's looking for. I'm gonna go somewhere completely different. I'm gonna look for a, for a completely different kind of thing than what was clearly and displayed to me." Did he miss I'm the part find... where you already admitted that you know this happens for everything? Remember well, the yeah, whole... I, I, at the very, very, very beginning of the video, I was like, "Yeah, yeah this, yeah, this happens to everything." Bit everything. Weird. It is kind of. I'm just not. I, I'm not reading this one either. You can just see the irony. Uh huh. That reveal. Wait, is wait. How was that ironic? I guess if you call someone a racist, then it's clear that you're the racist. I, I guess. I what? I will give them the biggest benefit of the doubt and possible. Overly simple. And assume that they they're going to be criticizing him for saying it's good that they casted an Asian person. If he said that, I don't even know. And to oh, fuck, what, what to time? deny that would be racist. I assume that's. That's what I'll go for, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Because it wasn't what even TRO that on? said it, it was some other guy. Uh, I'm not sure. Best thing to come out of this treasure trove of intelligence is... Idiot review. Wow. I... So malicious. What? what so this, this section turned into like a comedy bit. I, I guess? I mean, I, it was funny, but it's supposed to be malicious, terrible, horrible things, but we're like intended to laugh at them because they shouldn't be taken seriously. Why did you bother? But it, me and Rags could find you a list of the reverse. People saying this film is incredible, you should just fucking die. Yeah. They exist too, like so... A, sounds like a, it sounds like a boo-hoo sort of thing to me. Hmm. I'm That's like, because really, I, I when like... I said I didn't find, I didn't see any of that maliciousness, what I did was I showed a big list of YouTube videos that were made. A lot of those by big names, and... Yeah. He was like, oh, well, instead, since he showed YouTube videos, instead, I'll go somewhere completely different. I'll go to the YouTube comment section. I'll find comments. I'm like, okay. I was, I was hoping <laughs> that you'd use videos. I say that's a bit more than a dozen. And on top of that... No, it's not, TRO. You didn't prove your point at all. Yeah. It's, if was, anything, that whole section you was fucked. <laughs> yeah, you kind of downplayed anything malicious, really. I have to... Uh, I need him to be here, right, and say to him... Tiara, whatever your name is, do you think that Rags thinks there's not a single comment online that's malicious toward people about The Last Jedi? Do you think that's what Rags was saying? And of course the answer is, well, obviously not, because Rags isn't retarded. Like, he would never say that there's not someone out there who threatened to kill somebody because of how bad The Last Jedi is, because it happens to everything and everyone. It's just, it's just like, think for a fucking second. Like, that you didn't counter Rags, you countered a point no one made. Good job. In terms of people's takes and their 
opinions on The Last Jedi and to paint them as overly malicious and simplistic is disingenuous from you. When he never did that anyway. Then we go back to the Destiny point. But a lot of the discussions around this movie are just straight up malicious and overly simplified. You know, I think that a lot of the discussion surrounding Destiny 2 was straight up malicious. Which we've already dug into enough. I yes, uh, you I lost it. That was, that was a <laughs> solid point that I made. That yeah, you I was gonna say, I don't think Good we job. dug into it in a way that you, you think that it's been dug into, but sure disagree with Aichi that there is no middle ground because I'm kind of on it. But his statement is a hyperbole and, as I said, the film is full of very strong sentiments which will push more people to one side or the other. And often certain extremes can frame it as there being no middle ground. And this next point is something that arises from them. Did I- did it- uh, did I ever say anything about that? I was- that, that was what Aichi said. Well, the way he just think, framed that was that- he doesn't even agree that there's no middle ground. If I'm assuming that you may have said that there's absolutely middle ground and that... No, I, I think he was saying that IHE made the comment that it's like, it seems like there's no middle ground, but... I mean, there's always there's... middle ground, so... I don't know. Let me use the loo real quick. Even with Marmite. Um... You've dug into this? Yeah, no, I don't think so. Uh, let me rewind, see if we can get some extra... Just ...and that. simplistic is disingenuous from you. When he never did that anyway. Then we go back to the Destiny point. But a lot of the discussions around this movie are just... Sorry, is that the way that's edited? And anyway, then we go back to the Destiny point. But a lot of the... He cuts himself off. He says, like, point, and then it... I think he was going to say point. I want to see what Rag said in this bit. Intelligence yeah. is... Idiot review. Wow. I, speechless, really. I just don't know. Oh, right. so I'm, I'm doing I a, say um, that's a bit more than a dozen. And on top of that, Raz claims- But I watched oh. a lot of content in ah. terms of people's takes and their opinions on The Last Jedi. And to paint them as overly malicious and simplistic is disingenuous from you. When he never did that anyway. Yeah, I guess it, it could be extrapolated that, uh... You've you've assumed that I hate everything is referring to everyone that way, but that's tied into the whole broad strokes thing because I hate everything's not just talking about people who threaten murder. He's also talking about people yeah, who are just critical he, of the film. Yeah, you know, the way that he lumps everything together and the immense amount of time he spends talking about it and playing with it. Yeah. And he's kind of fucked because of that one screenshot of the perfectly reasonable accounts basically criticizing the film in the same way that I would. And it's very therefore strange. If those people are malicious and simplistic, then I suppose I'm in that same collective. I have to be, because I would be saying the same things as them. Like, I don't think that's too much of a jump from Rags. I think that's perfectly reasonable. Yeah, I mean, all right, if that's how you felt, but, you know, I, I got what I got. Wait, then we go back to the Destiny point. But a lot of the discussions around this movie are just straight up malicious and overly simplified. You know, I think that a lot of the discussion surrounding Destiny 2 was straight up malicious. Which we've already dug into enough. Yeah, I just my point was pretty damn good. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I got no problem. I still understand his, his counter to that. I agree with Aichi that there is no middle ground because I'm kind of on it. But his statement is a hyperbole and, as I said, the film is full of very strong sentiments which will push more people to one side or the other. And of Often certain extremes can frame it as there being no middle ground. And this next point- So he- he justifies the fact that I hate everything said there's no middle ground by saying with stuff like this, it's- it's easy to see there's no middle ground. It's like, so you're saying there, there is a middle ground and he misses that. There's a lot of videos were middle ground. Well, th that's kind of what I'm getting at, is like- There is no middle ground, but also I guess the- the-, the you know, there is- but I can see how someone would say there isn't. It's just like, okay. It's inaccurate, but it's fair to say, sure. Yeah. It's something that arises. I mean, as, as the comments are saying that. here, Aichi is clearly inflating the malicious aspect of it in order to try and defend. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Using... I mean, that's, yeah, that's, that's part of why a lot of people made their videos the way they did, right? To try and be less hyperbolic, to try and have the opposite side listen. You know, because. It's pretty clear that if you shout at somebody, it's rare that they'll actually take in what you're saying. That's like... You could say there's, there's almost a counterculture for that. Because I'm not the only one who made, like, long assessments of the film. There's, there's a lot of people out there. <laughs> so, so in the comment section, it's over, Rags. TRO has the middle ground. <laughs> middle ground. <laughs>
Why are you giving the people who say that any kind of attention? Well, because they exist. That's part of the point oh, of- Oh, fuck off. You give oh, them attention oh. if they exist. Oh, if people exist, they- okay. If people exist, you give them attention. There's okay. no- that's gonna bite him in the ass one day. Whenever- whenever oh. TRO says, why are you covering X? Just- just have that prepared in your own head. Because they exist. Because they exist. That's good enough reason to cover yeah, it. Yeah, some- somebody out there who has the most ridiculous, silly, ridiculous, trolly opinion that exists on The Last Jedi. Like, should you ignore them because there's nothing of merit? No, cover them because they exist. You know that person I referenced earlier on the- on the- the omelette video who mentions interdimensional realities? I- cover them. They exist. <laughs> yeah, they <laughs> Why exist. Not? Yeah. of this video, that those people seem overrepresented in the current they? style. They well, no, they're, seem... They're only, they circular. seem over Yeah, sure. Yeah, they're ab absolutely circular. If they seem overrepresented, then how you don't overly represent them is you don't represent them. Someone said TRO is on point here. Represent... He hasn't made sense for a while now. Yeah, this is pretty bad. This is one of those circular sorts of things. Like they're part of the discussion <laughs> you keep, because look, 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 remember up because they exist. They said you keep pausing before he finishes a fucking sentence. Mate, he talks too fast. You've got to slow him down. And uh, he's made points as he goes. He says that he covers them because they exist. And then he moves on to say that, um, that, that it seems to be more negative towards... Uh, the, like, I'm guessing The Last Jedi, obviously, because that's the topic. And both yeah, of why... those points are wrong. Like, well, not not reason enough. The, the fucking idea to cover a comment literally because it exists. You don't, you think that's... <laughs> that's a pretty, that's like the, that's literally the lowest standard you could possibly have. Let's be fair, Rags, let's play the comment again just to make sure people are following certain extremes this. can frame it as there being no middle ground. And this next point is something that arises from that. Why are you giving the people who say that any kind of attention? Well, because they exist. That's part of the point of this. That's a that's a point. That's a con that's a congealed sentence. Yes. Because they exist, and now he's moving on. So, is there anyone in chat who thinks that that's completely reasonable as a reason to cover somebody because they exist? Do, like, I'm not saying. I get, well, maybe it's unclear. It's like, of course you can, but it's not a reason to do something. They exist. So I'm saying, why'd you eat that mold? Well, it exists. <laughs> it's it's bizarre to be like, because as as, uh, as Rags just said, it's like, why not go for people with merit? This is a common problem for I hate everything, by the way. Like his comment comeback videos, he always picks the insane people, and it's sad because the man can actually have discussion. It's possible. Yeah, like, so like, why again, not take the strong arguments? Why not go with the strong arguments instead of the insane ones? Yeah, I mean, some of these don't. A lot of these comments that he highlighted, the, the, that he highlighted, they're not even like they're not even malicious. First off, but they're just insane <laughs> and deranged. Like, why even engage it? Yeah, you know, it's just it's insane. Like, um, it's do you not remember, even making a point. I'm just using this as an example. I'm not like trying to be vain here, but um, my video where where I'm talking about the bombs dropping, I said that I looked all over online. I found four arguments in total in favor of the bombs dropping. And I, I think I disproved three of them, and then one of them I said, this is actually fair reasoning, and this could work. I was like, D did you see like the conversation that completes there? It's like, oh, this is actually an interesting piece of reasoning for why this, this thing would work this way. Instead, I could have just grabbed a bunch of comments that were like, you don't think bombs drop in space? You should die. Well, the bombs are made out of anti-gravity generating blueberry jam. <laughs> It's like, well, it and exists, then if someone's like, Mola, why, why are you covering the people who are saying you should die if you think bombs can't be dropped in space? And then I go, well, because they exist. They exist. I mean, really, you have to cover <laughs> every comment with that reasoning. Yeah, at that point, shouldn't this video be filled with millions of comments? I don't know. They exist. This video, that those people seem overrepresented in the current Star Wars discussion. I love that slippery language. They seem over overrepresented. Like, yeah, sure. I, don't, I don't see it. I don't see it. That's, that's exactly what Rags already said, and he's shown that. Rags was like, it didn't seem that way to me. Here's my yeah. uh, perception. And he shows all the videos. And the response is, look at these comments I've picked out of millions, potentially billions. <sighs> yeah, I mean, like, one of them had, like, two upvotes after a month, man. Oof. And if your problem is that they seem overrepresented, then why did you spend so much time in your video putting them front and center? Yeah, and laughing at them and stuff, which which is rightful. You should be laughing at a handful of them because they're silly, like the one that, you know, whatever. Like the, the as as Rags just said, it's like you, you talk about how it's like this overwhelming, or at least it's a majority of some form, 
but um, you also show show comments that have no support. Do you see? Do you see how that's interesting? It's like if you, if, for example, if you pulled a comment that said "I hate everything" should die, and it has like a thousand upvotes, that would be a little bit worrying. So there you go. There's a, <laughs> there's a spiel. Discussion and it's nauseating and unreasonable. A lot of content is built on responding to people who are being unreasonable and ridiculous. I'm sure Rags has responded to people being unreasonable and ridiculous as well. He's not premising it. Oh yes, me and Rags have responded to people being unreasonable and ridiculous. Yes, and we had a gale time. <laughs> to say fun. whether the last shy is good or bad, he's just trying to quell the outrage. Not really too, because we you can take a bad example because these videos that we talk about, especially on EFAP. They try to make points a lot of the times. They might not be very well stated. They might be contradictory, mm. but they have methods of reasoning. And there is some sort of thing being said in these things. It is usually, right. they're coming to a very specific point, usually. Like, for example, the, the Thanos one we covered, his specific point was the MCU have endorsed abuse as love. That was, the, the entire video was sort of in favor of that point. Uh, Macintosh is overall point was that The Last Jedi is about men learning to accept women as people who can help you grow or something like that. Like, oh uh, these essays usually come to a point and everything is in favor of it, so we, we go through each part and we judge how accurate to reality it is. Yeah, like, the people I make videos to, they, they don't speak gibberish in the truest sense of the word. Like, they make points, they're trying to get across an idea. A lot of the times they're articles that are filled with thoughts that attempt to push a narrative or to try and convince us of something it's not just a random con it's not a five word comment on the internet that says you are you're crazy or you're stupid or you're horrible because like what's to discuss about it other than to say this is ridiculous but questioning if it's really something worth getting to the powerful levels of anger that many have expressed and once again how would you be able to determine that yeah. anyway Exactly. That's another thing that's a problem with I Hate Everything's video, telling people they should or should not feel... Well, maybe I should clarify that before someone takes me out of context. To say that someone shouldn't be X amount of angry about a film, that's not a thing. Yeah, that's strange. I don't know how you would be able to quantify that or apply that or by what... It, it was like what IT said earlier on in this video, because they saying it's a Star Wars movie. He's like, yeah, it is a Star Wars movie. But and that in and of itself doesn't mean that people can't be upset about it to a degree. And I wonder if, uh, you know, you, you remember that video where Patrick Williams was like, I can't stop thinking about this film. It's amazing. Would you be like, dude, can you chill down like on that? Like, you get a bit of, like, you can't love it that much. It's just a film. You know, like, it, love being the uh, antonym to hate at this point in my, in my assessment. I'm saying if you're not allowed to hate it that much, surely you're not allowed to love it that much too. Yeah, it's got to work both ways. It's got to work both ways. And <laughs> Quantify again, anger this is a, with the amount of steam this, coming from their head. This is one of those things that people say that we do. Like, we're trying to gatekeep how much you're supposed to feel about something. Yeah. But this isn't really a point that we make, so much as it's a point that other people make in defense of it. But people um, attribute it, it to us for some reason. It's telling IG what he should be talking about. No, it's not. his fucking... You're doing that right now. Yeah, but Asshole. what is this video? Video. All we know is that this is a video about The Last Jedi. Then this inductive reason- But you already established that Rags would have seen it, so he knows exactly what the video is all about. Which one is it? Also, this music's annoying. <laughs> ...returns when Aichi says- I have seen The Last Jedi three times at the cinema now. I never see anything that many times. <laughs> See, you could absolutely say this. You could say, I never see a film more than whatever, so that, it, but to the audience, we're sitting there like, what the fuck does that mean? He's like, okay. Because I kind of hate going to the cinema. And suddenly Rags puts words into his mouth. Holy shit, he doesn't see anything that amount of times, but, <laughs> but, but the, but, but the last Jedi was just so good, he did. He, he did see it that- That's the implication, of and course. I'm, I'm not even- and he says that I'm putting words in his mouth, and I haven't yet. I'm saying what he said. Well, you- you said because- did, did, did you say because of how good it is, so he could argue that you're saying that he's saying he saw it because it's good. But I'm pretty sure he argues that the film is good.
Oh yeah, he argues it, but yeah, I'm not putting words in his mouth. I'm just restating what he said, and not even from his perspective. At many times, I mean, but it's clearly hyperbolic anyway, and he's used that defense in this yeah. video. Like Rags's avatar is like his, his jaws dropped, and he's like, "Whoa, you watched it yeah, three how times." Yeah, I'm analyzing my fucking avatar right now. Yeah, I mean, he nor completely dramatizing the side sense. Completely dramatizing it exactly, exactly. Yes, That's what Rags is doing. Yeah, because IG isn't making a point. Like, do you not understand? It, 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 like I said, the audience wonders. Why is he just brought up that he saw it three times? That's doesn't. That's not indicative of really anything. And it's like, well, I enjoyed it that much. It's like, okay. Yeah, you already like, know um, you enjoyed it. Uh, in chat, IHE says, I went to see it three times. Rag says, IHE went to see it three times. TRO says, stop putting words in his mouth. <laughs> from Alex, when as revealed he only watched it three times to get a clear grasp on how he felt. IHE then says, Collectively I've seen the film with four different people. Oh all God, of them are I different levels bit. of Star Wars fan, and all of them enjoyed it. Two of these four people never go on Twitter or Reddit, so I found their reaction to be genuinely interesting. And Rag says, Poor, poor the, those four friends, so much for the other two, he doesn't find you guys genuinely interesting. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, fuck you too. Yeah, it's kind of weird. I could have swore at the beginning of this video you were criticizing people for wanting to confirm their biases. Which is a peculiar point because I actually clearly didn't select his friends to go and watch the movie we, based okay, on their opinions on the movie. That he would have put that in his video if they all didn't like the film. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I if, was going to say I'm pretty sure that was the point you were making, not that if, I had if, everything selected yeah, his these, friends to see the film with. If. If these four friends had walked into the movie and they thought the movie was bad, there is no way he would have put that in this in this film he made, in this uh, video he made. As they had never seen the movie when they went with him. You see, the here's the thing, here's the thing. I can tell you all the times I hit the bullseye. That's the point I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. I don't have to tell you how many times I missed the bullseye that IG made earlier of internet echo chambers is that people select who surrounds them based on pre- you select people that you want to watch based off of how they feel about also, Star Wars? Also, that's a different conversation. Rags is saying, I hate everything he's bringing these people into his video, and they also just so happen to like the film. Do you understand? It's, it's the same as um, H. Palmer guy goes on several rants about uh, Dark Souls, and he brings in this anecdote about a friend of his who played Dark Souls 1 and just didn't like it. But then he plays Dark Souls 2, and he really liked it. It's like... Okay. What about, have you got any friends who felt the reverse? It's like, well, if he did, they're not going to come up. Yeah, and it's strange because however many of your friends like the movie or not, doesn't mean anything. Exactly. That's kind of what you're getting the at. The whole but thing is like, this, this doesn't matter. Like, you could have brought a busload of 100 people in and they all could have loved the film and made a cult around it. But doesn't mean anything. Knowing what his friends would come out thinking. So this point just doesn't hold up. IG then speaks about his service. Well, fucking wow, what wow, does he found that piece of art. That's he, they're, they're wow. Um, but they did their research yeah, on your avatar apparently. That's a. I think I've all, I've only posted that avatar once on Twitter. I think hmm. on like an, a long time ago. That's interesting. But um, just, yeah. The point is, if they yeah, he you can so you can show everyone how many times you hit the bullseye. Of his value immediate experiences with the film. The first viewing, I was genuinely unsure on my. I'm sorry. Okay, see if Tro was here, I have to. I beg him. Do you not understand how hilarious it is that he says, "On my third viewing, I wasn't bored." <laughs> it's the most like. I can't Gosh, wait when we I get for that bit. It's so funny. Sign me up. It's just like, what do you? What kind of? What? If <laughs> you weren't bored, okay. Feelings, but I had an overall positive outlook and vibe. The second viewing, I had a much- Yeah, it's like, there's so little to go by here. Well, th yeah, this is surface level, uh, initial, uh, vague feelings. And you could be like, that's what he's sharing. You'd be like, but why? Yeah, this is like, once you once you walk out of the, the theater, here, write your thoughts on this fortune cookie, quick. And you'd be like, uh, it's, a, it's like a, a six on the emotional scale of happy. And you're like, okay, good. Thank you. And then you watch it again. Uh, it's like a five now. And then the third time you go, you know what? I don't want to use a number. I was not bored. <laughs> it's like, okay. Feeling I had an overall positive outlook and vibe. The second viewing, I had a much better time. The third time, I just had a good experience and was never bored. This vex. <laughs> <laughs> this 
this of course this vexes rags how does this not vex you exactly it's such a it's nothing that's nothing like what are we supposed to do with that right who clearly desires a more substantive argument and maybe yes. he spent too much time around people who like Mauler do seem for seem reviews that is no discredit why you don't need to do okay if you you've been brought up you have been brought up but but, but the, the, he's he's saying like okay Mola, he does his scene for scene reviews uh i had everything he's sharing initial reaction it's like but i had everything knows how to be substantive he's done it before yeah, and i'm not this is the typical quite frankly stupid shit that i hate seeing is that oh you you wanted more than this extremely short vague thing you must have wanted a scene for scene yeah review of the film as if there's no middle ground, which is yeah, funny to bring up. Yeah, there's no middle ground. If I, if I thought that the idea that you went in and on your third viewing, you said you weren't bored, and I think that wasn't all that much, and so your takeaway from that is that I needed a scene-for-scene scene review of the film? I swear, right? Like, dude, if, seriously? If you watched a new film, and I was like, what do you think? And all you told me was you went bored, I'd be like, fucking... Go on. That means the film is probably bad. <laughs> if the, if the only it, thing I come out thinking. Saying I was not bored sounds like criticism. It's like, well, I wasn't yeah, bored. Yeah, it's like, well, I mean, what can I say? I I wasn't bored. <laughs> Make Credit to Mauler, his video is a very film. valued take, and five hours of detail is highly commendable, but no one is entitled to that level he of detail. He thinks I'm entitled to that, he thinks that <laughs> I'm entitled to Mauler level reviews and this... Fuck off, I, I can think, see I why you want this garbage video. I was gonna say, I don't know how he extrapolated that from you, that you were like, I demand a Mauler level analysis from I hate everything. It's like, she, because if it's, it's either a three word review or it's Mauler level, there is well, nothing in between. To give you an example, because I'm subscribed to I, 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 hate, I hate everything still, and he released a video very recently, like a couple days ago, yeah, uh, The Quest for the Best, where he reviews five films in 27 minutes. So... Let's break that up. Uh, what's what's twenty seven divided by five? It's about five. Let's say about five, five minutes of film with some intro and outro. So he says more in those five minutes per vi uh, film than he does in this entire seventeen minute. I think it was video for the Last Jedi. Rags's criticism is not that he did not uh, speak about what he wanted. It was that he's wasting fucking time in this whole video. Yeah, what if you are trying to defend a film and you say, on my third viewing, I wasn't bored? <laughs> that isn't and this that's the thing. not good. He actually uses some arguments. Of, I'm not going to say soon. Let's say eventually. Yeah, later. I yeah, never, he, he says he, he, he actually references real things that happen and says why they're good. The, the, that's what we call substance versus saying, I wasn't bored. Okay, <laughs> hopefully yeah, we're clear like, on that now. It's like a child went in to see Star Wars and wrote this down, and then the third time I wasn't bored. <laughs> You'd be like, Carlton, you need to be more specific, okay? And he's like, but I wasn't bored. But I don't want to make a five-hour review. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't say it. It is just a selfless blessing. And on top of that, some people don't want that sort of content. We That's okay. Stop with this tangent. That's not what Rags was saying. We don't want a world of more. Some just want to... Let me reference me again, as if Rags was asking for five hours. I hear a quick yeah. rundown, and whether you want to hear it or not, other people. I love how you've already referenced. You watched what was it like thirty videos, and some of them are going to be like five minutes. Yeah, which some is of them shorter, are pretty short. shorter than I hate everything. Just want to hear someone casually expressing their opinions. People are criticizing what isn't there. How is? I'm sorry. <sighs> <sighs> I wasn't bored. Is that like a? Is that a really interesting opinion to to get across to people? Like genuinely, yeah, it's if... subjective. Sure. But what, what is your take, TRO, on someone saying, I wasn't bored? If you make a video in your defense of the film, because you're kind of starting to get into actually defending the film, sort of, and you start off by saying kind of what you felt and stuff like yeah. that. And so you say, I watched it three times. First off, that would give a lot of people, reasonably, the impression that you have some, you know, you really know the film inside and out. You saw it three times. That's a lot. That's more than I've seen the film. Mm. But... I would also expect more than at the end of the third viewing of this whole film, I wasn't bored. Yeah, I and think that's that what it comes most back to. Would reasonably think that that's a little lacking. He's pushing this to like places with talk about fucking putting words. You're putting words in I had everything's mouth. It's like, what are yeah, you doing? Jesus.
uh, rather than what is from an idealistic standpoint. Is all about one's issue. Oh, and to, yeah, so to clarify, the sentence was, I genuinely had a good time and I was never bored. It's, it's so it's not just saying he wasn't bored, but uh, yeah, it was another there was another meaningless thing attached to it, yes. Well, yeah, had a good time. It's like, sure, is again, okay? this is so what I would call placid. It's just like, but even then, that doesn't have anything to do with the film's quality. I mean, like, that's why you can watch the room well, and have a good time again. That would just be questioning what what is supposed to be yeah, aiding overall, isn't quality? it? Quality, what, what do you, yeah, what exactly, what, what part of quality are you looking for? Assumed expectation, and this is something that we'll talk about later with regards to The Last Jedi. I went into this video expecting I hate everything to talk about the film at hand, with some good production value and intriguing opinions. I got what I expected. Sure, he plays. I didn't. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, didn't I was really. just as much a fan of him as you were, Tiaro. Emphasis on the response, but the response was still relative to The Last Jedi, and the midsection was still filled with his thoughts on it, so I can't really complain on that behalf. As a general premise, you draw these expectations from previous videos from the YouTuber and videos as a concept. YouTube is. I don't need to know what kind of videos he makes to point out that what he says in a video is lacking. Not only that, what is TRO saying here? It's like, Rags, you have a standard, and just because he didn't reach that standard, that does not mean that you should criticize. Yeah, I mean, like, my standard is not exactly high. I yeah, mean, I was going to say, now, but just I just wanted something. Talk about something substantive, that's it. That's all Rags wants. Yeah, someone said, are you, are we being told how to properly watch YouTube now? Different people. IHG may speak more about the nitpicks, but that doesn't make his points invalid, especially as he acknowledges them as nitpicks. I don't think Rags said his yeah. thing was invalid. Uh, uh, he might do later on, but he certainly hasn't said it so far. Yeah. He never declares there to be no reasonable criticism of the film. His implication is that there is a disproportionately high amount of people overreacting to the- Yes, and he lumps in the people who are being very reasonable and calm in with the people who are threatening death. Like, that's the, that's the whole point that Rags is making. And, and this whole thing is a fucking non sequitur. Exactly, what has this got to do with what we were just covering? Yeah, this is just like, words, pictures, things. Like, this has the nothing Star Wars to do with film. what I'm saying. There may be Reasons that explain that mentality, but it doesn't necessarily mean that there are reasons that make that mentality right. And IHG is not inherently wrong to criticize it. I'm and not I don't saying think he... <laughs> Since when did Rags say that? I'm not saying you're wrong to criticize it. Saying that it's wrong to criticize isn't the same as your criticism specifically can be wrong. Also, the stop referencing this making... screenshot. The screenshot does not help you. Yeah, stop using it. Ugh. And correct, Imbud, my standards aren't high for this purpose right here. Obviously, it if I'm gonna like... I mean, my standards for everything aren't low, but mm. sometimes, with like a YouTube video, my standards will be lower than, you know, who I'm gonna marry or something like that. Ob everybody has different standards for everything, obviously. Comrade Moscovich. ...your platform to be angry that he's chosen to address that. It moves towards this Puritan narrative where Puritan people say narrative. what we... Really, Tiero? Really? We're going... Okay, I'm just gonna ignore that one. ...we should be doing rather than how well we're doing it. And if he had implied that we were somehow going to get something that we subsequently didn't, then there may be cause for complaint. But he never... This is an insane overanalyzation of things that were never said. Yeah, like, I feel like we're being forced to repeat ourselves because it's the same shit. Uh, yeah, like, this Rags is... Th did not say, I hate everything was supposed to do X, and he did Y. Rags is criticizing what I had everything put forward. Yeah, I never said anything really about what I, I, I... I'm not really specific a lot of the times about what I want, because it's almost like what what you want oftentimes is kind of like... Um, a good analogy would be like you're at a buffet. You mm. don't know exactly how much you're going to eat, so you don't know exactly how much to put on the plate. But once you've had enough, you know you're there. Yeah. He never gave you any analysis. promises. This is just his opinion. You're not entitled to too much else. And this is just Rags' opinion. <sighs> yeah, I don't think that his his three micro reviews, if you could call them that, I thought they were hilarious because of how bad that's, they were and how much they didn't help his point. That's where I'm at with those. I feel like if Tiaro, if none of this had happened, and Tiaro was just watching that video with me, and I like pointed that out. I feel like he'd just agree. He'd be like, "Yeah, that. I don't know why he just said that. That was weird." But like, because this has been built up as a sort of war between these content creators, it's like he's having to defend even the stupidest stuff. Like, if you guys ever catch me saying, "And you know what? I went to see Venom for a third time, and I wasn't bored in my review of Venom," 
I'd just be like, you can ask me why I threw that in there, and I could be like, oh shit, yeah, I probably should have gotten that out in a redraft, because it just doesn't add anything to anything. But again, it's just his opinion, Rags, so you can't criticize him, but then, this is just your opinion, so TRO can't criticize you. But then, that's just his opinion, so we can't criticize his video. I guess it just goes on forever. I guess we have to close the stream down. Especially when his feelings are based on initial viewings. You complain that his responses on his viewings are too casual, but many people don't Yep, but this isn't this is, I hate doing everything that. we're talking about. He made about. a video when he like edited it and he uploaded it and it was a time after. It's like he's not actually walking out of the theater here. He's made it he made a YouTube video. Come out of first viewings immediately with notes taken. He's expressing what he felt at the time, because that's a part of his style. Okay, I don't care if other people enjoy it. It was really not that good for his video. It didn't yeah, help that's not, his point. Again, that's not really what Rags was saying. Rags didn't say nobody enjoyed I Hate Everything's video. <laughs> like, yeah. Why would he? Yeah, but not I, every I film care. is better on the second viewing, and it's not a widely accepted view as IHE says. The second viewing, I had a much better time. It's widely accepted that the film is a lot better the second time. <laughs> is it? <laughs> oh, it's such a stupid um, myth, and I swear it got propagated just to give the fucking film more sales. Like, what was- what is it that- you know, like, there's films like The Prestige, even Ex Machina, there's, there's a couple of others, where, um, watching it a second time allows you to understand more about the narrative or what's- what's occurring, let's say, even though that's a very Welsh saying. Uh, what about The Last Jedi makes more sense or congeals better after a second viewing. And I'm not saying that it's impossible to enjoy it more on a second viewing. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying, what what can you reference in the what film about it that functions better after that. you see it for the second time rather than the first? Yeah, like, if you're trying to convince somebody that it is better on a second viewing, what would you use to convince somebody of that? Ugh. Oh, is, is that a widely accepted thing? I, I had no idea, honestly. But then somehow goes on to imply that Aichi was somehow being dishonest as people who go and watch it a second time must be only people who really like it. I mean, I would imagine that if people really- But well, that's- that's a perfectly reasonable conclusion. The people who are seeing yeah. it for a second time probably liked it already. Yeah, that is a very reasonable thing. Why like, would I go and pay think... to see it again if I hated it? <laughs> like, what... well, yeah, of course. It's like, that's fucking common sense. If you hate the film, why would you pay again, especially with how expensive movies are, to see it again, to go through an experience that you hated? The, uh, Plus, fuck this loud-ass music. <laughs> really didn't like it at all. They wouldn't go and pay to see it a second time. The only people who would see it multiple times are probably people who really liked it. Mm -hmm. But okay, I guess. Which is weird considering Aichi has said he just wanted a more concise view on his feelings of the film. Yeah, but he, he said, said that, that he liked accepted. it after his first viewing. He said it's commonly accepted that the film is better on a second viewing, which is bullshit because it comes from people who probably liked it already. Do you understand yeah. Rags' point? And remember, IHE said he liked it after his first viewing. IHE said that. Uh. I'm going by what he said. Did you not listen to the words coming out of my cartoon And there is no doggy. reason to contradict that statement whatsoever, other than an attempt to present him as... He literally did say that. <laughs> I'm going by what... He said, TRO, this video is awful. Why aren't you listening to me? More biased than he actually Ugh. is, so we can rain down heavier criticism on Aichi. Rags then disputes- It was completely fair criticism from my perspective, but there we are. Aichi's point that The Last Jedi isn't a remake of The Empire by referencing an article that notes its similar plot points. In both The Last Jedi and The Empire Strikes Back, we follow our heroes on a single ship on the run through space from The Empire, or First Order's most powerful capital ships. Meanwhile, Luke and Rey are off on remote planets learning the ways of the Force from Jedi Masters yep. who are pretty cagey about taking on new pupils at first. Both Luke Plot and points Rey aren't are what comprise a film. Um, I'm sorry, oh. is he playing <laughs> your video alongside speaking? Was that what was just he happening? Was. So we have the loud ass music, we have me talking, and then Christ. him talking over me. Ugh. Like, let's just get I'm just that. Saying from an editing standpoint, is like, oof. Let's get that. I had. Do you know why I paused? I was like, "Rags, you're talking over the video." Nope. <laughs> and also, on no. also, um, I think in IHE's video, he said that there wasn't. He said that there were similarities made between the Last Jedi plot and the plot of uh, The Empire Strikes Back. He said that wasn't true, and so I just f googled it. Yeah, no, and, because there is. Yeah, there's a lot of visual references as well. Um. 
the, 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 like I, I think I said it on the stream we did all the way back when about Star Wars, where I was annoyed that when they go through like the crystal cave bit and it's all like, oh, it's so close, oh, will they make it? It's a complete redo of the final run in uh, uh, Return of the Jedi. And they play the same music as well. And I was like, so it's it's blatant then. They're doing the same thing. And that's that's one of the Vega references. The ones you're referencing are pretty much just one for one. Yeah, I just went to the Nerdist. It's like, you can explain this thing, and it's the same scenes. Pupils at first. Both Luke Plot and Plot points Ray aren't are what comprise a film alone, and although I would- I can't believe he's got music, his voice, and your voice at the same time. What the fuck? That's- yeah, I don't know, man. Get better people to edit your stuff. I would agree um, that there were some ever. similar narratives that ran slightly too close. I certainly wouldn't say that it can be induced that the film was just a quote remake of the other. On top I don't wait. Did you say it was a remake of Empire? Or did you remember. say it has I can't remember, but you know, based off and plus he cut me off. Like I keep going. <laughs> like over the similarities. Like well, this, he the didn't let he didn't let my thing finish, because I keep going on and on from this article about all the ways that they're similar. He didn't let that play out. Mm. Probably cool. because yeah. it would make me look right. We don't We don't need that getting in the way, Rex. Friends was in know. fact praising the movie as staying true to the original themes and responding to criticism that it's themes. too Hang on a minute. Sure <laughs> <laughs> staying true to a theme and literally ripping scenes and plot is the two different things. We could argue that the theme is the same in episodes 4, 5, and 6, but they're not the same films. Yeah, I mean, look, if you're trying to convince somebody that these, like, if there, there are two oppo opposing sides of the argument, that these two films are similar in their structure, yes or no, and I come out saying, all right, here's a scene-by-scene -scene comparison that I found, and I'm just going to give you the list from Nerdist.com, da 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 happens, and mm. this happens, and this happens, and this, and it has side-by-side -side pictures of the scenes and explanations, and you're like, oh yeah, well, that's not everything. Dude, look at the chat. I realize how much Thebes is a trigger word for our audiences. <laughs> Thebes. <laughs> Thebes. Thebes. Well, what? Different. Rags even hold acknowledges hold that the strike. I need to pee. I'll be right back. All Talk right. about everyone in chat. Discuss themes. The beautiful, wonderful themes. That's, a, that's like three times Rags gone to the toilet. I haven't even done it once yet. It looks like the bladder power is over in Britain compared to America. That is confirmation. Should we talk about the theme of bladders, guys? I feel like if you made a movie that was really bad, but you had the theme of bladdery, bladicorous, it's like a spell, and uh, I feel like that would save the movie, personally. Ripping off equals themes. <laughs> My themes! Narrative triplets! <laughs> I love Predator's themes of weaponizing autism. Yeah, see? They are different themes, but they didn't even steal the same scenes. Uh, which is cringy more? Just Right fans or Disney Murray Sue defenders? Uh, I don't know. You can get all kinds of cringe on both elements, including this probably cringy people in our own fan bases. You never know. I'm here. All right. Yeah. Here we go. Structure is similar. Um, I mean, the structure. So we can't hold this pee. Well, I'm actually doing. Um, in less than a month, I'm going to the Grand Canyon to do a rim to rim hike. Mm. And so the I'm drinking a shit ton of water because it helps you prepare for the elevation. Because I live in Arkansas and we are not very high up, and the Grand Canyon is very high up. Well, um, that explains the plot hole. Yeah, Everyone was I like, am, you must I'm have a shit ton of water. the bladder of an, like, the size of an acorn, and that just doesn't... Because, like, I'm telling you, I, I drink water like a fish, but, um, there you go. It's good for you. Drink water. My pee is, like, it comes in clear, it goes out clear, man. That's how it is. <laughs> Beautiful. But isn't this... I, I, yeah, I've had that. When you drink shit tons of water, it's just like, wait... Like, I, I don't even know if I need to flush or not. That's the thing, man. <laughs> Yeah, probably safe to just just give it the old flush, you know, just just you know. Fact yeah, praising the movie as staying true to the original themes and responding to criticism that it's too different. Rags even acknowledges that the structure is so it stays true to the original themes and if, it has a. I think we're gonna have difference. to go back because I'm lost yeah. already. Luke and Ray are off on remote planets, learning the ways of the Force from Jedi masters who are pretty cagey about taking on new pupils at first. Both Luke plot and points Ray aren't are what comprise a film Dark alone, and although I would agree that there were some similar narratives. Plot points Stop. don't comprise a film alone. What Rags is describing is the plot. This That's is the plot. That's a pretty titanic bit of a film is the plot. And the chase, that takes care of basically everything up to crate. 
and Crate is a ripoff of Hoth, and then Luke's story is a ripoff of Yoda's. That is the entire film except for Canto Bite. Oh, also I mean, them on the, pretty, on the supremacy or whatever. I mean, it's pretty. It's pretty tough to listen to all that and be like, "Yeah, they weren't. They, they weren't." Also, yeah, that's really cheap. I'm gonna say it. That's really cheap. Uh, Rags goes on to basically throw out the entire story being a rip from the the article, and Tiaro's cut him off to say, "Just taking the plot points time, doesn't comprise a film." Yeah, for the first time, he does like a fade out effect. Like he, I could go, I I go on and on, but he doesn't let me. The th theme of plot. Just that ran slightly too close. I certainly wouldn't say that it can be theme induced that the film theory. was just a quote <laughs> remake of the other. I, he says a quote remake. Did you say remake? Because uh, obviously The Last I Jedi isn't a complete remake. Cause it's, yeah, it's not a complete remake, but shit, man. That plot is yeah. really, really skipping over the same beats and doing the same thing. They're clearly dancing to the same tune here. On top of this, the article he referenced was in fact praising the movie as staying true to the I original. Don't care. That doesn't matter if it was. Pra that doesn't <laughs> matter if it was praising or castigating it. That would We're be not like talking about me saying Cantabite's terrible. Listen to this account of it, and you see the account, and then it turns out that was a part of a video where they said the film is great apart from Cantabite. Yeah, it's like the it's similarity like, exists whether you think it's good or not. Very odd point to make. Themes. I'm responding to criticism that it's too different. Rags even acknowledges that the structure is similar. I mean, the structure is really, really, really similar. But a film doesn't require just structure to qualify as a remake. I, I, I'm still con Did you say it was a remake? I can't, I can't. I don't know. It was months and months this, ago. This I entirely relies on. The fact that you just said that it's similar instead of saying it's exactly the same means really, to me you probably really, didn't say really it was a remake. Similar, yeah. I mean, it's really, really, really similar. And besides, I don't know, it feels a little bit, like, <laughs> pedantic to be like, it's not a complete remake unless it's literally everything is the same. It's like, of course, no film is going to be the, you know, like, uh, Psycho got remade in 2001, I think, from 19, like, 60-something, and it's a shot-for-shot -shot remake, but it still has stuff that's different in it. You know, like, there's, there's a scene where something slightly different happens, like, like, see? Not a remake, because it's not entirely the same. I would be interested... Like, at this point, like, what really is the big differences between the two other than, like, just general competence? And, like, I, I don't know, in, in Microcosm, this just seems to be you pointing out that I Hate Everything is wrong to say that it's not ripping from the original. But if I Hate Everything's point was originally, it's not a complete remake, it would be like, well, yeah, but... Even then, <laughs> I could be like, yeah, but it's close. Ooh, it's close. Like, way to, way to shove off criticism. Like, you know, Force Awakens, it's not a complete remake of Episode 4. But everyone accepts that it's a complete fucking remake of Episode 4, you know what I mean? Yeah. Then there's just some pointless back and forth, Aichi says, But at the very least, you have to admit, this is something new for the franchise. Ugh. No one saw this story coming. The film gave us something different, and Rags takes advantage of the low-hanging fruit to express his disappointments with the film. I mean, people expected things to be done, characters to be expanded upon, relationships to be made, arcs to be developed, rivalries to be fostered, some cool, interesting information that maybe was a callback to something that we might have previously been hinted about, but no, there was none of that. And even if you hate the last- That was low-hanging fruit? That was low-hanging fruit? That's an off- that's an off- that's not a very nice thing to say about I hate everything. Yeah, I was actually yeah. that was gonna be my first point Outside of the fact that I don't think it was low-hanging fruit to actually refer to I hate everything's point as yeah, Something that's so even, easy to counter. I don't know. <laughs> why mention how high this fruit is or not? He said it. Should I have ignored it? Also, I don't After know why you sped up your exists. voice I guess because yeah, they did yeah, comment it, on how they find your voice annoying to listen to at the beginning. Maybe that's what that is. I guess I don't know. I don't know why that makes it any less annoying, but it's weird that he would bring up this point after saying, "Well, I mentioned those comments because they exist." Mm. So why does it matter how high the fruit is? After all, it exists. It's a high <laughs> claim. There's some more complaints from Rags about how he hasn't spoken about the film yet. For perspective, we would be four minutes into IHE's video. That's not a particularly long introduction segment for an approximately twenty-minute video. It's just long when you interject in every fucking sentence. Kind of like how you're doing right now. Yeah, why is this supposed to, yeah. I don't even agree with him that you shouldn't interject, but that's yeah. what he's doing. I will interject whenever I have something to say, and yeah. first off, why are you criticizing me for the film or for the video that you wanted? Also implying that every not every sentence is important, that he scripts and he's like, yeah. this is some of the shitty sentences, you don't need to respond to them.
But yeah, yeah this, no, is this is silly is coming very... from TRO. He's very usually meticulous, especially with this video. So don't. Yeah, this was very bad. This. Ugh. Rags is then annoyed that Aichi explained his cinema experience rather than a formal review. All right, you said you were going to talk. No, stop reframing what Rags is doing. It's really getting tiresome. It's like, Rags, you're just upset that he's not doing exactly what you want to do. It's like, no, I hate everything opened with saying the response to The Last Jedi has been, what do you say, malicious and sim overly simplistic. And then references a bunch of people with legitimate points in that little screenshot. And then ties everyone together in it. And then says he wasn't bored while watching it. It's... It's an awful video. Talk about your thoughts about the movie, but you said so little. What do you expect for us to take away? In spite of the fact that we're around four and a half minutes in, and he will later embellish these All narratives. Right, so my question stands. Yeah, the question stands. The question stands. Like, what are we supposed to take away by from what you just said? And he's he's qualified it as an intro. That four minutes. What, are we supposed to take nothing from an intro? Yeah. Why make him? Oh, it'd be, it'd be, it's just, if he talked, if he said something, I mean, normally when you say something, you want people to take something away from it. So I'm like, what did you want us to take away from what you said? Clearly just your opinion there, right? I guess. Once again, that's Aichi's style. Aichi, then. It's his style to say nothing in his introductions. Oh. Okay. <laughs> it's. I, I, I like to think I give IHE a little more credit than Tro does. Yeah. And says, I'd like to think people who genuinely hate Star Wars wouldn't waste their time going to see it. Rags, what the fuck? Why is it? See, it's immediately like, stop framing it like the people who hated it just hated it because they hate Star Wars. That's not. And you could be like, that's not what I had everything said. You'd be like, ugh. Fine. Oh. Points out this, this video's early bad. statement and seems to imply that this might contradict it. Well, you clearly think that they did, based on what yeah. you said at the beginning of this video. But it does not. Let's put the two sentences together. It comes across okay. as if some people go into the movie expecting to hate it, although I would like to think the people who genuinely hate Star Wars wouldn't. They're not contradictions as they're both built on conditions. IG then expresses that he is a fan of movies first and a fan of Star Wars secondly. Rags acknowledges this and expresses his own feelings on it. Well, that makes a little bit of sense. I felt like Ryan Johnson was giving Star Wars the middle finger. Seemingly positioning himself as a Star How? Wars fan first. How is that putting myself as a Star Wars fan first? Yeah, no, what Rags is saying is that if you're a fan of films before Star Wars, The Last Jedi will be easier to consume. Yeah, I have no idea how that is in any way a contradiction. Yeah, that, well, he, he say that means that Rags is a fan of Star Wars before <sighs> uh, films. It's like, to, no, it's yeah, not what Rags to said. Say that, to say that Ryan Johnson treated the series disrespectfully means that I'm a Star Wars fan before a movie fan? That doesn't make any sense. Aichi then says, I think this perspective is important because I feel like I, and many others, are looking at this movie in a totally different lens to a lot of other people. And Rag strawmans uh -huh. this on the basis of his you earlier statements talk. about how Aichi must have only liked the pretty visuals and nothing else. You wanted to see pretty graphics and it has Star Wars in it, so it must be good. Gotcha. I don't know I the context of that, so I, I can't say either way. Uh, like, I legitimate with him with him talking and stuff. I don't know where one video begins and one doesn't, and if the two things are together. That's the thing. Like that's why I like my format so much better because it's so much more simple. Oh yeah, like, just you play know video, respond, play video, ends. respond. But uh, what I got from that is I hate everything. Says I went into this film with a particular lens. And then implying that's why he didn't hate it, like compared to other people who did. And then you respond with, oh yeah, the lens of you want to see pretty visuals and blah, 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 blah. Okay, gotcha. Like it's obviously you're being coy again because you're implying that his point is kind of worthless. He said, it, it would be like, this film is being hated by people. But if I go into it, I don't hate it because I'm looking at it through a particular lens. It's like, what even point are you making? And you, you filled in a blank that obviously you did- I doubt if you had asked yourself in that very moment, did I hit everything say that he only likes it for the pretty visuals? You'd be like, obviously well, not. no, but again. It's like, because it's universally pretty much agreed that things like the effects and the cinematography are amazing across the spectrum. Yeah. And those aren't exactly um, controversial things to say at this point. Which, herein is the problem with this video's self-awareness. He criticizes you for not giving I had everything enough benefit of the doubt and putting things in his mouth, etc. And it's like you're doing the exact same thing to Rags. Yeah, that's the thing. I'm like some and people in the comments or in the in the chat are saying is like I don't 
it's hard to get a context of what I'm saying to what because the editing is so confusingly done. Yeah. Like, I mean, it's hard to tell. Remember, the, like the line. His defenses have included I hate everything as being um, hyperbolic. He's joking. Or he said, uh, what was the one? Uh, sympathetic or something? Something to do with feelings? Sentimental? That's the one. So sentimental, joking, and hyperbolic. He's used those as defenses for I hate everything. So how can we not apply them to everything you're saying? You were being hyperbolic in your response to him just then, deliberately. That's, that would be my assessment. So I'm curious how Tiaro would be able... Basically, he sells as much benefit of the doubt to I hate everything as he can, and he takes as much as he can away from you. Clearly. And that's not I mean, it's, very It's pretty consistent. clear whose side who's on, but we should know that because... And I can I, and I can see why the right opinion had a hand to play in IHE's video. Yeah, which is a video Star Wars that I. Fans. If you are a true Star Wars fan, you'd hate what this movie did. Ugh. I see so many comments exclaim. Yeah, it's silly for people on the internet to decide who and who isn't a true fan of something. Which once again racks questions. Why is this music so loud? <laughs> and what the hell's the tone of it like? Dun 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 dun. dun, 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 dun. <laughs> That like, yeah, it's silly. I'm not saying that's that's not an argument that he's wrong. Who, who, who isn't a true that's not an argument that's wrong. Oh, shit, sorry. <laughs> there you go. Right. It's not a, I'm not saying it's an argument that he's wrong. I'm saying this is annoying editing. Stop. Whoever edited this part, stop. Silly for people stop on it. the internet to decide who and who isn't a true fan of something. Again, why are you finding these comments? Well, by what me by what standard? Yeah, obviously you fucking idiot. If they're there, it's because he chose to put them there. Fucking stupid idiot. As, as if Why? Rags is disputing that. Like, Ugh, Yes, I'm just, yes, I, I couldn't have figured out the right opinion. I couldn't have figured out that the reason they're in your video is because you put them in your video. Yeah, fucking brilliant analysis. It's not what I'm asking. They it's exist, obviously Rags. obviously a doctored screenshot. You know that video I released randomly of just a corpse rotting on the road? They were like, why did you release that? It exists. Because I decided to. It exists. I uploaded the video, that's why. Ah, oh, this is just not an argument. It feels like Rags is annoyed at having to agree with him, so he has to take issue even when there isn't one. He no, because this is a repeat what? of before. Rags is commenting again on how I Hate Everything brings in these extremely hyperbolic and stupid comments to respond to, and then also be like, negative response. You see? Negative response is ridiculous. It's like, no. Yes. <laughs> Jeez. And the, ah, uh, the, the idea that you can, is that you can unironically say it's there because he decided to put them there. No fucking shit, Sherlock. He then says, which you yourself try to paint as irrelevant and not worthy of your time. When from my perspective, it was just a joke. He then there you oh, go okay. again. Well, it's, oh, well, if he's, okay. Well, if he is joking, I wish I could joke. I wish, I wish, I, I I wish Rags would get that. that benefit, yeah. It would be nice if Rags <sighs> got that every once in a while, but never mind. Then claims, and even though you address these kinds of things so much in this video instead of the actual criticism. Yeah, and Rags is right. He simultaneously yeah. puts look how look how irrelevant this comment is. He's put negative four million votes on it. But then he's also saying this is everywhere. This is the thing we need yeah, to respond to. Yeah, it's like is he saying by putting negative four hundred thousand or whatever, he's saying that nobody agrees with it, nobody ever would agree with it, and how minuscule and pointless it is. Like he himself, through this edit he made, is saying that it's ridiculous and it shouldn't have attention paid to it. But he's paying it so much attention. And I'm like, yeah, when's the criticism of, like, the film gonna start? Like, mm. are you gonna say anything that, like, matters, or... Criticism for the movie? As if his video, which is initiating discussion on a general topic and highlighting the toxicity of debates, is meant to address every single last criticism. Rags, once again, seems to think that these com- No, Rags just wanted you to address the reasonable ones, the ones with merit. He made that very clear. He said the word merit. Fuck you. <laughs> As if Rags wants you to fucking respond to every single criticism that ever existed about yes, this film. I want you, yeah, obviously, obviously, I don't want you to spend all of your time talking about this silly, ridiculous comments that you yourself believe are so silly and ridiculous you edit them to look so. Comments are either uncommon or non-existent. Rags then says IHG is avoiding things that should be talked about. You are clearly avoiding things that should be talked about. It's Star Wars, not a fucking missile crisis. Who are you to decide what should and should not be talked about? It depends on what the context If you want to oh, hear yeah, some- absolutely. If you're going to say, let's talk about the quality of The Last Jedi. Okay, well, there's some subjects we should cover. And it's like, who the fuck are you to say who someone should talk- what you should talk about? 
And like, isn't it? Is it I, I would maybe I'm giving people like Tro the the benefit of the doubt. Maybe giving I'm giving them too much credit by thinking that we can come together and decide what is valid criticism or not. You know, like some nobody on the internet with no subs who made a comment months ago that hasn't gotten any attention exactly that doesn't have any substance to it it's like yeah can i think nor most people can agree that we can ignore that and instead move to things like videos that talk about the plot issues or the character issues or the pacing issues or the editing mistakes so i guess i gave him too much credit <laughs> someone just said the guys lie he should be responding to everything since they exist yeah, that's true. They do that's exist. Yeah. We'll talk about a film more in depth, then go and watch another video. You can't dictate what their topic should be. Yeah, that's not, not what Rags did, so. Yeah, it's not what you can doing. discuss their execution all you want, but there is a difference. He has never declared this as an in depth review. Not every Doesn't I'm not fucking have to declare review. it when he's talking about the quality of the film. Yeah. What, what, uh, you, Wait, hold up. what is this music. nonsense as well? It's like he's just sharing his feelings, Rags. You can't criticize that. Oh, this is like an obsession with uh, the idea that Rags just wants something specific from the video when he can't stop highlighting uh, the need for substantive arguments. That's, that's what Rags is actually doing. Also, I think he's gone for something a sec. Who are you to choose who's relative in this discussion? But they exist. Do we exist? Does this chat exist? Oh, T-R-O. T-R-O. It's a very misguided video, like, um... It, 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 it would be interesting to see how this video would have looked if I was able to just talk to him for half an hour before it. That's, that's all that would have been required to dissolve most of this. Because I, I don't know why... I don't know why you'd want to choose this video from I Had Everything to Defend as well. It's just such a this dribble. Is a bad one. This is a bad one. And Everything. it's the way he defends it he does on his channel is a review and not everyone who is subscribed is subscribed for the care. reviews. That's not what Rags said anyway. Yeah, I Fucking don't hell. care why people are subscribed to whatever anybody. I don't, it doesn't matter. Looking at recent releases, Hunt Down the Freeman was just a discussion. YouTube in the news. That's was not, this is not I relevant. I, I don't care about any of that stuff. He's like, Rags is demanding things from the channel, assuming stuff based on this other video. It's like, no, Rags has already made it clear. Like, no. He's only seen this video. So I don't know what you're doing here. As a thought piece, the only things that are always actual views are his search for the worst series, and even then he doesn't discuss every element. Okay. This channel doesn't this take- doesn't counter anything Rag said. These topics yeah, too seriously. The title random. suggests that it's I ate everything and he talks about The Last Jedi. That's pretty much what you got- <laughs> I'm not expecting him- I'm not expecting him to expect me to like it. It's ridiculous, why are you- why this long tangent that doesn't mean anything? Rag said he should talk about specific things to do with the film, like criticisms, if he's going to be making statements about the, the, the film's quality. And th this is the thing, like, we've gone over plenty of this video to imply that I Hate Everything is doing an assessment of sorts. And we've already covered as well, he said that the people in that screenshot were being malicious and overly simple. And it's like, well, you're not even addressing their arguments. If you're yeah, going to say that I they're overly love... simple... Fucking address their arguments and explain how. I would love to have some arguments about this film be presented, man. Instead of just Fuck. shitting on all these people and then being Jeez. like, it's his video rags. He can do as he wishes. Yes. God, whether you like it or not. If he presented this as an in-depth critique, maybe your qualms would be more justified. Oh, as you. if. As if he did that, you'd still be making this fucking video. Yeah, you reach. But I beckon you to find where he premised that. Rags then talks about this brand movie distinction in response to IHE's facetious claim that no one hates Star Wars. That's not, that's an incorrect uh, usage of the word facetious, but that's okay. Don't Star Wars more than Star Wars fans. Referencing Mauler's theory. I guess it is true that no one quite hates Star Wars <sighs> as much as Star Wars fans. Mauler, who I spoke of earlier, wrapped up his trilogy of criticism videos on The Last Jedi with this message. It seems very appropriate here. Ultimately, Star Wars as a movie made people fall in love with a fictional world and its characters. As a byproduct, they fell in love with a brand. That brand lives on today. And now, Star Wars as a brand is making people fall in love with the movies in a most shallow and empty way. It doesn't matter what it is anymore just as long as it's called Star Wars. Which, as a theory, must I say, is a damn interesting one, but a theory nonetheless, unless you present... Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, my God. 
<laughs> I want, he wants me to. Go, he wants you like, to get a, present I, irrefutable I evidence that people like Star Wars for shallow reasons in relation to the oh franchise God. being made into products and merchandising. Oh my God. Go for it, Rags. Make that video. Man, it's why don't you just take the theory and like talk? Tell me what you think about it. Give me something. Give, give me instead of saying, "Well, unless you can prove it empirically, you're not gonna." Maybe he will say something about it. But if he doesn't, I'm like, man, that's just so dismissive. Mm. B. However, it doesn't seem particularly relevant from my point of view. As I said, I do not think that Aichi is in love with the brand from what has been witnessed, and it being used in I this do. way just. Seems well, he kind of admitted that to me and Wolf. He said that. He likes the film in spite of its poor quality. That must be related to his love for Star Wars. It's like, there you go. Yep. Yes, Seems it's like one of those, yeah, straight from I ate everything's mouth. Tro, you are wrong. Well, he's, he's uh, Quinton says something later on, like, um, if Mola was to speak to I ate everything, all he would say is, that's an interesting perspective you have. That's your opinion. It's like, but that's not what even happened when we had our conversations. I get fucked. Yeah. It's like, you guys Technique. just say wrong things. This stuff's just wrong. It's just not correct. You say a thing, and it's like, nope, we've got it straight from the horse's mouth here. You're just wrong. ...to gaslight his opinions before they've even been stated. Then Aichi uses a Mark Hamill quote. It's only a movie. And if you think you're going to go into the movie and recapture your childhood, you're setting yourself up for disappointment. Which, once again, is summing up the message of his video. The sort of don't take it too seriously, guys. Yeah, that's an interesting take. Yeah. It's a very interesting Oof. take. When I, when I saw that clip from Mark Hamill after seeing the film, I was like, oh, oh, oh that's what that yeah. meant. This poor, broken man. <laughs> this poor, poor man. To take that as, you know, it's just going to take some risks, going to be an interesting film. It's like, hmm. That is Rags so responds cool. this with an onslaught of Mark Hamill interviews where he expressed doubt. Oh, you're going to bring Mark Hamill into this. Exactly, man. You're going to bring yeah. Mark Hamill into it. All right, let's play some other clips, shall we? <laughs> yeah. Maybe it's, I, huh? it's like this is pretty. Uh, this is pretty rough. If you're gonna bring up Mark Hamill and his opinions, all right, let's get into Mark Hamill and his opinions. Exactly. Before he okay. bowed down to Disney. Okay. Uh, no one can hear this. Nobody can fucking hear this shit. What's the point this in is... speeding up to the point where you can't even hear it? <laughs> here's the thing. <laughs> here's just skip. the thing. Tro, I'm gonna give you some advice. So this right here is bullshit what you do in this video right now if you're gonna play something then you play it to where it can be understood because if you don't that's slimy shit you understand if you're gonna the play is, stuff that he, the might, other he might not have edited this though i know but he proved he approved it no that yeah, you're right you're right about that it. yeah uh, but that's, that's, I'm more commenting on how interesting that dynamic is it's like he doesn't even have control over the clips that are being played well, we it's, assume. I'm, Maybe I'm it's in the script. You, Maybe it's in the script. A lot of Fs in the chat. I'm guessing they're for Mark Hamill. Yeah. But um, I'm telling you, look, if you're going to put this stuff in your video, I don't... It, it's it's just not... It's It doesn't give a good impression to the viewer that you're doing this from a good place. I mean, you know, at least it's like, the one, like, one time, but genuinely, like, let's, let's just give this a small rewind. Can you understand yeah. this? No. No idea. Character? I heard character. What's the like, fucking point in playing? You may as well have played yeah. one clip, clearly, instead you of might as well, sped up. You might as well have just censored my video. Because he can't understand him. You're playing the clip, but you sped it up to a point where people can't understand what he's saying. So as a result, these are points that I'm... This is a point that I am making in my video. This is a point that's supposed to have, like, substance and merit to it as a response to IHE bringing up Mark Hamill. And you're just going to play it in your video where people can't hear my side? That's scummy, dude. Yeah, I'm not sure I wouldn't if, do that. I, I think the what, goal here... I wouldn't here... do that to someone else. I mean, you could do it in your videos if you really want to, but I wouldn't do that to somebody else. I think the goal here is going to be that he's going to be like, look at all these clips he's played of Mark Hamill. Fine, but look at these clips. Like, everyone always uses the counter that Mark has now said that the film is good. So if that's what he's going to do, at least that has some form of design behind it, but it's still pretty shit to skip past these. Like, why even show them if you're going to do this? 
Oh man, this is, that's a great clip. He says that it doesn't matter if the movie is good as long as it makes money. I know that clip, but yeah. he just fucking skipped yeah, it. Yeah, I know that clip too. Remember kids, if you get into Hollywood, it doesn't matter how good it is or what the quality is. Well, the only thing that matters is that if it makes money. Yeah. And he's fucking on topic about Transformers and comparing it to The Force Awakens, which that's pretty heavy coming from so, Mark so Hamill. Someone saying that this is narrative tripling is when you triple the speed. <laughs> and listen, Hamill's character missed the mark for me on premise. However, most of these interviews followed through with context that Hamill was actually quite happy with the final product and that he no. did accept it. He no. Prove it. No. He didn't, he didn't have a chance. He had to accept it. That wasn't his decision to make whether he accepted it or not. And besides, the context that I remember from a lot of those clips is he'll end it by saying, but, you know, this is not Luke's story. This is not my movie. This is Ryan's movie. And I've there's even a clip where he says, this is 100% Ryan's movie, so if it's good, it's his fault. If it's bad, it's also his fault. And the thing is, if you're going to say that, right after playing the clips, but we can't understand them. I mean, how much more of an impact would it have had if you could actually hear Mark Hamill in my clips and then the right opinion said, oh, but he loves the film, it's great. Yeah, and talk about effectiveness for editing. You show the clip the rag shows, then you go, but how did that clip end? And you drag it from its source and show that immediately after Mark goes, but the film is amazing. And you'd be like, why did you clip that out, rags? That would be something. But what he did here, I don't even, I'm not even following, really. Like, this is like, oh, man, this is, like, scummy. Narrative tripling. Like, I, like I'm, I'm saying, I, you could make your videos however you want them, but I would never do this to somebody else. And maybe that's the difference between you and me. The right opinion. Maybe that's the big difference between you and me. You need to put more music in your videos, right? Loud Literally. music. And play someone else Loud. talking when you talk. Jesus. <laughs> even if he initially objected to it. And I think development of such is very interesting, so to frame it as just Hamill unequivocally hating it is kind of undermining the actual- No, Rag said, it's no. interesting you're playing some clips from Mark Hamill, let's play some other ones. I don't know if- did you say, Mark Hamill hates The Last Jedi, did you say that definitively? I can't remember. I don't know, it's just, even if you if did, I, if I'd I be had like- to choose between, If I had to choose between he hates it or he loves it, I'd say yeah, he hates it. Same, but I suppose it's- We can just say we're being hyperbolic, can't we? Yeah. We're being hyperbolic, Tiaro. In fact, we're joking. Yeah. Or uh, we're being sentimental. Yeah. One of those. complexity in his thoughts. The interviews with him are very interesting. We wouldn't, know because, are we, we wouldn't know because we couldn't hear him. But, oh, you know, we got a new editor in. Part edited by Happy Craft TV. Like the part coming up or the part I, that just No happened? idea, dude. <laughs> I don't know if... Well, let me give you some editing advice. <laughs> Clarify that, please. Ask if it's a mistake that you... Even if you said this part edited is like, you mean the upcoming part? Or is this part of the part See, that you just played? Or? Someone's brought it up in chat, and again, we did bring it up. It could be the fault of the editors, but it's like, that's... You can't do that. You have to accept that you're still responsible for the video. Yeah. It's on your channel. If I let somebody edit my video, and there's like full frontal nudity halfway through it, then I'm responsible because I didn't... Because I approved it. Yeah. He, Tiaro must have approved thing. the video. We have to assume that. YouTube search box feels to Mark Hamill hates The Last Jedi. Do you think it is a mistake for YouTube's algorithm to go ahead and not fill Mark Hamill to Mark Hamill hates The Last Jedi? But the search box is much more based on popular demand, what people think rather than what Mark Hamill thinks himself. From I don't think Rags said that's what Mark Hamill, this, that was based on what he thinks. Yeah, you just, you just highlighted it as a very interesting topic, thing. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm basically saying this is a very interesting thing. Because there ain't one for Mark Hamill loves The Last Jedi, which makes you think, hmm, why are so many people interested in Mark Hamill not loving The Last Jedi? In the whole interviews that I've seen, he genuinely seems passionate about the movie. And I think him stating his apprehensions just makes it more seem real. more real. And it's a shame that he's had to apologize for something that he shouldn't apologize for. Well, at least we agree on that. I mean, yeah, you shouldn't have had to apologize for saying the film betrays Jedi and Luke. <laughs> yeah, I'm all, I'm all for that. Yeah. I'll link lots of interviews in the description below, which have him expressing everything, good to bad. It's honestly really cool to see him be so upfront. And although I agree with Rags that he is a gem, I would not I say would. that he hates it. On top of that, I would not look that deeply into the clip that Aichi played, other than to reflect the message of Aichi's video rather hard. That's the problem. I had everything was like, see, we should listen to Mark Hamill. Don't take it so seriously. It's like, should we also listen to Mark Hamill when he says that it's like really bad for all yeah. these different reasons? Or should we ignore those bits? Because those bits get in the way. I don't know.
even the fact that Mark Hamill so conflicted, apparently, I mean, even that in and of itself is like cause for concern, or at least I think it should. Oh, be. yeah, dude, this clip where he like puts his head in his hand and he like shakes like, he's a bit. Fucking, that's a fucking broken ass man. And it's sad because like, everybody was, claps yeah. when he says that we're supposed to ignore the fans. It's like, what the fuck is happening? Harmlessly, is not that deep. Then Rags turns Aichi's narrative on him, he encourages Aichi to tell Mark Hamill what Aichi tells Rags and those who dislike the film. That A, he's taking it too seriously. We're taking it too seriously. I don't, I don't get the context of this. Yeah, I don't this is a, I, Talk about framing, like, I'm not... Is this what Rags says? I, I, uh, I don't why know what I'm responding to Why couldn't you just show the clip, Tiaro? Why couldn't you just show it? I'm, I'm legitimately confused as to what he's saying here. The I'm editing makes it unclear. So what you said, this is a complete assumption here, I'm going to assume what you said was, hey, I hate everything. Why don't you tell Mark that he's taking the film too seriously when he says that, you know, Luke is uh, being completely ruined or the, the, the Jedi as a whole, blah, blah, blah. And I think that's relatively reasonable because Rags in this video is running with the, the conclusion that the people I hate everything is talking about are people like the screenshot I hate everything showed, where they're like, I'm so disappointed in this film, it, it ruined X, Y, and Z. It's like, Mark Hamill has said similar things, okay? Do you understand how Rags got from A to B to C? Because it makes sense to me, but apparently this is a complete jump and a, and a reframing of, of the reality. Again, and that's me assuming what happens in your video from, from what I'm getting yeah, from this. It's a very, it, very oddly edited. I, I, I rewound it about 13 seconds, so let's take a look. Mm -hmm. Turns Aichi's narrative on him, he encourages Aichi to tell Mark Hamill what Aichi tells Rags and those who dislike the film. That A, he's taking it too seriously. We're taking it too seriously. B, he's nitpicking. We're nitpicking. C, he went in expecting to hate it. Or we just went in wanting to hate it. And D, that he should shut up and enjoy the spectacle. Why can't you just shut up, Mark, and enjoy the spectacle? Easily argued that Rags is being hyperbolic. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, I'm, I'm um, trying to... I think what I'm... Because the editing is very unusual here with the way he phrases it. You'd think that if he used the script, he'd be a lot more clear and concise. That's normally the point. Yeah, but, I find yeah. it fascinating that he describes what you said and then, like, but shows actually, very quick clips instead of just playing Rags' clip entirely. Yeah, um... I think what I was doing... Because I haven't watched the video since. Um, I think what I was saying was, why can't you apply the reasons that Mark didn't like the movie to the reasons that you gave to everyone else yeah i think that's what and i that, was saying and that's what i mean it's like a question it's a e exploration if you will it's like yeah. hey i had everything would you say this same stuff to mark hamill after what he said i think that i think that is what i said and yeah it's like, interesting he and he's like, like look at rags reframing it as if he's saying all of these things to people like mark hamill who are simply sharing their opinion it's like whoa yeah whoa. editing is supposed to make things clearer and more concise same thing with a script mm. so yeah and i stand by if that's what i yeah i just stand by what i said i mean because i think that's a really interesting point to make would you tell mark hamill after he said the things that he said not that the right opinion showed that well he showed it but we couldn't understand him which is in and of itself <laughs> he showed it for people slimy. who slow the f fucking video down to 0 0.25 yeah it's why why is it that not a um a good thing to explore because i think that's an interesting question to ask yeah same you know if you can say it to us why can't you say it to him but unfortunately for you rags he's played a clip of a person looking confused or uncomfortable at what you said so get fucked okay he's got okay i don't know game who this over. guy is Okay. There is a curbed fury to these lines that would provoke a viewer. However, Rags has employed a few tricks, which I don't. <laughs> oh, 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 I oh. did tricks. I, I did, Rags okay. is employing tricks. That is interesting. Okay. I think are done out of naivety in this instance. Firstly, he loads his statement with the presupposition that Aichi is. Not again. You're exploring a hugely into Rags just commenting on how interesting it would be to turn I had everything's responses onto Mark Hamill. Yeah. It really, it's really simple. Like it's, he's he's I, gonna overanalyze I, I really, this like crazy. So yeah, let's man. see how much of this I, we can what get I said through. Was super simple. I'm hoping it doesn't really need much exploration. Yeah, I was gonna say I'm hoping we can get through like a good half a minute or more with just this is all gonna be overanalyzing what you said. It's been telling him and those who dislike the film the following statements, which as we've addressed is not the case. He's addressing the toxic side of the debate. Rex yeah, no, we've addressed that that's not the case. He's, he's yeah, he clearly isn't. shown screenshots of reasonable people too, TRO. You showed it in your video several times. You need to watch the videos.
then gradually escalates each statement to the point that none of these things are remotely applicable beyond the first one, Why the not? one that Mark Hamill was saying himself anyway, and the not last one know. being out. Hmm? Not that we'd know. We yeah. couldn't hear him. Outright ridiculous. He has not once said that he should shut up and enjoy the spectacle. <laughs> Do you think Rags <laughs> was saying that I hate everything was saying that <laughs> when he just says it? Wow. That's a bit of a stretch. That's a bit of a jump there, TRO. This is uh ooh, that's a bit of a reach. This is what I mean. He's he's guilty of everything he's accusing you of. Like it's very strange. Our critics often do that though. How does it take this I've long noticed. to make this kind of video and fuck up this much? Yeah, it's very strange because all I all I'm asking is, you know, wouldn't it be interesting? You know, would you would you would you say to him what you basically say of everyone else? That's all. That's all I'm saying. It, there's no trick. There's no trick. No, he said it was a trick, there's and he no, showed a guy looking no. uncomfortable at you. You're done, Rags. Okay. Well, Leave been, YouTube. Been what a joke. Rags then some. Oh, you just said what a joke about about your. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is getting uh, very just self awareness levels have plummeted to negative billions at this point. Yeah. Rises his thoughts on a conceptual basis before pointing us towards Mauler's more in-depth video. I will say that with the utmost confidence of all of the criticisms, reviews, and commentaries that I've watched within the last two months span, that Star Wars The Last Jedi is one of the worst constructed films I have ever seen even though it might not have been obvious right off the bat. Once more, I cannot stress enough how informative and in-depth the criticisms made by Mahler are of this film. There are so many. If it took him four and a half, five hours to talk about them all, there is no way I could possibly and realistically do them justice okay. here. Okay. There you go. Okay. I mean, that sounds pretty fucking straightforward to me. I'm like, man, there's so many criticisms I couldn't even begin to touch them, but here's where you can hear them. No, that's not going to be good enough, though. I, I, I think then, we're, we're nearly there to where I start getting lambasted instead of you, so that's going to be fun. And, and plus, I said that this was one of the worst films I've ever seen. How could he possibly say I'm wrong, if that's what he's going to say? But I'm curious. To value arguments. Here. Media can be bad in subjective ways, but it can be bad in objective ways that can be measured, discussed, and explained. And you can quote me on this because I stand by it 110%. The Last Jedi is an objectively poorly made film. Yes. Ugh. Yes. The objective yes. value argument was originally hypothesized in Mauler's con- Hypothesized. People keep saying I've invented it. I'm not the yeah, inventor like of the idea of assessing something without emotional influence. That's not something I made, okay? It's ridiculous. Yeah, <laughs> that, that... I absolutely stand by it. Yeah, Obje yeah. there's some uh, pretty serious fucking objective issues with The Last Jedi. And it's like, Maul has hypothesized that you could objectively judge us. Like, no. So if Rags can bring in a friend, so can I. And let me tell you. All right, we're about to start the Quinton section, and a, a modest suggest I should try and get through a few of the super chats to keep up with them. Yeah, let me of... use the let me use the Lou. You do that. Okay. Um. Da -da, let's see where we are. Narrative tripling. Leonard Church here saying sorry to bother rags on Discord when he's gaming. Oh, I'm sure he's. He, he's, he's okay with that. Uh, narrative tripling is when you listen to three audiobooks at once, which is kind of what we did in this. Uh, do you guys like anime? If so, what are you some of your favorites? My favorite anime is FMA Brotherhood and One Punch Man. They're my favorites from what I have seen. Have you guys talked about Yen and Siri being cast? What are your thoughts? Uh, Wolf has said that he's very upset about <laughs> basically all the casting of The Witcher. I'm assuming that's related to The Witcher. Uh, can you guys upload the I hate everything debate and just edit I hate everything out? Maybe get someone else to read his part. He can't object if he's not actually in it, right? I'm pretty sure he would object to that, absolutely. Like, he's not happy to have it released at all. Uh, what did Wolf do to get banned from Twitter again? He called somebody a retard, I believe. Uh, there may have been some other insults thrown, and I think it was hate speech that he got nuked for. Hey, Mola, can you do a video analysis on the series Zombie Milfs 3 The Squirting Dead? I, I, I'm gonna refrain from that one, because I'm busy with Star Wars. Um, I'm poor and can't donate as much as I'd like, but I'd really like to support what you do and have watched all your content, Mola. What are your thoughts on Sekiro? Gonna have to wait until it comes out. Uh, it looks interesting, and if my f like, I'll be doing work on the TFA critique, I think, but if enough friends recommend it, then I'll probably jump on, especially after seeing some more gameplay trailers, but, uh, thank you for, uh, support.
for the law holds that is better than ten guilty persons escape than one in innocent suffer. From Sir W. Blackstone, Muller argumentation, please. I think that's in relation to Kavanaugh, I'm, I'm assuming. Uh, pumpkins? Well, it, it, it came out way before, but um, I agree, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's better that we live in a system where the 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 legal system isn't okay with innocent people being incarcerated. Well, it's it's kind of why I stand on a negative on the death penalty because I hate the idea of innocent people getting murdered by the yes, government um, because of laws they didn't even break. Like that's fucked up. What I my my opinion on that is that I think there are crimes that are worthy of the death penalty. The problem is being that sure. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's tough stuff. Um. And there's just, it's not, because I'm pretty sure there's, there are a whole bunch of people who have been killed uh, wrongly on death row, right? Like, there's a whole history of it. Oh, I'm sure. I'm absolutely certain. Uh, a response to a response to a response. Gotta go. Mola, have you seen the Thanos vid with you? Yes. And I'm probably going to play that on the next EFAP, because we can't, I was going to do it on this one, but I was like, this one's going to be way too long anyway. What do you think of Plinkett's criticisms of it making no sense for there to be different sized lightsabers? Would a 16 foot tall creature have a large lightsaber? If so, how would a fight be fair? I mean, it's probably just a... He's probably right. I, I don't know if the films are ever going to go into the depth of how they construct well, lightsabers. The whole the whole point of a fight is that it's unfair in your favor. Um, how dare yeah, Tiaro misuse Monokuma's theme this way? I don't even know what Monokuma is. After watching your H Bomber guy response, I got inspired to play through all of the Souls games, finish the trilogy, Bloodborne, and now I'm working on Neo. Ever tried Neo? Thoughts, Rags, Wolf? Um, I need to play Neo. Have you played it, Rags? Neo? I have not played Neo. I've we, heard it's good though. We will get to it. Uh eventually. Because I've heard a lot of good things about it. I watched this stream three times and was never bored. <laughs> I'm so glad EFAP is a thing. It's sated by desire for good podcasts since the Drunken Peasants breakup last year. We Wolf has actually mentioned we've got a lot of comments comparing us to the Drunken Peasants. It's quite interesting because it's really yeah. It's it, I guess the format's similar, but the thing is like hmm. the Drunken Peasants would cover at least like a good four or five videos in one two-hour stream. And obviously, I'm not saying that they should do what we do, but I was going to say like ours is very different to that. <laughs> so we've gone for four hours ours, without ours through. Ours is very content rich you could say it's yes, very dense we, i guess we play content and try to create content at the same time but um thank you because i you know i find that drunken peasants was quite entertaining um so to say that we're, we're similar to them and that we're a good podcast thank you yoda rejects luke because of his age going back to jedi council rules while luke just rejects ray because kylo well yeah i mean understanding luke's perspective about jedi and stuff in the last jedi is confusing as hell I would never expect someone with an aggressive name like I hate everything to be such a bitch. Oh. Well, maybe he wouldn't You're call right. himself that if he was to rename it today, I suppose. I uh, just want to say The Last Jedi battles are tiny compared to real war. Single planet and the leaders don't seem to understand the cost of war. Compare them to real battles and you'll see. There's, there's quite a few uh, YouTube videos that assess it from a military perspective that are quite interesting. Um, they don't come up in The Last Jedi's favor, let's put it that way. I just want to give Mark Hamill... And the Hamill... thing is, too, with um, The Last Jedi, it's really tough to get a sense of scale of this conflict. Yeah. I think it's really a failing of the film. I mean, it's confusing as hell. They have, like, the biggest enemy force in the history of Star Wars, and then also they're, like, wiped out in one move, and you're like, oh, wow. But then they're also it's still a huge force to be dealt with. Um, also, they have a Dreadnought that's one of several, according to Leia. It's, you have no idea what this, the stakes or scale is of everything, really. Um, I just want to give Mark Hamill a big hug and say it's not your fault. We're, we're all there with you, bad. Um, hello, doggo. Wanted to become patron for a while, but you know the saying, shit happens. Anyway, keep up the awesome work. I'm assuming that's directed at you, Rags. Well, I appreciate the sentiment either way. I'm convinced that Hamill's change in tone in his tweets that Disney came to him and said, we can easily make your death look like an accident. <laughs> Fucking hell. Uh, we'll never know for sure. Um, I stand by the fact that I think Mark Hamill felt bad that he was being referenced and used as a sort of linchpin t in arguments, and he was like, no, I just, wanted, I just wanted to say what I thought about the film. I didn't want to cause, you know, st that sort of thing. But again, I don't know anything about what goes behind on behind doors in Disney, so who knows. Uh, Rags yeah, he probably just, want he just wanted to be unifying. I think that's just the kind of person he is. Rags given Fallout 76 a try at all? I don't know, honestly. I don't know. Maybe. But um, I don't know. What I've seen so far is that it looks like a Fallout 4 DLC. 
And he said, wait, my previous donation did not go through. Let me have a look. For the Black Flame. Uh, I read the one that you said you wanted to recommend, Gundam Iron-Blooded Orphans. I don't know if there's any others I've missed, I'm afraid. I'm pretty sure that's everybody. In which case, let's continue. This is the reveal of the... Well, before we do, uh, the right opinion said, Will, Rags brought in a friend. He's like, no, I just mentioned someone who's... <laughs> yeah, I'm not actually a guest really of liked. the video. Yeah, I was like, hey, I'm just going to reference this guy. You should watch his videos. They're really great on this movie. <sighs> so if, if... I know you're going to love who I'm about to oh, introduce. Boy. Someone who, although I disagree with fairly clearly on The Last Jedi, which, disclaimer, we're going to disagree with in this following section, I consider a friend nonetheless, who's always helped me out and involved me with his writing process. Let's bring him in. Hi, I'm Quinn Reviews, and this is a co oh. copy of Citizen Kane. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Okay. Some Anyone want to guess what that's supposed to mean? Um, because I haven't seen this. Um, uh, I guess he guess he he doesn't care about good films? My only guess is that he thinks that there are people out there, like me and you, who consider it sacrilegious to criticize Citizen Kane. That's all I can get from that assumption. I don't yeah, because it's... I don't exactly know what he's, um... actually... I don't know. I... I'm gonna need... I don't know what he means. Yeah, well, it's, it's, this is about like, to, we're about to jump into like the it. rabbit hole with this Maybe he doesn't guy. like that movie for some reason? Some months ago, I reviewed The Last Jedi on my own channel and basically said that I thoroughly enjoyed it. Yeah, because that was a it. shitty video. Yeah, we couldn't even finish it. We covered it like, on Wolf's podcast yeah. and we died after about five minutes, I think. That video, Quentin, that video was fucking dog shit. Really that was. That was awful. I would feel ashamed if I had ever <laughs> produced a video like that. You should delete it. I'm not even- no, Rags, no. go for it, no mercy with, uh, with the shit Quintus come up, comes up with soon. After this, I received a barrage of strangely personal comments from people who Ooh. hated the movie, and more importantly, hated people who liked the movie. You see how horrible these people are? They hate you for liking stuff. There's no one out there who will hate you for not liking it. That doesn't happen. But you know what does happen? If you like something, people hate you, and that's wrong. Just, just clarifying. Yeah, because I've been- I've been unironically called fascist, Nazi, white supremacist, sexist, bigoted for not liking The Last Jedi. Yeah, well, that doesn't happen. It only happens on this end of the aisle, and that's why he's justified in whatever choice he makes next. And in response to this, I decided to make Can a parody video making fun friend? of some of those- A parody video that went down horrifically badly, because nobody understood what the hell you were trying to do with it. Up? Is that video of his still up? Uh, he, he's unlisted it, but you oh. can access it. <laughs> oh, that aged well. Yeah, this is, up, Quentin. That this, aged well. this is the thing, he, he fucked it up. Half of his audience actually thought that he was giving good criticisms to the to Citizen Kane. There was comments like, finally someone criticizes this shitty film, but it was like, uh-oh. <laughs> like, that's not what his intention was. His point, as he explained on his, his video before he had listed it, because of how badly it went, was supposed to be that you can always spin a narrative, like you can always convince an audience that a film is X or Y through a video. And technically speaking, he was right, but none of his audience fucking understood it. They were like, is this supposed to yeah. be criticizing Mauler? Is this supposed to criticize the film? Is this parody? Are you serious? And it was just, he just unlisted it because he had to explain it over and over again. It's just, it's the biggest tell of whether or not a parody fails is when people are just like, don't know if it's parody. What what that's, what is this? <laughs> that's why we can discuss to this day whether L three is a parody or not. Yeah, because <laughs> they fucked up the tone playing. of it completely. References to the work of Mahler. I was then invited to a debate with Mahler. This is and random. Yep, I I, I said that his video was cheap, but I'm happy to talk about the film with him. 
anticipation for this, I decided to watch all five hours of his Last Jedi criticism video. And I found that experience to be heavily disagreeable. Not something that I found any relation to whatsoever. Nothing in the entire Nothing? five hours? <laughs> None of it? Shit. All right. Damn. Okay. And the thing is, I'm not sure that that's inherently that much of a bad thing. Whether or not you agree with what I said isn't really a bad thing. Yeah, I'd... Fine. Yeah, I guess. I guess. You know, like, it's... Whether or not it's a bad thing, I, I don't... I don't, I don't know. know. That I would, that would be something I just wanted to elaborate on. What do you mean a bad thing? Like, mm. that's the thing. Where it's, like, bad, they're very... Yeah, I, I need them to so develop that a little bit. Just... Like, what do you mean by bad? A review is nothing more than a description of an experience. No, it's not. Uh, no. Um, no, it's not. no. If I no, tell that, you that, that's wrong, Quentin. that, uh, I don't know, Star Wars, released in 1977, directed by George Lucas, starring Mark Hamill, Harrison Ford, and Carrie Fisher, and then someone says, well, that's just your experience. And I'm like, no. Well, and that's a part of a review. A... There's no way you can... It... Well, if you made a review of Star Wars and all you did was it made me feel this and it made me feel this and it made me feel this and that's my review. Yeah. That's not it's not a review. You can... It's a review of your feelings. It's not a review of the film. And to give you an example, phone reviews typically go into all of the technological aspects and most of it is undeniable. He'd be like, this is a blah, 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 megapixel camera. Yeah, it's about functionality. Yeah. What can it do? How fast is it? And don't what tell me a phone isn't a piece of art. Don't go there. <laughs> I'm not in the mood, people. Phones and cars aren't art. It's fucking stupid. Yeah, Quentin's, Quentin's just wrong here when he says this. Well, this I mean, kind of baffling. let's just, for the sake of it, it, it worked before, right, Rags? When we just look at the word. So, define review. Go on, Google. What have you got? A formal assessment hmm. of something with the intention of instituting change if necessary. A critical appraisal of a book, play, or film published in a newspaper or magazine. Assess something formally with the intention of instituting change if necessary. Write a critical appraisal. It's like, you, you, we've got four definitions, or well, two definitions mainly here, and he said it's like one specific thing. It's just like, let's be honest, review is just, you, you assess something, basically. Mr. Soup in the comments said, gotta love how Rags responds to bits of it instead of watching the whole thing. <laughs> what do you think we've been doing for the last fucking, like, two and a half, three hours? How- I never understand these people. If me and Rags watched the one hour and fifty-six live, and then we responded to it yeah, for like a half an hour, it would be almost just random thoughts. Like, oh, remember the bit where yeah. he said this? That's kind of how I feel about that. As- if we go through it slowly, we can not only point out patterns to you guys, but we can actually address every point they make. Yeah, and besides, all of my videos, I watch the whole thing. Yeah, I mean, I mean, the, I mean, the whole thing's there. Like, do you want us? That's the thing. Do you do they expect us to watch two hours worth of something and then just talk out of memory of what we just experienced? Yeah, a review. What he said, a review is yeah. simply a description of an experience. I believe. I disagree. Yeah, he says it's a, it's describing how you felt, basically. And I found that experience to be heavily disagreeable. Not something it's, that it's I found any word, relation too. to yeah. whatsoever. And the thing is, I'm not sure that that's inherently that much of a bad thing. A review is nothing more than a description of an experience. <laughs> no, it's not. This dates back no. all the way to when a review spoke of plays and concerts instead of DVDs and Blu-rays. And with that doesn't assist your point at all. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't help. That doesn't help, mate. This Bail. being the case, it's only natural that from person to person, the descriptions of these experiences are going to be different. Yes. Are all right, but there's a part of that where they get so different, they're not useful. If yeah, and you the, have five to, reviews of something and they're all completely different, then you're like, well, yeah, what, what, yeah, how much real use can this be? If there's no consistency, if, if there's no real way to tell that these reviews were about the same thing or described in some way the same thing, then that is going to have an impact on their usefulness. Mm. Art is not a science. There is no means to universally or factually prove worth. And arguably, that is why art has any value in the first place. So yeah, this is just, he disagrees with I, objectivity versus subjectivity, but he's just blatantly wrong. It's, and I, I yeah, everything I disagrees with him, by the way. Um, 
it's it's an odd way to use the process of science. Generally, science doesn't isn't what we use to you know dissect the subjective. You know, if you want to know something objectively, you use the scientific process. Exactly. And I think people get very antsy about that. They're like, oh, God, you, you're talking about judging art as a science? That's antithetical to art. Yeah, science, and it's science like, is a process. Okay. And that's the thing. It's like, no, 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 no. We're not saying you can't get the point of like, oh, you know, this is how it made me feel. It's, it's a separate conversation, man. Uh, it's almost as if they take what we say and say... They're trying to say you can judge feelings objectively. It's like, no, you judge feelings and you judge objectively. Those are two different things. Yeah, you can have the you can have the feeling, and having the feeling can be objective because you can have the feeling regardless of anyone's opinion on it. But that's a different conversation. There are different aspects that you look at things, and um, and conflating one with the other can can maybe give someone the impression that we mean things we don't. And again, check the definitions for these. Value has a definition. It's pretty much by by how a standard is satisfied, right? So then you're like, okay, so what's a standard? It's like a standard can be established in many different ways. For example, what constitutes a planet? And then you complete the standard, and then you assess the fact that Pluto is or is not a planet. That's science, by the way. That's, that's an actual science. And for you to be like, yeah, but that was a standard just created by people, so it's not a definitive standard. You'd be like, fine. And this is what I got TRO to agree with. Assessing art objectively is no more accurate to reality than science is. No more or no less. So, I'm happy to agree with that if that's how Quinton feels about it, but I doubt it since he thinks that you can only get a uh, value from art subjectively. There is nothing about the the technical standard in which it was it achieves consistency or structure in any way, shape, or form. If, if you paint, if you if you make a line, if you make a straight line on a piece of paper. Right. We can all agree that this is, yeah, this is, this is a line. Mm -hmm. But technically it's a line segment. You know, it just depends on how exact you want to be. But if everybody, that's why a lot of conversations begin with let's define our terms so that when we all say words, we know what is being meant. Right. Because words don't have meaning so much as they have shared understandings. Yeah. Which is what the dictionary is basically for. Basically, yes. And uh, to, to, to piggyback your point, Let's say we're all in a class where they say, you need to draw a straight line, and everyone's drawing this line, and it's like, just off, just off, just off. And some guy uses a ruler, and it's a perfect line, and they've achieved the highest standard of that particular artwork at that point. And you could be like, yeah, but I don't care for straight lines, that doesn't make me feel anything. And you're like, okay, but objectively, that is a straight line. <laughs> Which means it's achieved the highest point of that standard in this class. It's like someone's someone's already asked, "How do you improve at art if there are no standards?" Exactly, and that was one thing that was really kind of depressing about listening to Just Right. Absolutely. Like, what is the after this discussion? How do you justify your channel existing? <laughs> we recently released the video saying that the writing in uh, in Ready Player One, the thumbnail said it was bad. It's like, oh, you must mean subjectively. Yeah. What do you mean, bad? But here lies the issue. The right opinion and I would not be discussing Rags' video if the issue at hand was just that he doesn't like The Last Jedi, and other people do. The problem is that his thesis statement is essentially that other people are not allowed to disagree with his opinion. Bullshit. Yeah, I don't think Rags said that, but go ahead, show Absolute. me a clip. Absolute. Yeah. Show me a clip, Quentin. Because his opinion is on a higher playing field than Yeah, this is why Clinton this is this is why Quentin's a fucking scumbag. Yeah, he's a piece of shit. I'm, yeah, Quentin's a piece of shit. This is the kind of thing that the, the piece of shit does. People like Quentin, they don't seek to understand. Um it's not a they don't value the pursuit of knowledge in the same way. To just to say that, to say that I to say that that's my thesis statement is absolutely ridiculous. To say that nobody's allowed to enjoy it is absolutely ridiculous. Hey Rags, remember how at the beginning of all EFAPs you're like, this will be fun because you guys get to hear my my perspective, which is on a higher playing field than everyone else's. Oh you yeah, know how you say the, that I, all the time. That's why I always start them out like that because I I know that my opinion is the objective standard by which we judge quality, and anything that deviates from my opinion is on the spectrum of incorrect. 
And yeah, so for people who are like, this is a really long stream, it's like, yeah, well, this video gets worse as you progress, and this is this is part of the uh, the shit that needed to be responded to in terms of just, yeah. fuck you, Quinton. Stop telling people yeah. that this is what we actually do when it's not. This is... Um... Oh yeah, and oh yeah, and right the video as someone pointed out in chat at the beginning of the fucking video that this is the response to. I say it's okay if you liked it. Exactly, but that doesn't count. So none of that counts. Even though I specifically say something, Quentin can come in with his big ass brain <laughs> and his compensation beard and his yellow teeth and say that there's some. I, I what I really mean is something that's completely opposite to something that I stated. Yeah, it's pretty frustrating, because this is the thing, this is the core of what you could call me and Rags is, like, uh, the way we assess in general. So, like, this isn't just art, or this is, like, our day-to-day. -day. We'll break up uh, what what things are happening versus how people are feeling about the things. You know, information's really important, and then how people feel about it's really important. And so to just say, Rags and Mola, they go about their lives thinking that they're better than everyone else, because they have better uh, playing fields in which they have a pit. It's just like, fuck yeah. you, man. And I and I guess we'll have to keep restating it over and over oh, because yes. people like Quentin will keep taking it out of context or they'll just make shit up like he does here in a malicious way. It is really easy to get it, but we'll keep saying it over and over. You can feel however you want about anything. You can feel whatever you want to feel about The Last Jedi or The Predator or Jurassic World or freaking Mary Poppins. It doesn't matter. You can feel however you want. And we can never take that away from you. And you're not wrong for feeling a certain way everyone else's or to put it like he likes to his opinions are objective no no L and the let's be let's be honest rags an opinion can be objective it, it is possible and it, yeah an opinion he yeah it's true it's not the way he means but no of yes course. An, op an opinion can be objective but it is not objective because it is someone's opinion if i say in my opinion important. the sun is a star is that objective or is that my feelings how does that work Yes, it can be both. I uh, it is my opinion that two plus two equals four. <laughs> That's objectively true, but it's objectively true through mathematics. It's not objectively true because you because feel it. I feel that way. Exactly. Yeah, that, and there that can be overlap. These, the, the simple deconstruction. Things. You're not going to catch me in rags saying, "In my opinion, the Last Jedi has uh, inconsistencies," because it's it's provable. We don't need to say yes, it's our we opinion. Can we can demonstrate this irregard sorry, irregardless of the word, regardless <laughs> of what our opinion is. It's just that our opinion happened to line up to something that we can objectively show and demonstrate. But what he's what he's selling here is that me and Rags will literally like watch a film and go, I didn't really enjoy that that much. And then he's like, Oh, so it's objectively a bad film. And we'll be like, What? What? <laughs> I'm not following. All right, for it. For instance, there's a you know the movie Space Mutiny. I don't, but go that on. Old, yeah, there, it's an old crappy B movie. Um, it was in one of the best of the worst episodes of Red Letter Media. Okay. There is a scene in that movie where a character dies. She's shot. She's killed. And there's an editing mistake in which she appears alive and well in the next scene, just doing her job. Mm -hmm. Right. It's like there, there, there can be objective errors in films. See, Just Right would have argued that there may be a reason for that in canon, like she's able to clone herself, or something like that. Like, that's that's why he said it's never objective, because it could always change, and it's just like, Jesus Christ, mate. By that logic, nothing on this earth is objective. And I, I made this argument to Wolf, I said that, um, our understanding of gravity might not actually be as objective as we think. It turns out there's a demon on the other side of the universe casting a spell that maintains gravity, it has nothing to do with laws of the universe. Oh, A regardless is in the dictionary now. Okie dokie. Oh, neat. I, st I still, I'm, I'm a bit of a purist in that sense, though. Yeah, I, like, I tried to use literally to mean literally instead of figuratively, even though the dictionary approves. Yeah, I don't care if the dictionary approves of using the word literally in the opposite way that it actually <laughs> means. I don't care. And if you say it's right because the dictionary says, that's an appeal to authority fallacy because the dictionaries are not prescriptive or descriptive. There you go. Well, I mean, I would still say it's, uh, they're not incorrect if they're going by the dictionary standard, but they're not helping. Because they, they, there is no reason that literally started to mean figuratively as well, other than people being hyperbolic. That's how that word changed, was people trying to use it in a hyperbolic way, which is bizarre. Yes, that's because, that's because people's usages of a word change 
and then the dictionary changes to reflect it. Yeah, the, the dictionary the is just one. as best they can do of displaying to you how a word is commonly used and what it means. Um, Lee Brown guy asks if the right opinion offered to debate me. Um, I guess, honestly, I don't know. I never saw it. I'm not going to say that he didn't make it, but I never got an email or a Discord message. As far as I know, there is a chance we'll be able to get them to talk to each other, maybe on the next EFAP for all we know, but... Yeah, um, maybe. It, uh, up if to this wants point, to talk about it at all. TRO's, talk about it at all. TRO and Rags obviously have lives and have been getting up to a lot of things in between this, so... And I let TRO know we were doing this, and he didn't express any interest in actually discussing it beforehand, so I'm sure he's, he's it's, fine, but it's we might be able to get he's, something. He's talked about taking his video down. Yeah. He's, he's entertained the thought, which is like, if he wants to drop it, fine. But, um, you know, whatever whatever he wants to do is fine with me. I got things to do. I don't get bogged down with stuff like that. Quentin's still a piece of shit, though. Of course. Well, those, those are just subjective. And you can quote me on this because I stand by it 110%. The Last Jedi is an objectively poorly made film. Before moving any... What's wrong with that? Yeah. And that was not that? what you said it was, Quentin. That's yeah, and, very different. And, yeah, absolutely. And we have continually, continuously, sorry, demonstrated this over many EFAPs. <laughs> and other streams across many different channels. Uh, forwards, we have to acknowledge something which might not be inherently obvious if you don't know a lot about these two YouTubers. That being that most of this video created by Rags is in fact paraphrasing a video made by his apparent best friend, Mahler. Thus, oh, hey. am I? Uh, you're, I'm, am your be I I'm your best friend, you? right? Oh, oh, I let's... guess we're best. We're BFFs forever. Thanks, ah! thanks, dude. Say, at, at this... Quinton announced it publicly for you, but hey, I'll it's accept official. it. I do. You, also, I have to be I honest. The way he said that, you. the way he said that was as, as if to imply it's like bringing it like, his best friend league. to do it. <laughs> he's in league with Mahler. He's just Mahler's puppet. Like, I mean, at this point, um. We we like how how was our relationship at this point in time? Because this video came out a while ago. At this point, we had had spoken maybe like I want to say like three or four times, something like that. Um, we certainly didn't have EFAP. I found your video after the Last Jedi came out, so it was late December. Yes. Oh well, I released them in February, the beginning of February. Oh, okay. So it was at least so we had basically just met. Our relationship was still budding. Yes. But you were obviously we were best friends. We weren't as ready to tie the knot as we are now. Of course. Of course. But you know. To fully understand what Rags is even trying to say about the last chapter. Pretty ironic coming from the video that cuts context constantly. It In order to understand anything that's going on here, we need to watch all the other videos that came before. Twat. Jedi, <laughs> and also what he's trying to say about the nature of opinions, we are going to have to really say nature of much. opinions. I, I haven't really said was there really anything about the nature of opinions. No, because for some reason these people th find it abrasive when we say there's a difference between fucking opinions and facts about art. They yeah, find that it's... disgusting. They're like, Ugh, how could you say that? Ugh, there's it, it, it's weird too because they'll be the ones to say that we think our opinions are facts and then when we say no 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 those two things are different they'll they'll be like triggered by it it's very strange it's like when it, this is a this is a thing i get from a lot of people it's bad when we do it but they do it all the fucking time uh. sample brief clips from Mahler's equivalent video discussing the exact same points well, I hate to break this to you, my precious audience, but if you watch my other work, I am one of the people on the internet who will tell you and simultaneously argue to the death that there is such a thing as objective value to content. Media can be bad in subjective ways, but it can be bad- Alright, that is not how you make the possessive form of my name. My name is not Rag. <laughs> my name is- how do you fuck up a four-letter name? Ra rag Jesus is Christ. video. Rag is it, video. <laughs> this video is- is not belonging to Rag. <laughs> Rags. It is four goddamn letters. <laughs> Jesus. Ugh. Had in object.
objective ways that can be measured, discussed, and explained. Star Wars The Last Jedi is objectively bad content. It is provable. This is factual. You love the themes? That's nice, but the film is still horribly written, meaning that the value you have defined from the project itself is simply for you. It is not measurable or provable in- Now, this is very important. What yes. happened before this clip was me deconstructing the themes of The Last Jedi for about 10 minutes or so. I go over all the themes of uh, uh, learning through failure, um, but like like learning from your own mistakes, just just that stuff that's all in the movie, and I break down how people will cite Poe, even though he makes every decision correctly in the film, it's just a matter of him not having the information he requires, so Themes. it's completely unfair, like you can't apply that theme, but then contradictively, we see that Holdo and Paige Tico both sacrifice themselves, where we are told that it was a mistake for Finn to do it, Right, and so what I what I what I conclude is, what you get from the themes is subjective because the actual provable consistency is broken. So the film's attempt to say what it's saying is fucked. Right, so objectively it's inconsistent. Objectively it farts on itself. Objectively it's bad. That, that's what I mean by that word. Right, like I make that very clear, and yes. then I Object conclude. Objective. I think that a lot of people um, confuse objective with absolute truth, in a, in a sense. Yeah, which That's is not, not the what case. objective means. So just just to be clear, objective means it's irrespective of people's opinions. The, like the opinion that you have about something doesn't alter it. Essentially, it is it is what it is, regardless of how you feel. Does <laughs> so when I say that uh, something is objective, it does not mean it's irrefutable sun and, and, and whatever else being defined objectively by standards, the standards can change. Yes, 20 years ago, Pluto was a, objectively was a planet. Not anymore. Dwarf planet now. It is objectively no longer a planet. The Earth was uh, flat one day a, a while ago. <laughs> that changed. Well, that's not a, that, that's not a good example. Um, no, well, it's, what I'm saying is we do what we can with all the information we have. Like, with the information oh, yeah. we had, it may have been an objective assessment to us to take what we have in terms of the information and conclude that the earth was flat i'm not 100 percent sure on that one it's not as good as the, the well, pluto example obviously well ob well the way to phrase it would be objectively the earth was an oblate spheroid before we knew it mm -hmm. so if people said the earth was flat they would be wrong now if, if two different people had an opinion of the shape of the earth one of them could have the correct opinion but it wouldn't be the defining factor in whether or not it was correct. Here's the thing, it's, it's all in the words that are being used. So value, yes, words are important. value is the degree to which a standard is achieved. Objective is without influence from emotion. Therefore, objective value is the standard being achieved without influence from emotion. Do you understand? Like, is that clear? Like, I, I guess we need to say this more often because... Yeah, because I guess what a lot of other people say objective, they think that we're appealing to truth. Yeah, yeah. Like, in an absolute um, sense. And depending on who you ask, it's impossible to even ascertain absolute truth. But, it's da -da -da. but we, we're talking about objective in the sense of it isn't defined. Your opinion doesn't have anything to do with it. It doesn't change based on people's opinions. So uh, the takeaway here, though, is that I've got all this context explaining my position on themes and how they're inconsistent. And so my conclusion is, if you're arguing that the themes are what make this film great for you, that has to be subjective. Because if you view them without emotion, they're inconsistent and they fall apart. The film sends mixed messages, so it doesn't, yes. it doesn't function. But, but you can still enjoy them. Whatever themes yes. you want to pull from the movie, have at it, man. And, if you enjoy it, then you can enjoy it. And Quinton's seen the whole video, as he stated. And guess what he's going to leave out of his assessment here? All I'll, of the context! Yeah, man, that's that's rough. That's the a, opposite. That's a shit if we refer to logic and argumentation, for something to be objective, one conclusion can only be drawn. You can derive objective value. That's not true. No, that's it's not, not true. true. You can have multiple no. objective conclusions. You can have multiple conclusions. Yes. And they can conflict. However, yes, you can. You can draw. If if something is a binary proposition, uh, let's use theism as an example. You can draw the conclusion that there is God. You can draw the conclusion that there is not a God. Objectively, only one of those things is true. You're gonna piss off the fucking fan base again. <laughs> well, here's the thing. I haven't said which one's true or not. True. He, uh, Rags has not said which one of those statements is the objective one, but if we can relate it to something... Yes. 
uh, maybe this a little bit less testy for a lot of people. Um, how do you how do you get an assessment of something that could have two conflicting objective results? Um, you can take sample sizes of of like places with policies and conclude that the policy was uh, the the thing that 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 got the the place to where it is. But then you could also have that that policy did not work in another place. So you've got two results. And then you'd be like, well, now we need more information to to, to figure out which one of these is less or more accurate because they're both still objective. But one of them um, clearly lacks information, and one of them doesn't, or something like that. Like, there's so. Uh, I think uh, I think the, the the theism argument really is a, a really good one. Um, I was just going to say an argument that doesn't um, that can appeal to people who are religious still. Well, I'm not. That's the thing. I'm not appealing to either one. Well, explaining that, how this so works logically. Yeah, it's like if you a, a an intelligent person can come to the conclusion that there's a god, an intelligent person can come to the conclusion there's no god, right? Sure. But that is a binary proposition. Either there is or there isn't. Both of those things cannot exist, which means objectively one of those things is true. But you can reach both conclusions until it's proven. I mean, um, um, we talked about pedantry earlier, but like uh, the ongoing, there's an ongoing conversation about Finn's knowledge of the hyperdrive, right? This all began with the obvious uh, scene where he goes, hyperdrive, blah, 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 is impossible. And then 10 minutes later, he's like, I know where it is, so we, we can get there. So people highlight, objectively speaking, that's an inconsistency. And then someone throws in some extra information who's on the defensive side. They say, no, because Finn knew about the room once they found out that there was a hyperdrive tracker. He knew where the rooms were because all of the hyperdrive trackers are powered by this one room. So he knew where the room was. He didn't know that that was powering a hyperdrive tracker. And you're like, okay, both of those were objective. Is there more information? And it's like, well, go back to the attacking side and you find out that um, there's dialogue in the film where they say every single A-class process, including hyperdrive tracking, has its own breaker meaning that that breaker in the room that, that Finn's talking about is specifically designed for the hyperdrive tracker, meaning he had to have known it was a part of the hyperdrive tracker. So you see, like, the conversation with more information went one way, then the other way, and then finally ends on the, the other way. And it's like, is there any more information to this? It happened with um, Just Right, when we were talking about Holdo. I attacked, he defended, I attacked, he defended, I attacked, and he ran out of arguments. And then I argued for him, and then attacked myself again, because I was, like, steel-manning the opposition. And it ends. The conversation always yeah. comes to an end, because you basically run out of information. <laughs> there's only so much information, but you can achieve all of it objectively. Yeah, and there's a spectrum of your ability to justify what your conclusion is, up until the point where there's enough evidence that you can say, okay. We can have all these, you know, we can take all this information from all these sources, put it together, and boom, we know objectively, based on everything, that regardless of whose opinion it is, it doesn't change what the facts are. Yeah, because ultimately, and, um, um, you could have five facts that bring you to a conclusion, but if you're unaware that two of them even exist, you have no capacity to know that they exist, and your still objective, facts. it's still an objective conclusion, it's just based on three pieces of information instead of the full five. Yes, because remember, all objective facts exist as objective facts. This is why whether or not you know it. This is why there's objective like me and Wolf can argue over a film while both assessing objectively because one of us lacks information. That's probably going to be the case. Like I highlight also, to him, remember that scene where this happens and then he goes, "Oh shit, right. Okay." Um so was that objectively Pluto was never a planet, it was merely assessed incorrectly. No, Pluto was objectively a planet. It was, uh, yeah. Based off of yeah, based off of uh the definition that we created for planet though. Uh as our, as we decided to change the definition that's what made it objectively not a planet. Yeah, and besides, this, it's only we only need to prove that it can happen. We've done that with several other arguments now. So even if you, even if someone said that about Pluto, it'd be like, okay, so what about all the other things we said? Anyway, moving yeah. on. Wait, yeah, yeah, let's see. Value in some instances where there are few conditions and you realize that you can account for them. However, with a film, for a statement to be objective, you must have counted for every single premise in existence to the point where you can listen to every argument and still. Draw what do you mean every premise in existence? How about logic for a premise? He's making the argument that unless you, you're basically, unless you're omniscient, you can access, you cannot uh, assess objectively. You cannot assess whether or not something's objective. Yeah, well, I mean, films are finite, so we don't have and to. And now we're, 
we're starting to bleed into the realm of philosophy regarding truth and knowledge. Yeah, which I've, I've always said, if you can't agree that facts are a thing, like if you think there is no such thing as a fact, objectively, like there is no idea of being able to assess anything free of bias, like we can't just say that we, we exist. You can't I mean, even say maybe that. Maybe this is something I need to discuss more at length with like Steve McRae and those guys on the Non Sequitur show, but there has to be a point where you accept certain presuppositions about the world. Yeah, if you don't believe like, that anything like, is factual or unbiased, then we can't have a discussion because yeah, obviously then, it's then we can't have a discussion. It's completely yeah, contradictive ideologies, so there's no point in dying. Yeah draw the same conclusions. There are some things about film that may be objective, but if you're making a general statement on whether it is good or bad, I do not like to say that is impossible, but you're pushing the limits there. So it's possible. No, um, here it's important. Just because something has not been proven to be, um... Well, he's, just, he's not, admitted it's theoretically to, possible. Well, we don't, he doesn't even know that. That's the thing. We don't know if it's possible. To objectively because, assess a film. Well, I, I'm talking about like uh, no, I'm I'm talking about something a little bit different. I'm talking about whether or not something is is possible at all. Oh. You don't even know if anything you could imagine is possible, right? For instance, we don't know if it's possible that there could be a god. We don't even know it's possible See, that. Going? Yeah. So when people say, "Well, it's possible that there's a god," but we don't actually know that. So if you're saying it's important for the right opinion to understand that you can't just say things are possible without demonstrating that they're possible. I mean, I, I'm still of the, the he, this wasn't a contradiction to what we said. What he just said still sits in with what we said. Yeah. What I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm just clarifying that because it's something that does need to, I, I feel that often gets um, kind of skipped over. People assume that just because they can imagine it, it's possible. But don't you think it's interesting though, because he's, we've got a tag team right now of him and Quinton. Quinton's not saying this at all. He's saying it's absolutely not possible, while Tiaro's saying, well, it, I guess it's possible. He said, yeah, uh, at worst, he said you're stretching, but it's possible. Yeah, that's the thing. Quentin doesn't have the information necessary to determine whether or not a preposition is, uh, or sorry, a proposition is possible at all. <laughs> Quentin doesn't have the so capacity for a lot of... <laughs> he doesn't have the capacity for a lot of things, as we've already seen, <laughs> but, you know, we'll just add that to the pile. Yeah. Even Mauler's in-depth five-hour video does not begin to account for the numerous conditions, opinions, and further perceptions... You wouldn't know that, TRO. You haven't watched them. You can't say anything about what's in those videos. Sorry and even responses to his individual points. The best this theory can do is pedestal the opinions of those who look- Quit calling objectivity a fucking theory. What does that even- Yes. Is everything a theory? By that logic, then yes, it is a theory. You have no reason to believe something is possible or true unless you can justify your belief in it. All right, because every time you say, well, this could have happened, there is also, in your mind, an equally plausible outcome in which it couldn't have happened. And so you begin this ridiculous regress into the infinite possibilities of what may or may not happen, and you have to draw the line somewhere. And I draw the line at, is there anything that we've been given that would justify us believing that a proposition can or cannot happen? To clarify for people, uh, TRO did not watch my videos. He had Quinton watch them and respond to them because he's a Star Wars fan and TRO is not. Um, at least that's my, if, if I'm completely wrong on that, that might be possible, but as far as I know, TRO did not see my videos whatsoever. ...to be backed up. Your conclusion may be that it is bad, but that is based on your premises, and different people have different premises. If my premise is without emotion, then it would be objective, because that's what that word means. The robot. Remember the robot. No, they don't like the robot. <laughs> they no, got the pissed robot off with the robot. Like the well, the robot didn't really care, but... I like that he said that, though, because, again, that falls in line with what we're saying. He's like, it's only bad by your premise. And it's like, our premise is to assess it with consistency, irrelevant of emotion. So, yes. we agree, TRO. I'm glad we got to that point. And what even is good and bad? They're good and bad. There's, there's a shit ton of definitions, but I usually try and talk about specifics. So, to be inconsistent yes. is bad, because it's lazy, or it's contradictive, or it's... There's loads of words you can use. And I absolutely agree that I should try and avoid saying bad instead of using words like, um, uh, instead of saying bad as a whole, bad script writing, bad acting, bad blah blah blah, and then you go to specifics of what makes bad acting, what makes blah blah blah, and that's why my videos are so long. I try and qualify yes. all this stuff. And when you have a discussion with somebody, you can say, all right, let's start this off by coming to agree so that our opinions don't get in the way. Like, if we, we can agree on something for, this, for the purposes of this conversation, 
let's agree on what objective acting is. Oh, and by the way, as someone just pointed out in chat and several people have said, to make the statement there's no such thing as like objectivity uh, in art, that's, a, that's an objective statement. Correct. That is a statement that requires evidence. That is a, that's making a positive claim. Vague subjective concepts in themselves. You would have to put yourself on every single little spectrum pertaining to an individual and explain why it is bad on that spectrum. Or no, I wouldn't. I go with my singular premise. All you've done is explain why it is bad on your spectrum. Even if you're- Your spe- it's not my spectrum. It doesn't belong to me. It's just fucking stupid. Why do people assume that I've invented objectivity? Yeah, no one has ever been objective in analysis. Ever. Where do you think Before I got it from? Table. That I just invented it? Like, come on. Yeah, me and Rags just invented it on our own, and then Wolf also did, and then we met each other. That's what happened. I just got- I just got fucking sick of people's feelings. <laughs> feelings are gay. Who needs them? Your logic is valid. You have not proved it to be tautologous, and thus- Tautologous. He's referring to a tautology. And most people don't know what that is. Which means saying it isn't helpful to your audience, the right opinion. Tautology is useless restatement, or saying the same thing twice using different words. Yes. Nobody is going to know is that's that even... thing. If you yeah, ta well, tautologist, I suppose so. But Well no, but does this does tautology? that fit in his, his sentence structure? Does that actually make sense? I don't know. He used facetious incorrectly earlier, so... Let's, let's, I just want to hear this again to see if he used tautologist correctly. Different right. people have different premises, different emphasis on topics, and different standards. What even is good and bad? They're vague, subjective concepts in themselves. You would have to put yourself on every single little spectrum pertaining to an individual and explain why it is bad on that spectrum. All you've done is explain why it is bad on your spectrum. Even if your logic is valid, you have not proved it to be tautologist. And that doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. And sorry, TRO, but this shouldn't be happening. You're supposed to be like a literature expert or whatever. I'm just a dude. But that's not what tautologist means. I think what he was probably going for is... Like, it doesn't make it to um, irrefutable. I think he might be referring to, like, tautology in the sense of logic, where it's a formula or assertion that's true in every possible interpretation. That's probably what he means. Which is probably what he means in that sense. But here's the thing. If he means it in that sense, that's... Sort of correct, yes. If you you want to have a tautology, so it's true in every possible interpretation. But then that gets us in. Then people are saying, "What's the nature of truth?" And blah 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 blah. We gotta we gotta cut the line somewhere. Yeah, in symbolic lo is, lo logic, that word means correct in all situations. Which yeah, that's probably yeah. what he meant. So here's the thing: you say that word in a video, two percent, five percent of your audience is gonna know what that is. I only know it because I happen to hang out with some people and they talk about. And I just use Google and look for the definition and then re-listen to what they said and still end up confused. <laughs> it's just like I would is uh, like, don't use words like that. People, most people won't know what you're talking about. And, and that's not nothing ob from it. objective. So the question, if something isn't tautologous, that it's not objective. It's like, you're going to need to change the, the word. That's not. <sighs> To, to clarify a, again, so the word that he was using it to mean was what again? Um, how can a tautology not be necessarily true? Um, uh, in logic, tautology is defined as a logical truth of the propositional calculus. If your preferred semantics of logical truth is true in all possible worlds, then yes, a tautology is true in all possible worlds, and hence necessarily true. Let's just Other semantics for logical truth, it, it's just... All it's we need to do is condense what he said down into the words you're using are too subjective to be objective. That's what he said in in that process of about thirty seconds. Um, I don't. I'm because the word bad is too subjective. It's too vague. He did use the word vague at one point. So, and this is the thing. It's like um, bad has a definition, which means it is possible for me to be objective depending on what I meant by bad. And the first fucking definition of bad is of poor quality and then you're like okay but that's not um objective because what does quality mean and it's like quality is by which a standard is achieved and a tautology isn't even necessarily useful because you could say something like all all ten-legged lizards have ten legs that's tautologically correct but it's not really helpful or really all that meaningful sure yeah, um, I mean, yeah, no benefit of the doubt for me once again, but they do that to us infinitely. They literally, right. look at the first definitions of all the words I use, and you'll have your answer.
No, like in this scenario. Obviously, I'm not going to do that every time because I'm not I'm not a god with words. Question becomes: To Mahler and Rags, what are objective values? Well, you know what? If you uh, took us up on a debate, or if you exactly. took Mahler on his debate, then you would have your answer. But instead, uh, you ran like a bitch, and you refused to have a discussion with him. So, um, if you really wanted to, if you were true in your pursuit of knowledge, you know, you, what does he mean, he asks in this video, when he could just ask Mahler what he means. He's this curious to find out what we mean by objective value, and yet he fucking shies away from every chance at having a debate because he doesn't believe that objective value for art exists. It's like, why even ask us then? You twat. What it and means, again, it's, it's as we've just explained, how a standard is achieved irrelevant of emotion. How is that for you? You Oof, run out of also, fucking insults. Again, that, um, late brown guy asked again, I don't know if he asked me to debate, uh, if the right opinion asked me to debate him. I'm not saying he didn't, I'm just saying I didn't see where he did. He didn't, as far as I know, he hasn't emailed he, he me. He certainly didn't contact you before he made his video. I know that. He, yeah, he, I, he I haven't been, as far as I know, I have not been contacted. And if he did it on Twitter, that's the worst way to do it. Especially because I didn't have Twitter for pretty much almost. And more time. importantly, what are subjective values, and why are? What do you think subjective values are? It's all based yeah. on how you th feel about a thing, what it makes you feel. Jeez, it's not hard. <laughs> why are you making this seem like it's some kind of fucking forty chess game? Are they factually based on or influenced worse? by personal feelings, Ooh. tastes, or opinion. Oh, rags! Did you catch that? What I forgot. He says this. Such a. Fucking asshole, just listen to that, listen okay. to 30 seconds Not of it. Not objective. So the question becomes, to Mahler and Rags, what are objective values? And more importantly, what are subjective values, and why are they factually worse? Well, why, are why are they are factually quoting? worse? What does that even fucking why are you mean? Making your, why are you making your finger quotes like that's something we've said? That's not- exactly, that's not something we've ever said. He's implying that we say that the subjective take on things is factually worse than the objective take on things. Not something me and Rags have ever fucking said. Okay? I mean, maybe, um, I mean, the only way that you could spin that is to say that, um, uh, you can show factually that the subjective is not objective, <laughs> but I'm stretching so hard to make it what he said make sense. The fact that he said worse, it's, it grinds my gears to it. Like, I'm not putting objective above subjective. I'm drawing the difference. line between them. It's like two sides of the road, man. They're just going to different places. But Ugh. they exist together. Oh, and look, there's a, there's a quote from me. Quinton, there's a difference between objective value and subjective value. I know you understand that. Whether you enjoy something is irrelevant when we're talking about measurable mechanics within films or games and their quality. I was told you shy away from conversation with your dissenting peers, which I was, and that I shouldn't hold my breath. Breathe. I need to... Oh wait, is that breath? That is breath, right? Uh, breathe? hold my... That's um, breathe. <laughs> I think that's... I don't know. Goes um, to show why I may have misspelled that, but I still figured I would give breath. it a shot. Your excuse is pretty damn sheepish, maybe next time, I guess. Yeah, I stand by that 100%. He said the reason he doesn't want to have a, a discussion with me is because he, he can't be asked to explain to me that objective value doesn't exist. In, in oh. art. Yeah, it's breathe. Mm -hmm. With an Explained it's breathe. through numerous comments and in numerous videos, objective values are things that are measurable, discussable, and provable, and subjective- No, feelings are discussable. No, no thing, things aren't objective because they're discussable. You can discuss <laughs> subjective things. Where are you getting these definitions from? Why can't he show it? Why can't he fucking show it? That quote he just I mean, showed was not what he just said. God I mean, damn it. A thing, isn't, a thing is not objective because you can discuss it with somebody. It doesn't mean it's Values not objective. Are things that's like not a qualifier. If you like the themes, or if the movie looks... See that straw man right there? I didn't say, if you like the themes. I was like, you can't claim the themes are an objective, uh, of objective consistency. The, the film farts on their own themes, like I said. But he's, he's now turned it into... Oh yeah, Mola said, if you like the themes, that's just subjective. It's like, no, I went through the themes. I went through the themes, saw how much value they had in terms of consistency. And besides, it's already a meme on my fucking channel, like, you can see people saying it already. Rushing to the yeah. themes to defend your film, it's just like, man, are you, like, out of arguments? Is that all you got? You just say themes? Themes! It's like, it's, it's the equivalent of God works in mysterious ways. Themes! 
it's good because that costs money and basically anything that he would call an opinion. Everything. What? <laughs> I thought we just Money. went over how I thought he said that our opinion we say that our opinions are objective, so we wouldn't call that an opinion, would we? I've never said that. No, of course we've never said any of this fucking shit. We just keep saying that we did. But yeah, take me out of context again. Go on, Quentin. And basically anything that he would call an opinion. Everything positive said about the film is either about the superficial elements that take money to generate. The film is visually stunning and creative. Yes, Disney. Do you, yeah? Do you think amazing graphics just fucking grow on trees? This is the thing, uh, there are ta I'm not denying the talent that is in the CGI artists, that is in, uh, what I'm gonna conclude on here is that you can't buy script writing quality, like, 90% of the time. All the people yes. who are being bought from, let's say, there's, there's script writers in this chat room right now who would be better at doing this than Ryan Johnson in terms of a consistent script that was respectful. There's now, two in this podcast. And how... Uh, how much do you think they'd be paid compared to Ryan Johnson? It's going to be a hell of a lot less, even though Ryan John and it's literally just because of the name recognition. And it's like that's that's the issue. You can buy CGI. You can buy. You can even go as far as buying good acting. And I'm not going to say that there's no good acting in the film, but the the script. You can't buy a script most of the time. Like it's it's really hard to get a consistently good writer. Yes, I, th I don't think it's very. I don't think it's very controversial to say that the Last Jedi looks very expensive. And that's the thing, you get a lot of, like, Black Panther, despite having a lot of money, the CGI was a mess. It didn't look that good. But... Yeah, it depends on what they spent the money on. But if the script was great, the CGI wouldn't have mattered. It would have been like, oh well, it's, it's just a bit of a blemish, like, leave it alone. Obviously, yeah. and, and nobody would be saying the CGI artist did terrible, because we'd all assume that they were just rushed. Because most CGI firms will get the job done if they get the money they're supposed to get. Like Especially the, if this is such a high-profile uh, high movie like this. And this is the thing, it's a very, this is a very long subject to discuss, and it's a very interesting yeah. one. But let's just skip right over it and say that Rags and Mauler just think that if you like the visuals, or the, the acting, or the themes, that all of that has nothing to do with reality or measurements or anything. It's just like, yeah, that's, that's what we said, fine. Yeah, so, yeah the way yes, that you feel about it is subjective. Disney has money. All the subjective arguments that stem from themes to interpretations to feelings. The vast majority of my points aren't about perspective, we are talking about facts. And if you don't want to agree with them, then it will be difficult to have discussions in the future because this is precisely how one creates a scale and moves on from it. If yep. you think The Last Jedi is great, good luck ever calling other films bad. And there you go, I'm talking about an objective scale, so if I was to say the Last Jedi is amazing, and then I watch a film that's exactly the same as Last Jedi, but let's just say in the Jurassic Park universe, and I go, it's terrible for all of these reasons, and then someone's like, but all of those things are in The Last Jedi, and you said that was great. And I'm like, well... Uh, and that's what we call an objective contradiction that, that is just a literal it's hypocrisy. You've, you've got two separate standards. And it's, it's usually based on a bias, like, for example, I love Star Wars, I don't love Jurassic Park. Simple as that. Uh, subjectively, though, you of course could hold those two positions. You could be like, I love this film despite its flaws, or I hate this film because of its flaws, because feelings don't have to be justified by facts. Precisely how they kind of work. Obviously, they can be influenced by facts, but... Um, I, th I, th I thought I was pretty specific in that a little bit. I was like... I think so, because every once in a while I'll go back and I'll watch them, and I, I don't really... I mean, really, when you get down to it, it's not that controversial to say that some there are some things that you could measure based on facts, and regardless of how you feel about them, the things that are in the film are in the film. There's a finite amount of things that are in that film. It doesn't go on infinitely. Yeah, and I, I, I just come down to the simple vision. Uh, a character knowing something that they shouldn't is bad in this film, and then another film you watch and you go, it's good? Well, you, well, you can't say that, because you, you've just created a standard back there. So now you, you gotta you gotta stick with it. You guys are avoiding the real questions. Would Rags kiss Quentin on the cheek? No, I like my bears <laughs> smart. <laughs> oh come on, look at that cheek. I hope that you can understand why this perspective, which might initially seem unimportant, the perspective that we actually have, or the one that you made up. The one that you made up. Important oh. when described in a flat nature, is the base issue with all six hours of Rags and Mahler's videos about the last Jedi. They're amazing. Like and subscribe. I <laughs> ring the bell. To state that your opinions, which <laughs> mostly come down to things like thoughts about the lore and nitpicks about dialogue, thoughts about the lore <laughs> are and nitpicks, nitpicks about, about dialogue. dialogue. Is, Congratulations, is, 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 Quinton. You're the king of fucking straw bed. That, that's beautiful. Fucking amazing. Fucking amazing. 
And, but, but remember, this is coming from the same guy whose Last Jedi video said, if you take away the script, the characters, and the plot, was it? Yeah, yeah. He said in his, in his first video, for anybody in the audience who does not know, he said if you ignore the stuff about the characters, the, the story of the plot of the universe, that the film is actually pretty good. He same said, guy. That's paraphrasing. I will completely this, admit this, it's yeah. paraphrasing, but it's hilarious. This is the same mouth. Same guy. Incredible, Quentin. You don't want to be Objective caught on camera fact. saying that. <laughs> it's pretty. So, that can never be objective oh, sorry, hang on, facts. That get his full sentence in there. Yep. Yeah, sure. When described in a flat nature, is the base issue with all six hours of Rags and Mahler's videos about The Last Jedi. To state that your opinions, which mostly come down to things like... And, and, and to be fair, most of my video wasn't really so much about The Last Jedi as it was about the things that IHE said. Yeah. About things surrounding The Last uh, Jedi. As for my videos, uh, I had shit tons of criticism about what I would say at the entire points of the film. A lot of the payoffs. I was ripping into how they don't even make sense, which is very important. You don't want your the biggest emotional impacts of the film being based on completely illogical and unrealistic scenarios. That's, that's not going to help. It's not good. Thoughts about the lore and nitpicks about dialogue are objective facts that can never be disputed some of them. by well, it, some of them. It's almost not all. Yeah, not all of our problems with the film are objective. When some people say, when you say nitpick, you usually mean it's valid but it's tiny, right? That's usually what it means. A lot of people, yeah. No, when people say it's a nitpick, that's normally that's normally because they don't have an argument against it. Yeah, but it's, 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 it's like they're saying, good. yes, you're right, but it doesn't fucking matter if Gandalf like, yes, you had... stabbed me, but it didn't really hurt that much. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm more... Uh, I'm actually going to go for a genuine nitpick here, like, um, the sun was an inch higher in this scene compared to the scene before it, or something, and that doesn't match how a sun would move, and you'd be like, oh, yes, obviously that's because the film is not filmed in the way that you're you're kind of implying that it would be and you'd be like that's true but it doesn't fucking matter in the slightest thus it usually gets considered to be a nitpick now he said that this stuff concerns nitpicks about the law and then it's like but to say that those are objective and it's like but didn't you just agree that they may be valid but they're tiny but also they're, so they're not valid. objective oh so yeah it's it's a strange amalgamation of what is and isn't reasonable in terms of a criticism it's very strange i don't also i don't like the way that he he paints every issue that we have as being objective also someone just said rags tiro said you declined his invitation to the debate unless you were in his video is this true or not Doesn't that sound... is false that is not true at all whoever told you that is uh giving you bad info my dude yeah i don't i have no reference for that yeah i, I never any... i never declined his invitation on that um on those grounds no I objective facts that can never be disputed by anyone is ridiculous. Some things are objective facts that can't be disputed by anyone, you dipshit. That's how like, literally reality works. Ugh. <laughs> like, he says it like this, this monstrous thing that we've come up with. Yeah, the, like, science has been a thing for hundreds and hundreds of years. Like, man, you, you're gonna have to accept that there are objective... We, we have to agree on objective facts about them. And that's why we have processes to get ourselves closer to that. He's it's... saying Tiaro said that himself on his Discord. Well, if Tiaro said that, then Tiaro's fucking lying. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember that ever happening, and I, I've, I've often been the um, sort of mediary between them, but pushing yeah, again, on. Someone yeah. said, "Why do you hate Quinton so much?" It's like, yeah. why do you think, man? Like, look what he's saying about our shit. Yeah, I don't, I don't recall ever saying that to. Um... The right opinion. That doesn't sound like something I'd say. No, I didn't like your video, and I hated The Last Jedi. He will at least be sensible enough to tell you that's just a difference of opinion. Oh wait, that's the thing I was talking really? about earlier. Hang on. Um, I disagreed with your video. I didn't. Hang on, gotta go back a little bit further. Objective facts that can never be disputed by anyone is ridiculous. Let us compare and contrast. If you go to I Hate Everything and you tell him, I disagreed with your video, I didn't like your video, and I hated The Last Jedi, he will at least be sensible enough to tell you that's just a difference of opinion. Yeah, no, um, we went to, really? the, to, to I Hate Well, I Hate Everything came to us, we had the long conversation, and then he agreed that, um, uh, that the film was of poor quality.
He didn't say, oh, that's your opinion, guys. He was like, oh, wow, yeah. So, uh, rip that, I suppose. Yep. And it's only natural. For the it's rest only of it, I think natural. All those things and the thing is, like, you could have been a part of that conversation, maybe, you know? Like, I would have been there if I wasn't, like, away from, you know, my house. Also, high five to this comment. Can you see it? Uh, let's take a look. Yeah. Um, yeah. Things are fair to criticize the film for, if you truly feel... This is the first video of yours that I've disliked. I'm not going to defend the autists harassing other people because you were right about their ridiculous behavior. You only focused on the morons, though. Where are the legitimate critiques and reviews by competent creators? There are real issues with this film, and you only wanted to respond to the Spurgs. Yeah, I mean, that's what I said. Let's see his, his response. That's basically, yeah. Feel that way. I feel how I feel, and you feel how you feel. Get over what? it. What? But if you go. <laughs> that I feel was, how you that feel, makes... you feel how you feel. Get over it. It's like, okay. That's, that makes IHG work look worse. That makes him look worse, dude. Because he's ignoring the question. He ignored the criticism, yeah. The, the, yeah you're you only looking at morons. It. Yeah, someone was asking him a legit question. Why are you not really going over the the, the, the problems with the film? Well, how come you're focusing on the little Spurgs who don't mean anything? And he dodged the question. He dismissed the question. But hey, you know. Oh, uh, okay. If, I, if, if you want to make Aichi look worse, good job, Quentin. You did it. And or rags and tell them that you disagree with their videos and that you actually love The Last Jedi, you will get comments like this. We're going to do this. So just to clarify before whatever the fuck he's about to show, uh, if someone told us they love The Last Jedi, what would you say to that, rags? If someone said they love The Last Jedi? Yeah. Oh, I'd ask why. <laughs> um, in like, context... Really, like, I... Uh, oh, like I, I would, if they I were a friend of mine, fine. I'd be like, sure, go for it. But if it was just like some random going, I love The Last Jedi, as I was walking past oh, them, yeah, so I'd those. be like, that's great. Well, yeah, I, I see those all the time on like Twitter and stuff. Sometimes like, well, I like The Last Jedi. And it's like, okay. Yeah, it's, it's like, fine. I don't even like say anything, but I, I would be, you know, why? I would, I'm curious why they liked it. Wait, are you saying you wouldn't tell it. them they're wrong? you saying you wouldn't say that, hey, your feelings are invalid. Is that, is that not something you say? No, no, I wouldn't. I, mean, uh, I don't know if I trust you, the... Rags. I'm going to have to go with Quinton on this one. You have to get into the definition of invalid. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> no, because that's... Yes. that's... The vast majority of my points are I'm not making about a voice. perspective. We are talking about facts. I am seriously doubting your capacity to understand. So he did really? a really bad that's British it. voice and then a nasal American voice. But the, the comment he read was, I doubt your ability to assess quality. You're like, okay. <laughs> well, this is the thing. I didn't I, say anything oh, no. about what people's... This isn't a response to someone saying, I love The Last Jedi. This is a response to someone saying The Last Jedi is a great film. Like a yeah. consistent film, a well-written film. That's what my response to that would be. But remember, there are people who write articles on websites and all sorts of stuff. And they call people who did not like The Last Jedi Russian bots trolls, racist, sexist, fascist, white supremacist, bigots, xenophobes, unironically. Like, this is what they do. So I don't want to hear your bullshit boo-hooing about, well, if I say this on the internet, people might make mean comments. They might say that I don't really have the ability to assess quality. Like, like you're going to have to grow the fuck up. You're just going to have to grow the fuck up, man. Points I, you're, you're, not about you're a big boy, Quentin. I, I mean, I... I mean, I know that's a hey, conversation he's, beard. He's reading my comment with the silly voice rags, and you're not taking him seriously. How could you? What the fuck, man? He's this is this is this is slam dunking us right now. We I got, guess we got no fucking chance. You got silly voice rags. We're fucked. You will get comments like this. The vast majority of my points are not about perspective. We are talking. That's, that's literally by design. I say a thing. For example, just um, the last Jedi opens with a space so battle. These are all the, your comments. Huh? Are these your comments? This is something I've said. Um, oh, because um, he doesn't he he doesn't say that. What do you mean now? He doesn't say that these comments are yours. Oh, he said you'll get responses like this. He's probably gonna end this with saying that was from Mola, by the way, which proves he's an asshole or something like that. I, I guess we'll see. Talking about facts, I am seriously doubting your capacity to understand quality, and of course, my personal favorite. If you like The Last Jedi, good luck calling other films bad. But fuck you, you've removed the context again. You've already shown this clip, and they're gonna do it for yeah. a third time now, removing the context you again. I'm so proud of you, you're such a good little editor. 
Man, Quentin's shit. The vast majority of my points aren't about perspective, we're talking about facts. I am seriously doubting your capacity to understand quality. It's oh, nothing. hey, that was me! That was you. I didn't even know! I didn't even know! <laughs> <laughs> Yay, that yes, was me. Yes, uh, to clarify, Rags is probably referring to objective quality rather than whether or not it made you feel good. Because Rags can't no, I, actually I disprove your feelings. I might have just been insulting him. Oh, yeah, either way. Oh, you know what? You might have been hyperbolic. Or oh, yeah. melancholic, or vitriolic, or sympathetic, or maculazolic. You never know. Maybe he's judging you wrong. That's how that works. Yeah, right? this thing. I um, that it's weird that before, because I haven't seen this part of the video. So he says that comment, and before I even know that comment is me, because we can't remember everything we've ever said. I was like, that one doesn't seem all that bad. No. <laughs> and then I was like, oh, it's me. Um, and yeah, Cinema Sid says in the in the chat. Hello there. We're, Hello, we're, we're Simpsons. ripping into someone else who's criticized us today. It's amazing. The Last Jedi is great. By the, oh, by the way, by the way, Cinema, Simpson, Cinema Simpsons is way better than Quentin ever because if we said, Quentin, we want you to hop into EFAP with us and talk about this, Quentin would say no and you'd say yes. Yeah, I mean, anybody who's up to actually defend their claims and respond to criticism, you, you, you get a plus in my book. Hello, John Reese. This thesis statement in my subjective... <laughs> and it's because it's not our thesis statement. <laughs> it belongs You're to us, like, right? Oh, he's just like, I, I'm declaring that this is the thesis statement. It's like, no, I don't have a thesis statement. I never made one. That's ridiculous. Jeez. What a, what a fucking joke. He's, he's, just, he's just pulling it out of his asshole. This is their thesis statement. Oh, okay, I guess. Don't I mean, ask when me. When he plays the same point three times over, completely isolated from everything before and after it, that's how you know that he's just destroyed us. It's done. He made a silly voice, Rags. It's done. Fucked. Of opinion is inherently oh, are toxic. We? Yeah, we're inherently toxic to, uh, I don't know, I guess reviews or, or film culture or... We're, to we we're toxic. <laughs> we have discussions with people. We say that you can feel however you want, and that's just fine to feel however you want to feel. Um, we can disagree with you on video quality, and we can still be friends. We're not going to block you or refuse debates based off of offhand information that we don't have. Um, gosh, what else? I mean, we're just not... I guess we are kind also, of smarmy. Talk about, like... I'm not going to say it's a dog whistle, but using the word toxic when you refer to us, it feels like you're aiming somewhere to me. Like, I hmm. guess. I like, mean, but absolutely doesn't... not saying that's the case. But that word has been a little bit. It's been poisoned a little bit, right? Toxic. Like a lot of people don't even want to use it anymore because it keeps getting used in specific environments. Don't you? Um. Didn't doesn't Quentin think you're racist? Uh, I can't remember who thinks I'm racist. I can't remember I if he said I'm racist. Was... A lot of people said I'm racist, though. Because I heard that one of the reasons he won't debate you is because he heard you were racist. <laughs> that could be. I, like, I, I genuinely think, like, that's can't a remember. Thing that I've actually heard. If not, then I I take it back. But I think that's a thing you uh, that that I've actually heard. From what I heard from, because I had a couple conversations with TRO about Quentin, he basically said Quentin doesn't want to speak to me at all. Not just because of the fact that he'd have to explain what objective means to me, but he'd also want to. He wants to avoid internet drama. Is what he said. Which is oh, the but most he does videos like this? Yeah, no, right. Like he makes a parody video of me, and he makes this video, and he says he wants to avoid drama by because discussing this with me would cause drama. Right? That's how that works. Someone asks, "Is Rag racist?" Of course, like, this he is. is. Why <laughs> punk? This is why fucking apostrophes are important. I am not Rag. I'm Ragu. <laughs> Rag is video, come on. Constructed, there is no Stop. consistency to when an opinion is or is not measurable, and overall- I'm sorry, what? Did you just imply that we don't actually bring a standard to the table, because that's pretty much the opposite of what we do, but hey. Inherently really, toxic. I, would, I mean, if there we want to talk about our no standard, logic. really, what I'd say is, like, in a nutshell, our standard is consistency. Yeah, uh, logic is the baseline for a lot of the objective criticisms, because logic does not care about feelings. It never has, never will. Yeah, man. Um, I, I would say that in one word, if I had, if I'd use a single word, I mean, consistency. Almost bad. This thesis statement in my... What's with his fucking body it's language? A, what's with his calling out your thesis statement? <laughs> Subjective opinion. is like you had six, you had five hours of video and he just pulled out this one thing from the five hours and like, yeah, it's his thesis. ...is inherently toxic. 
There is no logic to how this is constructed. There is There's no there logic is to how this is so constructed. Much. That's the only so thing much. we ever fucking talk about is how That's the- That's like the foundation of everything we do and we won't shut up about it. I get bored talking about it myself. Jesus. I put myself to sleep talking about it because we talk about it so much. <laughs> this, this podcast would be an example. Ugh. Fucking hell, there's no logic to what me and Rags talk about. Yeah, we never have references and we never show contradictions. That's not what we do. There's no consistency to win. No consistency. An opinion is or is not measurable. And overall, it is just a measly po- Alright, so it's- it's- you can measure things as a binary without measuring them as a quantity. Like, like I say, it, you can measure that something is there or not without saying that it is X amount. You know? Yeah. Okay. Good. I, I just I've never I've never had to say anything like that before. We're dealing with what is essentially an alien at this point, Rags. That's why that's why it's like you're gonna have to start saying things that are just fundamental and it'll be like a revolution yeah. to Quinton. I've, I was like I've never had to explain this to people. And so it's kind of strange sometimes to think of the words. Is like if I have to tell is like measuring the tree, you know, it was like you can tell if there's a tree there or not. Without knowing how oh, exactly tall. Yeah, to clarify, when me and Rags are talking about logic, it's not just about logic according to our universe, if they have their own rules in the fiction, of course. Like, yeah, it's, like, it's the film's universe, yes. Yeah, the, consistency is probably, uh, Rags is right, it's probably a better word for it. It's consistent within its own rules or the logic of our universe, which is, it's portraying, you know? Yeah, that's why both Star Wars and the Imaginarium of Dr. Parnassus can both be analyzed with the same level of consistency, because as long as a film is consistent with itself, we're good. Yeah, like, if you watch Make a film that's based as, in, like, our world, and then someone gets shot in the head and survives, we're sitting there like, we lack information for this, why are they alive? Yeah, it's like, generally that kills people, maybe he got lucky, or what, or is he dead, or... Mm. To win an opinion is or is not measurable, and overall it is just a measly podium constructed by these two to insist to their audience that their opinions are universally better than everyone else's. Well, you're a but we've never said that. We've never you, ever said that. Do you want us to conclude on what you're doing, Quentin? Because uh, it's going to be a little bit more brutal, considering how much of a yeah, fucking dirty little shit like, you, you've taken on us, basically. Yeah, here's the thing. Like, this is this speaks to your character, Quentin. That's the difference. It's like this, what you're doing right here, this says a lot about who you are as a person. The kind of things that you're willing to do. Like, I would never be comfortable doing that to somebody else i would never i'd never do that to somebody else and if i did i'd feel terrible for it and i'd take it back me and rags project from a podium that our opinions should be accepted as fact that's I've all we never do done that that's all we do now i can say that you should accept my opinion as fact but then i will go through the motions to prove it i will and say, you're probably talking about well, a specific one right yeah oh, like you're yeah, not talking absolutely. about all of your opinions I think that 2 plus 2 is 4, and I think you should accept that as fact because bring in the cart full of reasons. Because here's two things, and here's another two things, and I count the things, and now there's four things. So you see, it's, we can demonstrate it. We can share, you can corroborate evidence with other people. Absolutely. This might seem blunt or crude, but the ultimate issue to me is that Mahler and Rags believe that they are part of a battlefield fighting their holy and protected beliefs. What? Socially, what they. Mean? What the fuck are you on about, Quinton? What the fuck? We're fighting I mean, like, a war for our beliefs. Okay. I mean, that's, that seems a little excessive, but... How are you not doing the exact same thing? Yeah, um... It's strange, though. I mean, yes, I mean, you fight for what you believe in, you know, thing, but this, I don't know why it's a holy... I don't know what to say what's holy about it. I mean, maybe if you hoist up a principle as if it's holy, or if you believe it's sacrosanct in some way, but... <laughs> What a strange way to phrase it. I mean, yeah, we we just believe make the things we believe. Kind of insane. I, I'm guessing that's what this is. It's like, look at it, look it at does. Rags and Mola fighting their war for movie opinions. It makes us feel culty. Oh, absolutely. That's the, it's that's, that's definitely the impression I'm getting. This is why I hate his fucking parts in this video because the TRO stuff. It, there's more of a discussion to be had with this. This is just this is just literal attacks. It's like Quentin, you're not making a good script here. You're literally being a dick, and that's about it. How long have we been going? We are up to five, five hours and twenty minutes. <laughs> Jesus. Leave that they are part okay, of the battle. Let's field. keep going a little bit longer, because I'm eventually I'm just gonna have to call it. Uh, yeah, as soon as you conk out, man, we'll we'll cut it off there. Like, just let me know. Let's try to get through the let, let's try to get through the Quentin bit. 
fighting their holy and protected beliefs. I can't believe referred to it as holy and protected beliefs. beliefs so, sir. Yeah, holy and protect. I don't know what he says by protected beliefs. It's like I will attempt to protect my beliefs based off of evidence and you know logic. Mm. It's also important to remember that. Remember, kids, you don't choose what you believe. Ding. <laughs> Socially, they use their flood thesis. Flood thesis! <laughs> or flood thesis? Maybe well, that's an actual phrase. Let me look that up. Yeah, you go but, ahead and look it up. That's going in my fucking April Fool's Day video, though. Flood um, thesis? No, this is about flood damage assessment uh, um, this and hydrology. Their flood thesis. I'll call it the holy fl flood thesis. <laughs> The holy flood thesis. <laughs> Give me just a second. Is Maybe there a gonna... tripling narrative involved in that? I wonder. I was thinking, I couldn't find narrative tripling either. Flood feces. Um, next time I see my brother, because uh, he um, he's like an English major, I'll ask him if he's ever heard of narrative tripling and flood thesis. <laughs> let's, let's hear it again. Because I can just get to him when sure. he can't just Google it. I'll, I'll ask him if those are things. Believe that they are part of a battlefield fighting their holy and protected beliefs. Socially, they use their flood thesis to justify the. Such a big comment. Quentin, Why is what are you music doing? so fucking loud? Is How the fuck did TRO approve this? This is, by the way, what I sent as TRO in terms of what he should be deleting from the video because it's just outright false. So TRO wants this part gone? Well, he agreed. He was like, yeah, well, I'll... He, he said to me, and I can go back and get the quote if it, it gets contested. He said to me that there are some things that he's going to want to discuss, but there are absolutely certain parts that he's going to have to delete, like, via being inaccurate. Yeah, like, fuck, what part... What, what isn't that a part of in his section? I mean, jeez, like, everything he said is... How did you approve wrong. this? TRO. Yeah, man. How when you listen to this, were you like, yeah, this comes this comes across as a well-adjusted individual? He he hasn't taken two normal dudes on the internet and turned them into fucking like cultist warriors <laughs> fighting for the last Jedi to be considered bad. What the hell? The fact that they believe themselves to be warriors. You two are not warriors. None of us are warriors. We are geeks online that talk. Well, no, well, so you, you can't say that, here's the thing, Quinton, you can't change how you frame things if, in one sentence, you're gonna say that we're fighting a battle, then you also can't say we're not warriors. I mean, it's either one or the other, man. Not to mention, because in a sense, we never said in a it. Sense, he put the words in our mouth and then told us we were wrong for saying it. <laughs> like, yeah, I mean, okay. if I wouldn't describe myself as a warrior, but I mean, if you want to say, yeah, you're a warrior fighting a culture war, I'm like, yeah, I mean, I understand what you mean. Now, yeah, I mean, because I, I, I do see aspects of it as a culture war. Which makes one a warrior by kind of by that definition, but man, I don't I don't say it in like a glorified way. Well, this is the thing. Once again, Quentin can't show a fucking quote, can he? Yeah, it's like because yeah. we never said this. This is not something we say. He's like, you people are these things, but you know what? You're not these things. It's like yeah, yeah. Th that, that sums up this video a little bit, doesn't it? Or at least Quint uh, Quentin's fucking part of it. Talk about films. Stop acting like you are warriors. How? Basically, as someone who knows more about Star Wars than the right opinion, it is going to be my job in this video to disagree with some of Rax's points about- How telling is that statement? It's gonna be my job to disagree. Okay. Yeah, man. <laughs> it's not that's even- kind of, It's like, that's kind of fucked up. Like, when you hear that statement, the right opinion, are you not like, eh, sounds a little- That sounds like I'm kind of, you know, like he already has, you know, he's got a job to do for me. Come on, Rax, we've got to fight our holy war. About Star Wars, the lore. <laughs> uh, all crusades are just. <laughs> the universe, etc. Not because there is any factual basis to the fact that he is 100% Demonstrate. Wrong. Yeah, you know, you painted, you painted us as bad people. There's no factual basis to the fact that he's 100% wrong? Okay. Did you just say um, that? Who's well, he like, referring it's... to? Is that me? Was that you? I don't know. Let's I think it's you, because he bit. said it's my job to disagree with rags, so he must be referring to you. The lore, the universe, etc. Not because there is any factual basis to the fact so that he is 100% wrong. Not that there's any factual basis to the fact that he is wrong. Okay. Um, that's useful. 
I'll, now that you've agreed that there's not factual evidence that I'm wrong, um, I'm so confused right. by that statement. Like, should I like still be here? Can I go now? I maybe, <laughs> maybe there's like another half to that statement that makes it make more sense. Because what maybe. the hell? I'm holding out hope for Quentin. 100% wrong, and not because he is a bad person for having opinions that I disagree with, but because I am basically having to prove that his opinions are not universally measurable, are not ultimately 100% provable, and are certainly not anything resembling objective. What? No, did you but say the same many... thing three times that you haven't said? No, yeah, <laughs> not only did he say things that I've never said, but he also said I have no way to factually prove things that I have to prove. Because he starts off by saying at the beginning, which is what we were giggling at, like, there's, I can't 100% factually prove this. And then he says, I have to prove this. Okay, I have written out what I think his, his sentence is structured a little bit smaller. So he okay. said, I'm here to disagree with Rags, not that there's any factual basis to the fact that he's wrong, but because there are no objective truths about his opinions. Like, that is essentially what he said. And and also, Quentin has this problem of painting all of our opinions as objectively true. Yeah, which is not the case. I, which, I yeah, share my again, subjective perspective on Star Wars several times in my assessment, yes. and I, I signpost that, because I like to let people know. Um, but yeah, just, just to clarify that, what that statement I just said, condensed again, basically is him saying, I'm disagreeing with him not because he's factually wrong, but because he's factually wrong. Like, he, he said, um, there's not a factual basis to the fact that you're wrong, but because you're not objectively Correct. Uh, do, do, do you get what I mean? Like, he did not think about that statement because of how long it is. He thought that sounded right, but that doesn't make sense. So, let, let's give this one more listen, because I think this is one big ball of gobbledygook. Instructed by these two to insist to their audience that their opinions are universally better than everyone else's. Fuck this might seem blunt or crude, but the ultimate issue to me is that, that seems like a lie. believe yeah. that they are part of a battlefield fighting their holy and protected beliefs. Socially, yeah, they use their flawed thesis to justify the fact that they thesis. believe themselves to be warriors. You two yeah. are not warriors. None of us are warriors. We are geeks online that talk about Funny, Quentin, we don't even disagree with you there, bud. Films, stop acting like you are warriors. Basically, as shot, someone though. who knows more about Star Wars than the right opinion, it is going to be my job in this video to disagree with some of Rax's points about Star Wars. Uh, just this fucking music, man. I know, right? Go it's power like, through. Goddamn. Like you are warriors. Basically, as someone who knows more about Star Wars than the right opinion, it is going to be my job in this video to disagree with some of Rax's points about Star Wars, the lore, the universe, etc. Not because there is any factual basis to the fact that he is 100% wrong, and not yep. because he is a bad person for having opinions that I disagree with, but because I am basically having to prove that his opinions are not universally measurable. Are so, did you catch it? Yep. So, yep. his See, sentence doesn't make any sense. Yes. What his... This is this is a bunch of gobbledygook. So for for those out there who are like, you break up the sentences, they don't make any sense. We watched it all in a row. Like he said, times, says, I'm, I'm here to disagree with Rags when he brings up points about blah, blah, blah. Not because there's a factual basis to the fact that he's wrong, but because he's factually wrong. <laughs> it's just like, well, on Quinton, he said it in so many words that he fucking contradicted himself. And that is why that Everyone what he is, said is not concise chat? versus what I try and do, which is to be explicit. I don't always I win like, at that, but you know. I like how in the chat they're saying no factual basis to the fact, but it's <laughs> it's strange. Um, the someone's saying that like having to prove is like having to prove why? Why are you compelled to prove something if you have just admitted that you can't? And it's just this is just a strange thing to say. Like this proofreading is important. Just don't have it be done by TRO are not ultimately 100% provable, and are certainly not anything resembling objective. I've seen many people say something along the lines of, it's a well-made movie, it's just a bad Star Wars movie, which you can't really argue with. Which Rags disputes as he believes that it is both. Well, okay, serious thing. He said you cannot argue with it. You can. All, you, all it takes is for me to say, I can't argue with it. <laughs> and I have proven him wrong. Yeah, because All if right. you look in the dictionary, Star Wars movie doesn't actually have a definition. You'd have to talk to the person about what their standard would be for that. Yeah, when you're saying it cannot be argued, 
right? Normally people mean that in a, a very colloquial broad sense. Like you can't reasonably argue it. But when you say you can't argue that this is a bad film or a bad Star Wars film or whatever, all it takes is one person to argue with you and you're done, son. That's all it is. Well, they would only be half right because The Last Jedi is a poorly made movie. Also, it is a bad Star Wars movie as well. <laughs> by, by definition of being a bad film, it's a bad Star Wars film. I mean, obviously, again, a bit coy, but obviously they'll just take that very seriously and run this into the ground. The Let's think, just the fact that I've disagreed, I'm right. Because they said you can't argue it. It's, yeah. like, I, it's like, yeah, I'll argue it. I mean, there we you go. Yeah, if, if we're to take him very literally, saying you can't argue with it, he can. But obviously we could give him the benefit of the doubt and assume he's saying that you can't argue against what what is essentially a feeling of it doesn't feel like Star Wars. But the statement well, was it's even, not Star Wars. Let's even do that. Let's do that. Because earlier on, he said he's never heard any good arguments against it. So he's making a statement that he cannot possibly justify. Well, like he shouldn't even agree with... He should say that, yes, it is a good Star Wars film. Let's think what he he opened up by saying, I've never heard any arguments against the film. And then he is saying that you can't argue against the film. By what well, method have you used to determine that? That is not justification for you making that statement. You're not being consistent. I'm like I said, if we go with the benefit of the doubt and assume I hate everything he's saying, that's what I was doing. That there's someone out there saying it doesn't feel like a Star Wars movie. He'd be like, well, I can't argue that with you because you know, blah blah blah. But but the the, the structure of the, the the sentence came across as quite a bit different to that. If you were to, well, go a different way with it, let's say. I actually follows this by saying that he's seen a lot of criticisms that are not. Oh, hold up, hold up. Someone's wait. Saying, someone's saying yeah, but that did the, ha that did happen. Uh, we we. Up. Someone's saying on the Dishonored Wolf podcast episode fourteen, at four hours ten minutes and ten seconds, you said you would not be. You said you wouldn't want him in the call. We that 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 happened. That's different though. Um, that's yeah, that's different. That's we wanted we wanted to react to this video. There was there was an idea that Tiaro might guessed on it, but the fact is like it's going to cause chaos if we have. Not only this enormous video to respond to, but we have someone trying to defend it. Like I said, the, the easiest way would be what we did with Cinema Sin Sins. Respond to the video. Yeah, I'm not putting then... a condition on discussing things with him. That's just whether or not he would be on this actual stream in and of itself. And, and I believe people. the conversation went that uh, if we were obliged to do that, why wasn't TRO obliged to bring Rags on to discuss his video before making it? Like there's uh, a yeah. there's no reason and, that that and, should happen. It's just something really that we could do. And really, it's the Quentin thing. When you get to the Quentin thing, oh man, that is ooh, that's that's really just being dare I say it toxic. Oh, absolutely. Like I I don't even think that's I think that's just straight up true. Like what what Quentin said is blatantly not true about a lot of us. But um, what we're okay with is is Tro coming on. Like that that's that's fine. Yeah, um, and if and if and if and, and I'm and I'm perfectly one hundred percent. I I I absolutely will say that he misunderstood that. I I totally agree. I, yeah, I feel nothing against the right. But of Rags has never denied debating him. But we're not we're not obliged to bring him on to when we're responding to this yes, video. And, I wouldn't say that that's considered debate. Like we all all Tiaro needs to do if he wants to to come on is just um have a discussion. Yeah, he, he doesn't even have to watch. Yeah, absolutely. If he wants to come on the next EFAP, he can absolutely do that. And I will but, happily set that up with him. at the same time, if he wants to just move past it and be buddies, it's fine with me too. In fact, I would prefer that. I'm totally willing oh, to... Oh yeah, I'm, tr I'm, I'm trying to maintain my relationship with him because I think he's a, he's, a, he's a good guy. It's just that this is obviously unfortunate. Because yeah, this is a bad video. This yeah, was it's before like he met sense. either of me or Rags and for some reason let Quinton loose. Like... That was a mistake. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just put it that if, way. Here's the thing. If TRO, if he watches this, um, then is like he, he, he made some mistakes, some pretty really huge mistakes, the Quentin part being a big part of it. But if he wants to just move on, that's fine with me. Because, mm -hmm. man, I, no one needs more enemies, quite frankly. Oh, yeah. No we're we're tired of that shit. Yeah, but obviously, it we you. didn't you know, poke the bear here. Well, I guess you could argue that Rag started it by responding to I ate everything, but I mean, but then it had I nothing to do with I the right actually, opinion. And then yeah, that it, had nothing to do with me, and yet I was brought in too. So it was like... Yeah, that's very strange. Uh, it was very antagonistic in that sense. But even I would say that I didn't... I, di I, I didn't throw the first punch. 
I would say that IHG did. Yeah, and that's um, the thing. It's it's all worth discussing, I'd say. And we'll absolutely yeah. set it up uh, if TRO is on board with that. Yeah. Real criticism. Yeah, yeah, what is really too. bothering me about this entire conversation is that a lot of criticism. I, I would actually, to be honest, I, I would be interested to see what he has to say about things that we look at. Oh, you mean like the video essays we've covered? Yeah, like if he wanted to cover one with us, I would be interested at how he goes through those videos. Yeah, we could always find someone that, you know, preferably would be someone he's not friends with, because we've covered Quinton before, so we wouldn't want him to have to do that. We but. could talk about how Killmonger was correct. Yes. Criticisms. But what is really bothering me about this entire conversation is that a lot of criticisms for this movie are not actually criticisms at all. Oh, like what? Now we're just putting criticisms up in quotes. Okay. He then proceeds to address this citing example where someone said that it was a bad movie because they didn't use the Wilhelm scream in it. It's just genuine... stupid. Yeah, but that's fucking retarded. So stupid. Even I hate everything ever... said. He's not 100% sure why he even put that in the video to me and Wolf. We, we cited yeah, it. We were just like, why did you put that in? And he was like, I don't know. It is something someone said. It's like, dude. What the fuck does it matter if someone said it's bad because it didn't have a fucking particular scream in it? Come on. Yeah. Yeah, man, that's pretty... Oof. And again, this well, comes I mean, down to, well, he did it because it exists. And it's like, oh, great. That's our standard for content creation now, I guess. Well, I mean, if it exists, right? Yep. I only that's saw a comment standard. whinging about The Last Jedi being a bad movie simply because they didn't use the Wilhelm scream sound effect. Ah! Yeah, that, that really makes the film bad, doesn't it? Wait, you, you understand this video is you whinging, right? That, that's what this video is. It's you whinging. As previously, right? Yes, I'm, yeah, I'm using whinging in the same way that he used it. Yeah, I mean, you could ask for clarification from Rags if, if he wants to define what he means by whinging, but, uh, or we could just take whatever you're gonna take with it. Let's see where he goes. Rags gets annoyed and asks why he's talking about such statements. What? Why are you giving these stupid, idiotic things attention in time? We've had this discussion before. He's talking about them because they're mildly interesting points that exempt. Mildly interesting mildly points. Mildly interesting points. Really? Is Not that even I hate them? everything could explain why they were interesting. <laughs> it's just stupid. Yeah, man. This is one of those things where it's kind of like uh, it, it's. This is. Uh, I'm drawn to a parallel between this and when people defend Leia doing her little spacewalk. Yeah. People said, "Oh, she trained in the movies between," and then Ryan Johnson said, "No, she didn't." <laughs> it was like you're you're trying to defend something, but like the author of the material is saying no. Well, um, no. he's not. He's. We can't say that's wrong. Mildly interesting, sure, Tiaro. Maybe you yeah. find it mildly interesting. Maybe, Maybe I hate everything yeah. does. But do you understand how much of a crap defense that is? It's mildly interesting. Yeah, he like, found okay. the criticism that there wasn't a Wilhelm scream mildly interesting. Like, man, that is a... Ooh, that it's bar just a, is yeah, it's just a low bar for, for a... Of all like the comments you could have covered, type. you went with that one because it was mildly interesting. Sure, whatever. As previously, Rags gets annoyed and asks why he's talking about such statements. What? Why are you giving these stupid, idiotic things attention in time? We've had this discussion before. He's talking about them because they're mildly interesting points that exemplify the exaggerated reaction. He then in turn gets <sighs> angry about why he... Yeah, um, okay. I could take any cherry-picked set of points to prove any narrative about The Last Jedi. I could pick all the ones that are overly in love with it and say this is mildly interesting if you consider my point is that it's there's too much love for the last jedi look at all these comments and i have you know i loved it because it didn't have the wilhelm scream in it and then i go see how ridiculous this is people are loving the film because it didn't have a particular scream and i'm just as fucking devoid of content as as i hit everything was like what point are you trying to make you had some crazy person say they love a film for the stupid reason yeah, I'm questioning, like, why this, of all things, you know? It's like, this video is X, you know, long. So mm. I'm wondering, you, you had the option to talk about anything you wanted, and you chose that? Like, okay. Yeah, well, uh, like, is it so hard to just let that go? It's like, a, yeah, I had everything probably could have picked a, a, <laughs> a more substantial comment. Like, yeah, that's basically what I'm saying. <sighs> well, we have to argue it, because... Just like everything you it said exists. is just too mean. But, no, he my answer is real because it exists. I criticize it because it exists. And if that's a good enough reason for I hate everything, then that should serve as a perfectly good reason for me. Mm. How come you have not yet to the stupid, insipid, vacuous, empty, pointless, completely... And we've already spoken about that too. Then a very special moment occurs, which has confused me to this day. IG's comments about people complaining about science in a star...
Star Wars movie, and this is followed by Rag stating that he doesn't understand why, quote, you think, I assume you being IHE, things need explanations to be sent school. Have you been paying attention to this franchise at Those all? Those are different None movies. Yeah, also, that does follow. So, um, yep. lightsabers, they don't need an explanation to be sensical. That's how they work, they exist. Yes, as long as they operate consistently. Yeah, so if right? someone slices it in half and it still works, we've been shown several times that that'll prevent a lightsaber from working. So we'd be like, hey, yeah. uh, if a lightsaber if can no longer cut through somebody, it just hits them like a bat, we'd be like, uh, hey, that, that doesn't make sense. Yeah, like when someone, like, um... If a lightsaber operates, a lightsaber operates by rules. It blocks blaster bolts and it stops other lightsaber blades, but it cuts through basically everything else. Mm -hmm. So if you get, if you tried, if like if two lightsabers swung at each other and they went through each other, we'd be, we'd have questions. Yeah, it doesn't have because to line up with science in the first yeah, place. We don't know the science behind it. It's all basically gobbledygook. It's science, blah blah blah, blah like hyperdrive. We, we, we went over it earlier. The internal internal consistency. Yes, it's about That's internal it. consistency. It's not hard. Apparently. To this day, TRO hasn't understood what you were saying there, so hopefully that explains it, if he's uh, listening to this. Hopefully, ever. yeah. Internal oh, consistency with the logic of the film. by lack of science, Star Wars. While the absolutely retarded design of the bombers at the beginning of The Last Jedi is not a particularly good example for gravity, I don't understand why you think... <laughs> Maul's lightsaber still works after it's cut in half. You're all fake fads. Get the fuck out. It, it, was, <laughs> it was further to one side. That's how it's it justified. Was, it was, yeah, it was huge, though. It was really long. It was like four times the size of a normal one. And it makes sense because there is no science in Star Wars. It's about space wizards. God. Yeah, it's God. for kids. Taking it so seriously. Things have to have explanations in order for them to be considered sensical. But then saying that it's a fair criticism why people should be concerned. It is by no means a poor What's criticism for people to yeah, ask know. themselves why very basic ten- I, I kind of want to find out what that was. Yeah, alright, we can uh, scroll it back. It's not a particularly good example for gravity. I don't understand why you think things have to have explanations in order for them to be considered sensical. But then saying that it's a fair criticism why people should be concerned. It is by no means a- That was a fucking mess. Of flashy shit on the screen. I'm not even sure how much I, of it was I, relevant. No, I- I didn't- I didn't see it. I don't think we're supposed to read it, there's no way if it comes off that quick. I didn't- I know, I, I didn't see it at all. Um, I'm more curious about what you're about to say, because I'm assuming he's going to rip into it. Criticism why people should be concerned. It is by no means a poor criticism for people to ask themselves why very basic tenets of something do not apply to the rules of reality or the rules that have been pre-established in a universe. I then assume, retrospectively, that he means you as general, but the way he delivered it and the tone in he was refuting something and then he realized he was making the wrong point. Either way, I it was... How's that for reading into something? Oh yeah, that's oof. Uh, so to clarify for that... the right opinion again, uh, Rags is saying that it's absolutely a criticism if uh, <laughs> it it betrays the previously established part of itself. That's, that's kind of what he was getting at from from what I heard, but that's that's just me. I'm basically just asking for consistency in something. You don't have to sh you don't have to show how it works. Just show that it has a consistent function. Exactly. Very very simple to understand. I think that you could have given Rags that with just a little bit of benefit of the doubt to be like, oh, he's probably referring to consistency internally. Because that's, that's a very common thing that's discussed, but hey. Yeah. Rather bemusing. Now, whether the criticism is valid or not, I think it's fair to say that a few gravity-related incidents are not a big deal. We're not saying the whole concept of- Uh, it depends on what it ha has happened, which in this case, it managed to destroy the Dreadnought and save the fleet. Yeah. Which is pretty important, dude. But hey. There we are. Gravity was completely done wrong. It was clearly done on schemas that we're all familiar with. He was addressing someone who took issue with a specific scenario to do with gravity. I don't know about you, but I can see why that is perceived as nitpicking. Ra <laughs> is it? Okay. Why don't you explain <laughs> why? You just oh, say yeah, it that it is. It. It's like, oh, some people could call that nitpicking. Moving on. It's not nitpicking oh, because it saves guys. the fucking day, okay? Yeah, man. It's like, that's like a huge thing that happens. People are going to start calling like, you happened, rag regularly now. Of, it happened because of a thing. You're like, oh. Why don't you define what nitpicking is for us, TRO? Rags admits in this video that he recorded this whole thing live without right. a script, and the way he did it basically was he would play a brief clip of I Hate Everything saying something, and then he would respond to it live. This is an inherently flawed system. That's, that's weird. Com coming from you? 
Yeah, people tell me they love oh. that. They say I can't believe really Quinton like is it. criticizing your methods. That's insane. That is pretty crazy. But man, like people really like it and they say it sounds really sincere and Oh. I just I don't know, man. Like Rags, can you next time straw man the shit out of your opponents? Uh don't show any context and uh call them warriors for a holy war. Just just do that. That'll that's the way to do it. This what he's doing teaching you because what you do where you show the context and then you respond as statements go past like we're doing now that's shit don't do that fuck that yeah, here's the thing i'm not gonna say quentin's useless because everybody can profit from a bad example hmm. I, I, I agree with that rags will play one sentence of i hate everything's video at a time sometimes less and then he will respond to that clip for minutes on end, and it gets to the point that he has failed so heavily to connect one sentence to the next that he stops even fully understanding what Alex. <laughs> That's okay. Even no, if that were true, that is better. Strawman. <laughs> that is better than removing context deliberately. Yeah, you, you I mean, here's the thing. <laughs> I have really. I would love an example because I think they've tried to give examples, but they don't really work. But I, if I have a a complete thought. And I remember, a complete thought doesn't have to be a whole sentence, but if I have a complete thought, then I will interject and give my opinion on it. Yeah, and, and we do try on this, and I'm sure Rags will do it every once in a while, maybe when he's responding to stuff. Uh, if there's a chance that we, we have a statement, then we're like, maybe something before or after it could uh, support or, or clarify it, we give it a shot. And we'll always find out, because we're watching that. your whole video, mate. On, on this stream, we've done that a lot. Yeah, we always, we say, always like, rewind we to give the benefit. Buttons. And the thing is, I give the whole video, so then I would hear the rest of the clip. And, so and, and I, don't I just, even I just love it, man. The, the fucking it's, audacity to I criticize think... you like this when he removes context deliberately. It's crazy, though, because if what he was saying was true, then I would stop my recording and then just resume his video, and then the video would say the thing. And I'd be like, oh, that clears that up. Yeah. Oh, Quentin, 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 Quentin. You make it very hard to like you. <laughs> Oh, this is bad, Quentin. You should feel bad for it. Alex is trying to say in the first place. System. Through it's this not a system. system. Obviously no, 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 Quentin. It's not a system. Please don't call it that. It is not a system, I promise you. It's not a tumor. Wait, 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 wait. It's not a Oh, it says 48 minutes, 30 seconds? 48 minutes and 30 seconds. Yeah, that's what it says, but it's like loading or spooling. Oh, it's okay. I'll just get us back. What do you, that'll do. Understanding what Alex is trying to say in the first place. Through this system, he obviously has no capacity to understand rhetorical statements from- Motherfucker, don't even bother. <laughs> Just, I can't take you seriously with, with how you've responded to our content. The idea that you're criticizing someone else for their methods, you- The video's not loading for me. Ass. Uh, do you want to try rejoining, see if that fixes it? Yeah, let me try that. Oh, he's so full of shit. He is full of shit, man. Is it a 48-23? Uh, here we go, 48. Yeah, 48 Standing what Alex is trying to say in the first place. Through this system, he obviously has no capacity to understand rhetorical statements, for instance. I do, but a lot of the discussion. I've built a YouTube channel off of it. Besides, you and TRO have fucking rhetorical statements from rags. Uh, you haven't even. They've for example, worse. they've just made shit up. When when Rags was like, imagine saying that shit to Mark Hamill, and it was just like, uh, excuse me, I and everything is not saying this to Mark Hamill, and it's like, yeah, okay, that's not what was happening. It I'm is, not it, saying he is. I'm asking, what 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 if you did? Like, yeah, it's supposed you? to it's supposed to reveal something about what I and everything is saying, but obviously that flew right over everyone's heads in this fucking analysis. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Oh, this is questions bad. around this movie are just straight up malicious and overly simplified. You have two choices. You can either really love it or think it's the worst film ever made. Or you can be like yeah, TRO and think it was okay. Wrong. Yeah, like TRO, even when he was at this part in the video, he said he disagreed. Like, obviously, IHE is wrong. Are they? Are those the only two options? There's, there's no middle ground. Really? Whenever Alex will do something like apply critic. I love it. How? So he's but accused yeah. you of, of of taking a hypothetical and taking it seriously, even though Quint uh, Tiaro has said in this video that he disagrees with Alex's statement. And Quentin doesn't show where I've messed up. He's just like he he just plays me 
saying that all you know obviously there's not you know there's the there's middle ground not the two extremes i don't understand what it, what is someone supposed to take away from this because i haven't been like refuted <laughs> what i take away from it man is uh, it's not okay when you say it but it's okay when quinton's friend tro says it i guess because we both basically we both agree that i actually was wrong when he said that and even if he was responding to how he seems that way well then my statement still holds up because i'm asking Hey, Quinton, give this advice to TRO, because he didn't catch it either, obviously. There you go, Rags. You and TRO get to learn a lesson today. Don't take I hate everything seriously. That, that was your mistake. Unless you need to. Then do. <laughs> unless but you should. Unless you should. <laughs> Only do it when you need to. The Last to. Jedi to the original trilogy. Rags' response is to defend the original trilogy, Jedi? and then to act as if Alex is saying that because the original trilogy is bad, the Last Jedi is better in comparison, and it gets to the. P what does that even mean? What? That the Last Jedi, that the original trilogy was bad, so the Last Jedi is better in comparison. I th to unpack whatever nonsense that was, I believe that um, I hit everything. Eventually, takes a shot at the OT, and then you're probably going to make the claim that he, I hate everything. Is saying that because the OT is bad, that means that the new ones can't be considered bad because they're bad too, and that that would be what aboutism. I don't know if that's what he's going for. But it might um, be because maybe he's referring to I was pointing out the the Rotten Tomato scores and should, saying should that just... the Rotten Tom. Well, maybe he maybe because I pointed out the tomato score for the old ones was higher. That means I'm defending them. Just give it, a, give it another shot. His response is to. Oh wait, let's go back a little bit. Because yeah, I'm not really following. That's not, that's and not... again, they're doing. See, see how they they criticize your method, right? Of showing the person saying the thing. And then responding, and yet they keep telling us what you said, so we can't actually hear it. Yeah, man. And I... we already know they took me out of context so many times. It's like, why would we trust you? You're gonna have to show the clips. Yeah, that's why it's just it's that's the thing. I love my content because well, the the it's not a system. It's just the style. <laughs> but you know when one of us is talking, and it's in it's in, it's just it's linear. It's in order. Mm. I don't skip back and forth and back and forth unless on very rare occasions, and it's very on it's put there very prominently but you man. are going out of your way to avoid the many 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 legitimate criticisms of the last jedi you can see that rags and aichi are not on the same wavelength of what they want to discuss there are legitimate criticisms of the last jedi there are nitpicks and the only thing that aichi is trying to assert is that the nitpicking seems to be more common in this movie than the previous one and rags is, is asserting it? that's not the case yeah man i i don't know he hasn't even no one has defined nitpicking yet i know <laughs> if you disagree with that, then that is fine, but you are not entitled to a formal debate. There it is again. I never said I was entitled to a formal debate, and it's retarded that you'd say that. Yeah, and we offered it to Quinton, and he fucked off, so we, we're not entitled to debate him. He's just welcome to speak to us. All the intricate points because his video would go on just as long as yours, and that's not what he or the fan base enjoys. I, I don't give a shit okay. what the fan base enjoys. Yeah. <laughs> Plus, my fan base enjoys long videos, actually. And I think, Molly, you get plenty of comments from people who enjoy the long content. They say, I listen to it at work. I listen to it while I'm driving. Well, I mean, like, I know that I for everything... the next week I can drive to and from work and have something to listen to. I ate everything got a backlash for his video. So it clearly wasn't a resounding success for his fan base. Not um, that I give a shit, because that was never Rags' point. It's like, Ra you shouldn't have made this video uh, because... That your audience won't like it. That's not ever something Rags fucking said. Yeah, that's weird. That's that's very strange. He then says nitpicking a film to the point where you're purposefully ignoring the context and intent isn't helpful to anyone. Rags then orders him to tell that to Cinema Sins. You just brought their name up, so it seemed appropriate. As if Cinema Sins would take offense, but Cinema Sins do it for a joke. They continuously have to. Nah, nah, it depends on who you talk to and what they say at what who time. You talk to. Yeah, man. And it, it depends on what it is in Cinema Sins, because some of their criticism is legitimate and good. And, and then that's the, thing. the next one will be bad. I had everything is going to uh, say that Cinema Sins has contributed to the negativity of, like, uh, cinema culture or whatever you want to call it and like TRO is saying here uh, excuse me they're, they're a joke they're not supposed to be taken seriously it's like yeah well Here's I hate everything takes them seriously I would say that cinema sins helped because it gets people to at least in some way think more critically yeah like deconstructing a film it, it may have opened people up to that idea how effective you yeah. are at it and you need information obviously it gets complicated but um yeah yeah 
I don't even just just t tells yeah it stands the fact that I hate everything said that combined with the fact that I hate everything blames cinema sins and himself towards the end of the video for negativity surrounding cinema which very strange really sad to hear from I hate everything considering a lot of his criticism was very productive in t or constructive in terms of pointing out how bad something could be structurally but hey someone says to uh, forget the fan base destroy it if you have to Tell their own fans not to take their video seriously because they are, by nature, not a legitimate announcer. No, 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 hold up, hold up. Wow. Who? Wow. By nature, okay, they're you... not legitimate analysis. That's interesting. Wow. That's. Ooh, CinemaSins. Um, you're. <laughs> you're. Whew. Um, who made you the fucking arbiter of what is and isn't legitimate criticism? And that's the thing people tell us that we do. Oh, I know. That, damn. That was a very telling statement just to declare that. Yeah. Uh, CinemaSins is not... What, what was the word exactly? Let me just... Legitimate. Uh, let's, let's just get it all again. Take offense, but CinemaSins do it for a joke. They continuously have to tell their own fans not to take their video seriously because they are, by nature, not a legitimate analysis. Yeah, they, that's not... So you, there's quotes from Jeremy saying, as uh, CinemaSins... It's funny that he's in the chat for this. Yeah. Uh, they've said themselves that their outset was to criticize the current state of Hollywood, that it's, it's pumping out too much shit, and that they, they want to point out where they've failed miserably and they're not even considering the fact that they have many many influences in in people saying like this they it's not that they can't make a good video all right yeah i'm putting it out there <laughs> the cinema sins can make a good video it's possible also i would say that it's not actually up to cinema sins to determine whether or not their own content's legitimate I don't even. I, I, that's such a that's such a can of worms yeah, to open up, you, you know. Yeah. What do you mean legitimate exactly? That that's one of those things. That's one of those words people use that kind of needs a definition. What do you mean legitimate criticism? What is legitimate criticism? Because they can say that they're not legitimate criticism, but they could be depending yeah, I, on how you want to say legitimate. I'm curious very much about that statement, but it's just going to be glossed over. I think. a channel that someone, seeks out the inclusion of people gets, eating instance, apples as um. Someone could say that what I'm about to say isn't a joke, but if they say something, and if somebody laughs at it, well... He's about to point out that eating an apple is a sin. Um, we already know that CinemaSins sins for the lack of lap dances or for extended credit sequences at the beginning from producers and, and stuff, so... Yes. We know that they make jokes. I've made jokes in my videos. It It's a thing you can do while actually providing criticism. Comedians yes. are often some people who do that. Some of the legitimate, some of his criticisms are good though, and they hold up. He makes some good criticisms in his videos. Yeah, they're not they exist. all jokes. Yeah, they absolutely exist. Highs against the film. They are not acting this way with serious intent. Rags it then try to. It doesn't matter what their intent is. It literally doesn't matter what their intent is. Yeah, the criticism, what they say, regardless. may very well be a valid criticism. Just, be, it would be like me saying, <laughs> "The sun is a star." You'd be like, "See, that's not a valid claim because he's joking." Yeah. It's like, yes, it is a valid claim. What are you talking about? Yeah, it's like, that's the thing. You don't get to determine whether or not you're legitimate. I mean, that's that's kind of circular reasoning. Is it legitimate? Well, it's, it's legitimate because I said it's legitimate. How do we know it's legitimate? Because I said it's legitimate. Yeah, conforming to the law or to rules. So what are the rules of criticism? Like, well... Um, <laughs> do we gotta go down this rabbit hole? That's my question. It's like he didn't even bother, but yeah, I hope I can. If I ever do, I want to do this in the future. I need to catch myself. Like when I say things like, if I was to say legitimate criticism, I need to like define that. What does that mean? Mm. I need to catch myself, stop myself, and say, well, when I say legitimate criticism, I mean you know X Y. To use the fact that I actually notes that he goes into arguably too much detail as some sort of equivalence. The description of your Destiny 2 review reads, IHE goes into arguably too much detail on Bungie's new entry in the hugely popular Destiny franchise. You made a 49 minute video review of Destiny 2 where you admit to being nitpicky about it. And countless, countless hours must have been spent editing, compiling all of that footage, mm -hmm. putting your thoughts yep. together, yep. and making those into a movie. Yep. But if you watch Guess the Destiny 2 goes. video for his about. Wait, sorry. The I didn't. I didn't. It's, uh, it's one of those. Yeah, go one on. Those, well, I, I need to use the loo anyway, but. He's like, guess where this goes? I bet a lot of people can understand what my point is before I even make it. They could follow it to the end of the road. You know, if yeah. he's saying nitpicks are bad, nitpicks are bad when it's applied to The Last Jedi, 
you know, and then and sure enough, his video on Destiny 2, where he admits he goes into too much detail. Well, I mean, is was it bad then? Yeah, I mean, is it bad to do it to Destiny 2? Oh, by the way, Rags, I have Destiny? no idea where we are in your video. You know, like... 51, 21. No, 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 your video. As in... Oh, I don't either. I, I have, have no, no clue idea. how much we've the seen. Continuity, what is it? Like, I was just going to say, it's such an interesting thing to say, but the continuity of this YouTube video is confusing as hell. Um, that's interesting. Yeah, Cappy Gamer, hello again. Um, he said he... I really hate how he's jumping from part to part without any chronological order. It's like, yeah, that's true. I have no idea where we are. And the thing is, I haven't watched my video, basically, <laughs> since I made it. Uh, yeah. But um, I have no idea where we are in my video. That's right. I haven't even really thought about it because we're kind of following this train wreck to the end of the rails. But yeah, man, where are we in my video? It's very strange. <laughs> Who knows? But um, I... Yeah, I need to use the loo. I gotta pee. Yeah, that's right. I will read yeah, some right. super yeah. chats. Mark Hamill is an absolute treasure to humanity. This is true. I feel like a channel called The Right Opinion carries the smugness of a H Bomber guy video. Just join the stream. What is he like? Uh, he's he's not too smug. He's a couple of little bits, like the one where he said that there's um totally malicious content out there when Rags was talking about videos, and then he showed a bunch of comments. Then he was like, I'm pretty sure that proves it, or something like that, and it's like, no, it doesn't. This is two very different things, but okay. So that there's a bit of that, and it's like, it's almost like I'm saying you shouldn't be super confident when you're wrong, because that equals smug, but it's like, you know, there's, there's a lot of complicated stuff about how it comes down to being smug. I've been smug, it's not like you automatically become a H-bomber guy if he's smug, because he's like, smug lord. Um, hey man, I like your content, great. Rags pointed it out. Uh, no, well, good, good. Um, I took an art... I took Arthur's GCSE and failed because I was crap. How would they determine that it's terrible if it's all subjective? Well, that's obviously a lie. That never happened. You... <laughs> Sorry, I have no thesis statement. Ah, see, that's where you've lost. No thesis statement means that you've, uh, you fucked up. You, 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 uh, and some other people will, um, will give you your thesis statement if you don't have it. They'll provide it to you, like Quinton. He'll make a video just for you. Uh, his neck beard is where the thesis statements are. Lol, been to a bar for two hours, still not at half of the video. Yeah, and we're at six hours and four minutes. Um, I think um, we're probably going to call it soon. I can just only... Well, yeah, I was going to say, gotta, do you think yeah. we should split this into two? Um, you know, we could probably do that. Yeah, that would be fine with me. Because and obviously, I am, it'll be me and you yeah, again, because and me and you have pretty good schedules, so we could probably set this up relatively quickly. Yeah, because I just, I need to do something else, man. Oh, yeah. This has been six hours. This do you want to just... This is rough. We will carry on from 51 minutes when we come back to it. How's that sound? Um, let me see. We're at um, 51.21 right now. Wait, someone said, um... Bah, 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 bah. Is Rags dying? No, I drink a <laughs> shit ton of water. I drink a lot of water. Like, I've gone through, like, four bottles, five bottles since we've been here. Because the water helps one adjust to high climates and it's good for you because i'm about to do a rim to rim hike um at the grand canyon later this month but yeah um, I, I genuinely feel like six hours is a lot me and Bert rags both need to do human things in order to function yeah, I just wanna, i'm just gonna go fucking walk around and play a video game or some shit uh but um, what we'll 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 definitely get it sorted out um as a closing thing of course wolf left wolf's not been in a, a great place lately he's gonna be releasing a video going over it and after that he's gonna be absent from efap for a bit now, once we've done this Quinton thing, and possibly had TRO on for whatever might happen with that, uh, we've got a few guests lining up, and I've listened to you yeah. guys, and I'm going to be contacting people to make sure we try and get them on. Uh, Hooray. And so, yeah, lots to come. EFAP is triumphant. Every frame of FAP. <laughs> that's that's, that's the unofficial name. Uh, but I hope you guys have had fun. Is there anything you want to want to say, Rags? Well, Hunter says, uh, hey, Rags and Mahler, the last Jedi debacle caused me to unsubscribe to most of the analysis channels that I liked. If you could crank out more videos to compensate, it would be nice. Well, you're about to get a shit ton from Mahler eventually. Because his last Jedi, or his The Force Awakens thing is... Oh, yeah. Jesus. <laughs> like, that is... Like, I'm, I'm going to put an update on my Patreon tonight, because I didn't do it this morning. I meant to do it this morning. But I'll, I'll give you guys a, a big update on how the project's going. Yeah. There is progress, lots of progress. 
Now I'll start making videos very soon too. Uh, almost all the new artwork and everything will be done for that really shortly. Yeah, I was gonna so say. Do not you worry. That's a link to Rags' channel in the chat now. Uh, I don't know. Did you want to do some uh, something specific with this video now, or did you want to? I think because I can't uh, remember if you. Let's wait till the second part's out. Let's wait till the second part's yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, so yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Um, you can find. This will be up in about probably like three or four hours, depending on how long it takes to process. On my second channel, which is Moolah, you guys can go mm -hmm. ahead and jump on that and uh, you'll you'll get it when it's out. It'll be public on there instead of unlisted here. Again, chat has died for me now, which is really convenient when I'm trying to end so I can see if people are asking anything, but whatever, can't do anything about that. Thank you all for oh, watching. Well. Hope you had fun. It was, it, I had fun. This was awful. <laughs> Give it another, um... People, people were like, man, he really got you, and I'm like, what? Well, yeah, I, maybe, pe it, people maybe cite that's this. in the second half. People cite this yeah, video like, as destroying me and you, which... No wonder they think it this destroyed us. It doesn't fucking have quotes from us in it. <laughs> they have to invent awful. versions of us. Yeah, man. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah, rags, hydrate for that rim-to-rim -rim job soon. There you go. L that was the last super chat. Thank you again, guys, for the <laughs> donations. Very generous. And we will see you next time for the remainder of this epic. Um... Goodbye. Bye-bye.